All right, guys. Today's run is actually going to be done on the daily run. So let me make sure everything is turned off. We don't have any mods on. And we're going to be loading into the daily run. And it's going to be a longer run unless I die. In which case, if I die, hopefully it's a glorious death because I plan to still throw it up on the YouTube channel since uh, I don't think I have any runs where I die on the YouTube uh, channel. Well, maybe today will be maybe today will be the day that changes that. We'll see. So far, every time we do a YouTube recording, it, it's uh, it's a, it's a successful run. But uh, to make sure that we're on the correct daily, we check and we see it's grayed out. So we are on the daily run for today. Um, and today's run, we are going to try to break Noita. We're going to break out of the rules of Noita. We're starting with a energy sphere, unstable crystal. So let's go ahead and get the orb while we're while I'm ranting. Uh, exclamation mark potion if you want to see how to do this extra flying in the chat oh one thing uh, whenever i give commands like oh type exclamation mark potion or exclamation mark wand stuff like that that's for the people watching in the live stream i've actually had people i think they're doing it to meme but they'll post it in the youtube comments they'll post like whatever command i said and i'm like i'm like i don't know if they know it's for the live stream and it doesn't do anything in the youtube channel but i i don't know <laughs> I, I can never be so sure Leech is laughing at you if you're one of the people that did that. Uh, but yes, there is a there. I am doing this live on Twitch. Hopefully, it goes successfully so that uh, we don't have to revisit this again. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do a breaking Noita run. The goal of today's run is to get 20 plus, so 20 or more hungry ghosts by the end of today's run. So if you don't know what the hungry ghost is, here is the perk. It says hungry ghost, and you can have a maximum of five. But keep in mind. With Noita, these seem like they are rules, right? They, whenever it says maximum of five, in most games, this is like the rules of the game. You can only have five. But in Noita, these kind of things are like guidelines, all right? They aren't rules. You can break out of the this these restrictions in Noita. And we're going to break out of the restriction today and go for 20 plus Hungry Ghosts. So and then uh, and then we're gonna set up for a wand that hopefully could do millions of damage, which we'll go into that in, in a bit. But we'll wait till we get there because uh, it's gonna take a little while. But yeah, we, we plan to use using just hungry ghosts and spark bolts. I plan to try to do uh, as much damage as possible, maybe even millions of damage. We'll see how far we're able to take it today. Uh, but yes, you can down the 33 or boss with uh, with hungry ghosts alone. I don't know if we're going to go all the way to 33 orbs today. Likely, I'll just get like a, a healthy amount of orbs, maybe like, you know, 20 or something, just to show how much damage the Hungry Ghost can do. I don't know if I'll take the time to collect all 33, so we'll have to see. <laughs> you love cheese? Well, this is kind of a cheesy strategy. This is pretty darn cheesy. And it, this will, uh, I will have to break the rerolls to pull this off. So, oh crap, that didn't, that wasn't. Come on, man. Hold on, I don't know if I can fit in there yet. I'm using the liquid in the flask to get extra levitation. And there we go, finally. Nailed it. And I got that. Got my tablet. Let's go. And I do not plan to build a world tele wand. I think it would be overkill. Though you could do it. Um, oh, Hwaja, thanks for keeping us updated. I didn't see you yesterday, so I was a little concerned. I didn't hear about the, uh, the update for your... Your uh, reschedule of the appointment, but I'll, I'll I, t I took the, a mental note, July 18th. Keep that in mind. Uh, so here we go. Finally, the run's beginning. If you're curious why I do that early, it's because you know an extra 25 health is gonna be is gonna be pretty good. One orb doesn't really add much to the boss, so no matter what run you're in, I'd recommend trying to get that early orb if uh, if you know how to to do the the extra levitation. And also keep in mind that only. Uh, two of the starting um, basic wand spells will actually dig. Energy Sphere and Spark Bolt are the only two that will uh, dig on that snow there for the, the... Out of the four starting spells are Energy Sphere, Bouncing Burst, Spitter Bolt, and Spark Bolt. Uh, so Energy Sphere and Spark Bolt are the two that will dig that snow. And so we got kind of lucky that we did get one of the starting ones. However, there are other starting bomb wands that can help you dig, so... There are, there is a couple options. We just, uh, we got the setup. I'd, I'd say you have to be kind of unlucky to not have anything that will dig that at the beginning. But it does happen. Your odds are probably slightly favored that you will have a, a digging, a digging spell of some kind. Maybe like 70% of the time? 60% of the time? You can sit down and, uh, you can probably sit down and do the math and find out the exact odds. 
Uh, Alright, throw the crystal. Oh. Gotta be careful. We don't have a lot of water on this right now. Eh, it's an okay. It's a non-shuffle. Could be interesting. I do like the starting dynamite there. Uh, what was that? Uh, undulating. Uh, starting with dynamite's pretty... I think that's I think that's probably like a crowd favorite too. Like most of the community, it's pretty hype for the uh, dynamite start. Alright, so this is a puzzle. Let's go ahead and drop our tablet for the moment. We're going to grab our empty flask here. And luckily we got this right here, which uh, slime ball does uh, some uh, good digging on the, the wood here. But because of the heavy spread that is in front of it, it makes the digging kind of awkward. Fill up uh, the oil into the flask. And transfer it on over to here. And for doing that, we should get a prize, which will be a wand that looks like a rose. The rose wand. And it can have uh, some pretty good resources on it sometimes. There's the rose. Uh, lots of spitter bolts. Um, uh, it's a, it's not the greatest wand. But, uh, the, the ton of spitter bolts is kind of interesting. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This is one of those moments that there isn't really, like, a right decision. This is, like, up to, it's, like, personal preference, right? Uh, I think I'm gonna stick with the energy spheres. Just because this, if you look at it, this thing does not fire very fast. So, it's not a very fast firing wand, and its range is pretty shit. Uh, however, this one gives us range. We may grab this on our way out, though. Because having all those extra spitter bolts uh, is, is, is pretty nice. Go ahead and move this to the back. <laughs> it's better than Gust of Air, though, right? Well, the Gust of Air, I, I want to kind of transfer over, usually make it my main wand. Ooh, Chaotic Polymorphine. We'll transfer out Poly. Or, oops, laying on the side, kind of scary. Transfer out poly for chaotic poly. If you're curious why I'm, I'm collecting the polys, like why I even want to have one of them, uh, is because they are my way to break out of the holy mountain without collapsing it. Um, some people, when they watch in the YouTube videos, they'll say like, you know, I rarely have something to break out of the mountain. And it, it should actually be the opposite. Uh, it, it does not, I mean, you've seen, we've already come across a poly flask and a chaotic poly flask. That's already two methods to break out of the holy mountain without collapsing it. So it, it it does happen that you have nothing, like you'll come across nothing to break out of the mountain. But I would say if I had to throw out a number, it's like, you know, over, over time, I feel like because we're learning, we've, we've learned so many methods. In the early days, I thought, you know, like 30% of the time you wouldn't find a mountain, uh, a, a way out of the mountain without collapsing it. But these days, I feel like it's like, I don't know, 10% of the time. It's, it's very rare that you don't have a way out of there. Um, if you're curious why I'm trying to break down here, I, I do like to... Glance below the mountain if I can, just in case a heart or something fell down there. I just like to have the peace of mind to know that, yeah, we checked everywhere. Oh my god. I set myself up. I think the dumb part was laying it on wood. I should have known better. Oop. Oh, uh, fuck. How do we... Let me empty out this, uh... <laughs> Chat's like... Monka! Monka Giga! There we go, let's get the water, and we're good. <laughs> no big deal, yeah, we're fine. It'd have been funny if there was a Stendari right there, and I went to jump out, and then the Polymorph would have landed on my head. That would have made for some content right there. That would have been uh, my fastest uh, YouTube video of all time. Be like, alright, people would watch it, and like, oh, Breaking Noita! The video is like 10 minutes long, I wonder, I wonder how he breaks Noita. But then Noita would have broke me. Oh my gosh, whew! I got had some damage. I like this. This is a uh, this is my kind of wand right here. Gives us some spamming, spam from downtown. Damage is not as high as energy sphere, but we have some extra range. Gotta love the spark bolts. Uh, nerf dropping off 50k. I see you there, nerf. I see you accumulating that those channel points. That sweat. Hey, Dunk, are you by chance uh, good at cornhole? Because I think you'd be good at it since you're good at throwing. <laughs> it's so dumb. Hey, we're alive, all right? We survived the polymorphing. If we survive polymorphing, we can survive anything. We're immortal now. <laughs> all right. 
Also, keep in mind when I was around all that fire and I didn't have my water collected at first, uh, the polymorphine was my emergency backup. If you're ever on fire and you don't have anything to put, you're like, you're, 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 you don't have any water nearby, you don't have any blood, but you have polymorphine or chaotic poly, right, well, you can, you, you can use that to put out right fire. He is drenched in sweat. You can, you can poly yourself, and when you poly back, you will no longer be on fire. Hey, thanks for the love, you guys. Pineus Tinas, thanks for the gift to sub out to Vex. Powerful rocks, thank you for the follow. Appreciate the love, you guys. Thank you, chat, for sweating it up for, for, for Tinas. Definitely not a, a, a sus username. Hmm. Digging bolt. Let go of the unstable crystals. So I, I, I want to let go of the unstable crystals for the digging bolt for sure. It's just... I like to hold on to him for a little bit of the early game. I may come back to grab that just to kill off like an enemy or something, but... Oh well. We'll need the digging bolt much more than we'll need those unstable crystals, I would imagine. Does the poly also nullify you, uh, any fire you walk in whilst poly? No, you are very vulnerable. So if you poly yourself into a sheep, you have the health of a sheep. So you'll have like 5 HP. So you walk in some fire and then it'll just burn for a moment. Then you'll be like, ugh. You just fall over. So be very careful. Um, so real quickly, we're going to place down the pheromone. Also, if you ever are, on, you, you get polymorphed as a sheep and then you become on fire, you can dive into the polymorphine and it'll put out the fire. Like it, you'll just submerge yourself in the polymorphine. So in that case, had I ignited as a sheep, I would have just went, ran over to the pool of polymorphine and, and dunked myself in it to put out the fire as quick as possible. Since I'd be stuck as a sheep anyways. Uh, some bombs. We'll kick down the trap. Hmm. Uh, we'll, we'll think about it. I, 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 left, I left the bomb one there for now. I don't think we'll need it. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, Dragon says, found your channel uh, after picking up Noita from uh, the cell. Tough learning curve on this game. It is tough. Um, but one thing that, uh, you know, I, I try to tell all the new guys is uh, don't let that get you down. I think one of the things that is discouraging about right, Noita well, you guys could see this guy right now. He is, is that usually most games, you know, they you, you kind of like as you progress through the game, it gets more and more difficult, right? And they're thinking, and most new players are like, if I'm dying now, how the hell am I going to survive later, right? Like, this is the part of the game that's supposed to be, you know, I'm having a, uh, an easy time with it. But in Noita, that's not the case. I mean, it's it's it stays consistent. Um, it, there are difficulties in the late game, don't get me wrong. But also, the early game is just as difficult, if not more difficult. So, if you can survive the early game, that's when you start seeing players being like, oh, okay, like, you know, they get a little more motivated. Um, it's not one of those games that you get past the early game that's crazy hard, and then you find out that the late game is ultra omega hard, you know? It's, you survive this early game, you get used to that, and you'll start seeing that you're, you're winning consistently. So don't give up. Don't give in. Noita is one of those games that it rewards, um, like, if you, whenever you die, if you sit there and think about what got you killed, what mistakes you made, it, that knowledge is, like, uh, will, will actually, you know, help you a ton in Noita, so... Don't be afraid to sit there and, and kind of trace your steps and see what you could have done differently to keep yourself from dying. Carney Senpai with a 13 monther says, Hello, YouTube. Check out my video on how to use hotkeys instead of mouse wheel. It is as easy as just pressing a single button instead of a panic scrolling uh, to your water potion and dying. DK smug. All right, listen. Listen, Carney Senpai. Scroll, scrolling gamers are the true big brainers, okay? Hotkeys? Psh. Who needs hotkeys? All right, all right. Maybe, maybe hotkeys are superior. I do admit hotkeys are superior, but I've I've survived on it this long. There's no reason to turn back. If Noita pushed me out of my comfort zone, like I I, I just couldn't move fast enough, I would transfer over to hotkeys. But because I stream and I and I rant and all that, I like having the wait, what? Did, Ambrosia potion? You don't say. Let me drop this tablet for a moment. The reason I sprinted in like that is because I didn't want to risk those those guys somehow breaking the Ambrosia flask. Oh, I really um, wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is I guess we're gonna leave that behind. Sweat. I mean, uh, right now the the flask that I have, it's up to it's up to the player, right? There's different. 
getting stuck right there could have been bad news. <laughs> like, oh my god, I'm stuck. Um, but yeah, this is up to you. Some people would drop the pheromone flask, some drop the chaotic poly, keep the tablet. Tablet is crazy strong. I just don't like the tablet. It is, it is crazy powerful, though. There is no denying it. It's one of the best things and one of the strongest things in the game. I'm just not too interested in it. Uh, I don't like the style of play is probably the best way to put it. Not a fan of the tablet kicking. I enjoy casting the spells. Uh, CK gifted one out to, to Kuznichix. CK, thank you for the gifted sub. I appreciate you. Later, Tinas. Uh, ooh, we got us a hearts. Our first heart of the run, right? First heart of the run. So for anybody confused on why I'm taking it so slow and so cautiously is because it's a longer run. I, I try to play very slowly. I want to I want to guarantee victory as much as possible, mm -hmm. right? And uh, when pl by playing slowly, you remove elements of RNG. You don't allow for some crazy like something to happen off screen that shoots over like a, some shot and blows me up and gets me killed. Instead, I try to keep my health high enough so that if some crazy thing does happen, some super RNG crazy thing, that my health bar is high enough to survive the the crazy explosion. What's up, QZ? Yeah, I, I can't do scroll. I can't do scroll reading during uh, recording a video. You can always paste though. All right. Apparently, All right, this was well, a dead I wish end. You guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Hey, Wolf. Thank you for the three months. Appreciate the love. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we. In, I anticipated this uh, been lifting. All right, CK warned me ahead of time of the TTS people. Thank you for the love and support. Even though I see you trying to call me a, a smelly streamer, you have been you have been Omega silenced. All right, you tried to break through. If anybody's curious over on the YouTube channel, what uh, what they're trying to break through exactly is uh, usually there's sound effects and all that in the channel. But uh, when recording a YouTube video, I do mute all that stuff. So that, uh, at least these days, my old YouTube videos, I left it unmuted so you could hear the chaos going on in the chat. But I do mute it for the YouTube video these days so we don't get uh, DMCA'd. And, uh, and they have to mute the TTS because the moment chat sees something they can potentially abuse, uh, pretty much the entirety of this YouTube video could be possibly just dad jokes through TTS. And I don't want to, uh, to make the YouTube community suffer through that. So yes, it is muted. For now. <laughs> We're the oppressed chat. You're not oppressed. What the hell? But yeah, so goals of this run. First goal, get through the main world. We just need to get through the main world be, and get as strong as possible while we're going through the main world. Once we have gone through the main world, we've cleared everything out, we need to break into our first uh, parallel world of the run. And then once we do that, we are going to make our way... Oh my gosh. This digging is going to be a very slow one. We need to uh, make our way to several parallel worlds because we need to break the reroll machines. Breaking the reroll machines is necessary whenever... Well, it's not 100%. You, you, can, you do not have to break the reroll machines. But by not breaking the reroll machines, it just means uh, that you have to travel to more parallel worlds. Uh, by breaking the reroll machine, I can do the equivalent of checking like uh, a thousand holy mountains in a matter of like... 30 minutes compared to normally traveling to a thousand holy mountains would take hours and hours and hours. So that's why breaking the reroll machine is my go-to anytime I'm doing a long run and I need to do a lot of stuff involving perks. Instead of traveling to a, a certain, like tons of mountains and checking the perks at every single mountain, instead break the reroll machine and then do whatever we need to do, which we're going to break the reroll machine so that we can gather all these ghosts. Because it's going to take a... Uh, uh, it, it would take a ton of holy mountains to be able to collect 20 plus uh, hungry ghosts. Ooh, another ambrosia. We have two of them. You'll see that whenever we get to that part, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about, and you'll see why the the breaking of the reroll machines is necessary. Because sometimes I think people will be like, "Oh, why not just travel to enough holy mountains that as you can get the 20 hungry ghosts?" But you'll see how ridiculous that uh, actually would be. Hmm. This is when the tablet comes in handy because this guy's pretty annoying. And pretty dangerous too. If you just tablet bonk them, makes it not as bad. Where did he go? Oh, he hit somebody. I've been dropping loads around this fucking house like a goddamn dump truck. Yo, punch, punch! Thank you for the the sub bomb there. Thank you for the five bomb. I appreciate you, man. 
Ash Punch. One of these times I should put the chat, like I should have it where the chat will like fade in and out so that the, the people on the YouTube channel can get kind of an idea of all the, the peeps hanging out in chat. But yeah, there are quite a few of them. There's, uh, I think there's a little over 400 guys right now hanging out in the chat. Strapping in for the long run today. Uh, I don't know how long the, the run is going to be today, honestly. it's it's This is the first time I've ever done a Hungry Ghost run. Uh, we have done some, some things that are equivalent. We have done a uh, shields run where we got like uh, 40 shields or so, but uh, I've never, it's going to be the equivalent of doing that 40 shields run, but instead doing it with hungry ghosts and I plan to get like 20 plus. So it could be, it could be a longer run. Um, why do you want to scare them so badly? <laughs> the, the YouTube channel? Wait, so wait, do I, by, do I scare the YouTube community by introducing them to the Twitch community? Are you guys meant to stay separate? I need to keep you guys away from each other. <laughs> All right, what is QZ? Apparently, I, I'm missing something. Uh, for the YouTube viewers, this is what we're trying to achieve. Let's see, what is he, what are we trying to achieve? Let's see what it looks. Like. Oh my God, you're so stupid. This this is why. Hold on. So QZ is pasting in the chat. You missed my message. You missed my message. I finally click it, and this is the shit I get. God damn it, chat. This is okay. That's it. You're all in timeout. Sit amongst. Sit and talk amongst yourselves. All right. You know you have QZ to blame for your silence. The silent treatment. What am I going to do with this guy? You'd scare us by making us look in the mirror? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> We're already gagged. We got to be tied up too. Well, apparently giving you guys the ability to at least type until I could read your messages was, was giving you too much power. You're abusing it. It's a good thing that didn't play like audio, because then I'd have been like, are you fucking cool? Because then I would have had to restart, because then that, that would have been hit with the DMCA from YouTube. Because if, if you play even like a small clip of like a, a song, like five seconds... Uh, you will have to uh, you you will get hit with the DMCA for that stuff, and depending on this this the song or whatever that was played, you'll have to follow those guidelines. The reason I know that is because what does the fox say has played in one of my uh, past videos, and it's like this uh, video is banned in you know 20 countries. It's like dang, I'm glad because somebody played this this sound clip for 10 seconds that now 20 countries are no longer able to view this video. There's nothing you can do with that. It's not like you can be like, oh, let me just credit it. It's like, no, it just simply is not allowed. <laughs> QZ says, I went through a lot of effort to make sure it's a non-audio GIF. All right, so at least he, he trolls responsibly. I respect that, man. Trolling responsibly. You can't, can't, you gotta respect that a little bit. Gotta, gotta appreciate that a little bit. He wants to meme, but not ruin things. Which is how you should troll. Um, all right, so I, I feel like I've, I've cleared most of this zone. There's just some slight area over here to check, but for the most part, not a bad first area. I can't complain. I'm not too upset about it. No no meme, no rickroll. I just posted something funny uh, for you and Chase. Check this. No, I don't. I trust nothing right now, Ben Lifton, but I appreciate the love, but you guys have scared me from the last one. I know I, I will. I, it takes me a while to build my trust again. If, you, if you're curious what I'm looking over, the chat is posting stuff. Duke has a copy pasta in the chat that is like, I don't know, it's a paragraph. It's a, it's a freaking book that he's wrote in the chat. Ben Lipton says, I'm for real. I'll never do that to you. That is a lie. That is a lie. Hmm. Did I miss? I feel like I missed part of this zone. I'm trying to think. Like, uh, so... Keep in mind, whenever uh, you look through these zones, the size of these zones is consistent. They're always the same size. Now the layouts, they, they're randomly generated how they how they lay it out, uh, but the size of the zone will always be the same. So that's why I can usually kind of, you know, in my head I have a, an idea of how far, you know, how much of it I've, I've checked and I feel like I've 
I missed part of it, but it may have been like the top right zone I didn't completely explore or something, but we'll be alright. Anytime you see these shiny orbs, if you really want to get the, the, the gold and stuff from them, all you gotta do if you have a bit of ambrosia, you ambrosia yourself, you kick them, you can get the gold from them. It's not really that big of a deal. I mean, we have a pheromone flask, which is infinite gold if we really wanted it. Uh, but the reason you ambrosia yourself is because you, you, this does blow up eventually and do some damage to you. So make sure the ambrosia is on you so you can stay safe. Uh, degenerate copy posters, yes. Yes, they are. Uh, I won't be closing the bets until the second Holy Mountain, so I'll go ahead and move over here. <laughs> ben Lifton says this isn't fair. Alright, let's see what it is a must-see thing that Ben Lifton is about. Let, what is it going on about? Uh, Dunk trying to make this YouTube video right now. <laughs> what the fuck? This was what I had to see? This is this is chat's point of view while I strangle them from all the memes and copy pastas in chat. If you're curious, it's back whenever during COVID. So my hair, I was, I was, I, I hadn't been out, in, I hadn't been out in society for over a year to get a haircut. So my hair was much longer. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we, we ended up finding a teleport bolt. We got a teleport. So let's uh, mm -mm, let's mix things up a bit. All right, teleports is gonna be our way to escape the mountain. Meaning we no longer need this uh, chaotic poly flask. We don't need you anymore. Hmm. I think what's our best wand that we could build here? I mean, this is a pretty good wand right here. Pretty much uh, all we've done is we added one digging bolt to uh, reduce the recharge time, 0.17. And uh, that takes down a lot of that recharge time, right? That that, that means that uh, 0.06 recharge remains. Without it, it's still pretty dang good. Just a small, you know, hiccup in between it. So instead, we put that. Now there's pretty much no hiccup in between it. And it does slight digging too, so we can just, uh, you know, cram our face into walls and it'll use the digging bolt to, to help get around. Uh, with that said, do we, uh, yeah, I think it's actually even better than the, uh, this one that I was kind of planning to use. Ooh, look at this. Repulsion fill. There's their mournful spirit. That's not the ghost we're looking for. We're looking for hungry ghosts. But this is going to be our telly wand, I think, for now. That's how we'll get around. Um, sh that shouldn't really affect our tellies too much or anything, right? We'll be good, yeah. We're gonna be fine. And if something happens and I shoot this at a bad angle, it's fine. We can recover. Whoop. There we go. We passed, uh, bypassed the collapse of the Holy Mountain. I do have a video on that if you're interested. But, uh, there's no reason to go on a too detailed of a rant, uh, today on it. Since a lot of you guys already, you already know what the... You already know many of the tricks to bypass the Holy Mountain. But the Chaotic Poly Flask was going to be my emergency one. That was if I didn't didn't get a telly, didn't get any method to get out of the Holy Mountain. I was going to Chaotic Poly myself, which turns me into a creature. And then you can fly past the, the spot where the mountain collapses. So that's why, that's why I was holding on to it. But once I got the teleports, there's no reason for that. So we can just travel around with tellies and look for some good stuff. Don't get distracted by the bees. Kill the nest first. And yes, repulsion is crazy strong. Like, uh, it does mess with some of our stuff, but uh, it is argued to be one of the best perks in the game. I consider it either the, the number one or number two perk in the game. May maybe number three. Somewhere, somewhere in that top three. Let's put it that way. Uh, does Repulsion uh, fuck up uh, with Magic Guard? I don't think Repulsion messes with Magic Guard. Could be wrong on that. I don't really use Magic Guard a ton. We will be using Magic Guard today to uh, feed our Hungry Ghosts. But uh, there will be there will be a couple ways that we can feed the Hungry Ghosts. But Latali was recommending the Magic Guard as the, the best method. Uh, there's a chest in here that dropped a spell. It is the Energy Shield Sector. We did not grab our heel in the mountain, so we're still searching. Uh, 
I don't see any. What, what was the message there, Vex? What I missed? The chat's posting, so it's making it hard to see messages. They slide off the screen really fast. How long would you say it would take to learn this game from the start? It depends on what you consider learning this game, right? Like, Noit is a game that, you know, your your the goals in it can be very different depending on the person. Somebody who plays this, you know, somebody just jumped in earlier said they just bought it uh, on the Steam sale recently, right? Because Noito was half off. There's lots of new guys, and they, they're hopping in, and they just want to say that they've beaten Noita. They, they beat Noita before. They want to get their first win, and that's all they're really interested in. Uh, and if you're willing to, to take in content creators' information, you know, like watch YouTube videos and all that, um, I don't think it's too far-fetched that you could get a, your first win in, like, uh, 20 hours or something these days. Hell, even maybe less. It depends on, you know, depends on how much, how much time you, you spend watching videos, I guess. But um, if you're doing it blindly on your own, that's different. And uh, that can have a huge range. It really depends on your play style. Depends on, because the reason play style is a huge factor for, for Noita is that play style really dictates how you dis how you make discoveries in Noita. Because if you're playing on your own, you, you pretty much are having to make all these mechanic discoveries on, on your own. You know, you don't have the community's information. And while some people like to play that way, I would not recommend that for Noita. I feel like uh, maybe to get your first win, maybe when you're getting your very first win, maybe you want to play on your own, not taking any information. Maybe that could be, that's, you know, that wouldn't be crazy. But if you're looking to do some of the end game, like 33 or bosses, sun quest and all that, and doing it without taking in any information, I think it's more likely that you will just never get that stuff done. Not because it's impossible, but because it's so time consuming. We're talking several hundred of hours, several hundreds of hours minimum, possibly thousands of hours, and your average gamer isn't really gonna invest that kind of time, right? Uh, with that said though, I know people who have done some of the ultra late game stuff, and they only have like, an, uh, like you know, 50, 60 hours in the game, because whenever they're watching streams, they're watching YouTube videos and all that, um, you know, the first, getting my first win took me uh, over a hundred deaths. But if I was to hop into Noita now and have the videos that exist on Noita now, just like watch a couple of them, I, I I feel pretty confident that I could get a win in my first day or so, probably first like twenty runs or so, uh, just because that's how much information uh, impacts Noita, right? Like you just just accumulate information and you'll start you'll start noticing that you win. Uh, more consistently. The more information you gain, the more you win. And I have thousands of hours. I played a, I played a fuck ton. So yes, I still die from time to time. You still mistakes can be made. Anybody can make mistakes. But uh, I've I've died so many deaths that I usually can kind of feel when a situation is going bad because I've died in that way before. You're like, oh hey, I know how. Like I know with this this guy bleeds slime and I'm standing over acceleration and. Because of that, these interact to cause an explosion, which could get me killed because I've died that way. You know, you just know these random facts, and uh, and that's really what keeps you going and keeps you winning consistently. The bet and goal. The bet and goal is to uh, to get 20 plus hungry ghosts. We're gonna break Noita today, guys. That is the goal. I mean, it's not too crazy. It's something. It, it's something that uh, we've done similar runs before, but we've never done this run specifically because. Uh, hungry Ghost. Ooh, hold up. Hold up. Um, let me place this down for a moment. Please hold. Our shop thrower guy. Let me grab that. That's freezing liquid, which is kind of scary to let him throw because if he lands on his his head, he'll kill himself. I wanted to snag it before he got himself killed. Got to be very careful because he's throwing deadly stuff. So, trying to really stare at it and not mess it up. That's pheromone. That one's gonna. Oh, what? oh shit. Uh, slime. Huh. It's gonna be kind of annoying because now he's now he's pheromone. I'll give it a second. See what happens here. All right, there you go. There's water. I'd actually like that one. Huh. Come on. Ah, oh, that damn that damn pheromone. Um I guess whiskey. We could use whiskey to wash off the pheromone. Oh, 
Oh, that's the one I want. There we go. So we got our Tele Flask. That is 200% regular Tele. That's the good stuff. That's the, the best thing that he throws. Well, you could argue the Pheromone's actually better since it allows you to get infinite gold and you can use it for, for getting enemies to heal you and stuff. But uh, in our case, I don't plan to... I mean, gold isn't really a big deal for us. Uh, I can consistently get enough money to not have to worry about it. But uh, some of the newer guys, that's a trick that as a, that, that's an example of like being a new player, right? And I was talking about how knowledge, you know, changes the, the time to get your first win, uh, win. Because if I could show myself on my very first day of playing Noita, I could show myself the, the pheromone uh, video. Then that means I would realize that gold, I can get infinite gold. So I would not, like so many of your early deaths, I feel like, I mean, I, I guess everybody's different. But for myself, in the early days when I died, it was out of greed. It was out of thinking, I need more money. I need to I need to kill more enemies to get more money. But once you know the pheromone trick, you're like, all right, money is no longer... This is a thing you just put on the back burner, right? Once you get pheromone, you're just like, I, I have as much money as I need. So it, it, it makes it where you never, you never stay around an area too long and get yourself killed because you're looking for gold. Anytime you're weak, you're like, oh, I already have infinite money, so I can leave. You know, I can move to the next zone. Oh, that looked kind of goofy. See, Repulsion is just carrying right now. Thanks for the follow there, Fireboy. <laughs> Hua just says, G.I. Joe taught me that knowledge is half the battle. It's true. G.I. Joe taught you well, Hua Joe. He was right. G.I. Joe knew what he was talking about. G.I. Joe. Dig out more gold. <laughs> Why would I dig for the gold when I have infinite gold? So yes, the gold, sorry I got distracted uh, because of the, the flash thrower, but I have mentioned it a couple times. So 20 plus hungry ghosts is, is the goal. I don't know how many hungry ghosts we'll collect, but with each hungry ghost that we grab, uh, they, pa they give you a damage buff when there's uh, enemies projectiles nearby. Uh, these ghosts will eat these projectiles and they, and they in return give you a buff. Well, if you have a shit ton of these ghosts, then that means they can give you a ton of the buffs and they kind of uh the damage adds up uh, exponentially i think is uh, probably the way to, the best way to put it i think it's exponential um using just hungry ghosts just hungry ghosts and spark bolts you can kill the 33 or boss you can you can pretty much do infinite damage with hungry ghosts more and we just keep adding more hungry ghosts and the damage just keeps growing exponentially more and more and more and that's, that's the goal of today's run, is to show the power of Hungry Ghosts and just how, how crazy they can be. So, to do that, I want to get at like 20 plus Hungry Ghosts, and, uh, and that's going to require... Oh my gosh! That was actually pretty scary. If that dude threw an Acid Flask, it would have been trouble. What are Hungry Ghosts? They are the Yellow Ghost perk, uh, which actually, uh, you can see them right... Right there, Hungry Ghost summons a happy minion who will eat an enemy projectile every now and then. So we're going to need to get 20 plus of those. And uh, most people think that, uh, you know, once you grab five of them, five, five is supposed to be the max that you can grab. Like when you grab that fifth Hungry Ghost, it'll no longer spawn in that uh, that perk. But like I was saying, uh, th that's like a, that, that's, that's like a guideline. Uh, it's, it's not necessarily a hard set. Well, I guess it is a rule. It's a hard set rule, but it's, it's how you interpret that. Um, it kind of reminds me of, you know, whenever, uh, they, what's that scenario where like, there's a, there's a genie who can w uh, grant you wishes, you know, you get three wishes, blah, 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 and then somebody will try to make a wish, but they don't specify the wish well enough. So the genie grants the wish in such a, such a way that's like, you know, screws you over. Well, that's kind of how the rules of Noita work where it's like, oh yeah, the maximum of these ghosts is five. And you're like, all right, so I can have, I can have five of those. That's the max is like, no, no, no. I said the max is five. It's like, so I can have at, five, at max five. It's like, no. So the rules is that it will spawn in up until the point that you have grabbed five of them. It'll continue to spawn in the hungry ghosts. So if you just keep spawning them in and not grabbing them and then backtrack and grab them all, next thing you know, you'll have a shit ton of hungry ghosts. So it, it, it's weird. It's like I said, it, it's one of those things in Noita that. It, it is a rule, like I guess it, it still it still follows uh, the rule set of five, but it doesn't mean that you can have five at max. It just means that 
up until the point that you have you have grabbed five of those perks, it'll continue to spawn them in. Which I don't know the best way to word that, but you'll see it once we get there. <laughs> I will not be adding emotes during a YouTube video. What's up there, Nikki Turtle? That was a great comparison, was it? <laughs> it was a little bit... Is I don't know. It may have been a silly one. I don't know. It just popped into my head. It's what I always think of because with Noita, that's how several things are. We're like, well, technically, it's still, it's still a rule. Like, it still does follow that rule set. So I, I don't want to say that that's that's bullshit because it's like, no, it, it's accurate. It's just, it just you wouldn't think to interpret it like that. But that's that's how Noita, you know, causes you to think after a while. In the early days, you're used to playing other games. And their rules are very restrictive. In Noita, while they're still rules, they're not necessarily restrictive. They're kind of just, like I said, they're guidelines for, for how the Noita deals with stuff. Uh, Penny Brady says, got it. So the trigger for them to stop spawning for you to pick, uh, pick up is when you pick up your fifth. Exactly. Exactly. So what you're going to do is you just want to spawn in as many of those bad boys as you can. Which, the thing that's kind of frustrating about it means you have to do some backtracking, right? Because it means like when you go to a mountain and you get it set up and you have the hungry ghost there. Then you leave it and you move on. And then once you feel like, okay, I have enough of them. Then you got to go back and go all to all those mountains. And that's why today's run is going to be a little bit longer. Because there will be some, some backtracking going on. But it is worth it. It is worth it. I mean, you can do some crazy stuff. With this kind of uh, with this kind of run, it doesn't mean you have to do this. This hungry ghost run is a uh, is kind of a a showcase of the creativity of Noita. It isn't a quest; it's simply an option for a way that you could take on uh, insanely strong bosses. It's up to you if you want to use this strategy, and that's why today's going to be my first day actually uh, legitimately uh, busting out the hungry ghost build. I'm excited to see it in action. Have we not found any hearts in this level? Hmm. Ever thought of implementing Twitch integration to Noita? We play Twitch integration in Noita um, just about every day I play Noita. Most days. Uh, but I usually do it uh, in chat. Like, uh, my Twitch integration is uh, a versus mode. Me versus chat. It's only bad stuff where the chat gets to vote on ways to try to kill me and then I try to survive. And uh, we do challenges uh, like that all the time. And I always beat chat, and they get really mad about it. Right, chat? Explain to the new guy how you always lose. Alright, it's even. How about that? Copium? What? <laughs> Try being the keyword. What am I going to do with you guys? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Let me grab this. I keep leaving that, but, you know, it's it, I do kind of need a trigger. I don't know why I was leaving that. Some people watching the video are probably like, huh? Why does it... So don't don't put too much thought into, like, the... If I if I bypass a wand, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily terrible. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of wand building, that's what makes Noita fun. A lot of wand building is, uh, there's personal preference stuff. If, you know, you build certain wands, not because they're necessarily just flat out better. It's because your certain style of play, uh, you, you enjoy running certain builds. Now, what builds you potentially can do with certain spells, that's that's the knowledge part of Noita, but you also get to, you know, choose for your style what's best for you. What? He feels so desperate, let him say what he wants, chat. What? What are they on about? So right now, if you're curious why I'm kind of playing a little bit weird, um, we haven't found any hearts, and yet I need to grab my heal in the mountain. The reason for that is because... If uh, one of those ghosts, those teleporting ghosts that are jumping around, happens to grab a nuke wand and then fires it off, it will hit me uh, for uh, more damage than I have health right now. So it could it could kill me. So I want to grab a heal, but I wanted to grab a heal after I found a heart. And it's unfortunate that uh, I haven't found one yet, but I have an idea. Wait, have I not found light? I haven't found light, have I? That is unfortunate. Have I passed up light at some point, chat? 
Wallaby says, hello, YouTube. Did you know that Dunk uh, doesn't merely make uh, great recorded content? Uh, what's that? He streams, too. Check out Dunk or Slam on Twitch.tv throughout the wee hours of the night, CST, Central Standard. Uh, you won't regret it. Oh, Wallaby, thanks for promoting the channel. Inventory? Chat, you see, this is why I keep you around. Um, <laughs> you have eyeballs, and I appreciate that because mine don't work so well. Um, all right. So, how do we want to use the light here? I guess we can get by like that. Alright, so what we're going to do is we are going to use our telly. So, remember earlier we got a telly flask. Remember, it's not unstable telly, it's regular telly. And it's 200% full because the flask thrower threw it at us. So, we're going to spray a little bit on ourselves. I'm going to point up because we can control where it teleports us. And now we're back into the last level. Doo -doo -doo. One simple trick to make the chat feel smart. <laughs> I, I could have swore I had light. I was like, I could have swore. But uh, apparently I was just blind. And I mean, I did have it, but I was just not seeing it. Uh, I don't know why I put spark bolt with my teleport bolt. That was uh, a little silly. How often do you remember to check if you uh, might tell you into lava? Most times I remember. Like, uh, I make like a mental note, but I do, f I have forgotten. Um, how long has it been, chat? A couple months ago I forgot. And I, uh, basically for anybody out there that's watching, keep in mind whenever you um, are telling back to a, a past level that if there was one of the, so the holy mountains usually are empty, but every once in a while one will be filled with lava. If there's one filled with lava, Depending on where it happened, but for the most part, unless you're really experienced, you should not telly back into the last level. Because you may telly up and jump into one of those pits of lava, insta-killing your run. Uh, but for me, I had traveled. That's one of the things that when I move thoroughly through the whole level, I check each holy mountain to check if one of them is a pit of lava. And if I don't see one, I'm like, okay, I, like mental note, I know it's safe. Usually I just don't think anything. It's just if there is a pit of lava, I tell myself, don't use telly. Um... So uh, pretty much, I, I did. I didn't remember thinking there was any lava pit there, so I, I just do it. But sometimes I forget, and then I jump into the pit of lava, and then Chad makes fun of me. Uh, yeah, yeah, Def Man. Uh, I'll probably uh, at the next Holy Mountain, we'll take a, a small break uh, for Chat to uh, spin some of your channel points on some sweaty cosmetics. And then we'll get back to the run. So we'll take like a probably like a two or three minute break. So if you're curious what I'm doing here, I'm emptying out the water. There is a heart in there. This isn't necessary to do, but because I feel like we're getting kind of unlucky in our first uh, area, I am going to resort on using this 25 HP from here. There's a, there's always 25 HP and there's always a heal in this zone. Always. You just need a way to see in there. And, uh, and you have to be willing to spend the time to like drain the water and all that kind of crap. What's up, Teal? How early do you typically kill the Alchemist? So, I am a pretty conservative Noita player. Uh, I tend to wait to have something that I'm like, oh, this thing will kill him, no problem. Because the Alchemist, um, he does shoot out some pretty scary stuff. Like, he'll shoot out lightning, which does explosion and electricity damage. I mean, he's got, he's got a couple tricks up his sleeve. Uh, so, I make sure I find something that's, like, certain to kill him. But that said, I would say right around the area that I hit snowy depths, that's when I first start saying, is there a reason for me to head back up to fight the alchemist? Sorry, if you're wondering why I'm dancing around in here, I'm waiting on this water to drain. Um, but if you watch some speedrunners, dude, their speedrunners will, will, they'll they'll find like, they'll use like the eye, you know, the eye on the surface uh, that's to the left of the tree in the snow. And they'll, they'll use that to kill the alchemist. People will, will use some crazy stuff to, to try to take down the alchemist as fast as possible. However, uh, you know, that has some elements of RNG that I do not trust. And I'm, I, I, I pretty much never run that shit. Oh, this is dangerous as fuck. So this is... So I couldn't jump into the water there because this guy is shooting electricity. And if he shot the electricity at me whenever I was in water, it would electrify the water and it would kill me. 
But it's pretty unlucky that he was there. Uh, I can't Ambrosia while I'm underwater. Let's see how we're going to do this. Hmm. I think we got a sweet spot there. So you do have to be careful. This is what this doesn't happen often that one of these guys roams over into the zone, but whenever it does, you have to be ready for it. And uh, I could have made a leap for that water, probably would have been fine, but sometimes the AI can be a little weird and, and be it seems like a little more aggressive than you would expect. And let's say I let's say I jumped into this water right as he like took a shot and it electrified the water. Well then, you know, I'd be dead right now. Uh, oh, that's the heal. Dang it, I was thinking that was the going to be the 25 HP. Let's see, is this going to let me dig through it all? I don't think it is. Huh. This is a really unfortunate one, but... Got to make a break for it. Here we go. And yes, the light it makes it really weird to navigate, I know. No drowning. Alright, we're out of there. So we left the heal, and the reason we left that heal is because we're going to need that later for the late game. And I'm just going to use the Holy Mountain heal that's over here. Though I guess I could have grabbed that heal and then used this one for the late game. It, either way, it's up to you. It's just this one adds 10 HP. Like, uh, the heal that's in the Dark Cave is just a full heal. This one, however, when you grab it... Uh, look, I'll go from, I have a 175 max, it actually gives you 10 HP on top of the full heal, so I figured, you know, it's a little things, that's like, that's being like nitpicky, right, but you know, you never know, you'll get in a situation where you survive with like 5 health, and you'll be like, oh, thank god that I played it super safe, and get, you know, I chose to grab that heal for the extra 10 HP or whatever. Um, let's move the telly on this. Why not? Uh, we don't really need these anymore. Uh, what, uh, what sweat from Vex did I miss? I see, I see several sweat deposits from Vex. Uh, hey Dunk, it might be faster to build a Homebringer wand to use that to break the rerolls and stack Hungry Ghosts rather than traveling through normal means. Build a Homebringer wand and use that to travel through. Oh, he's talking about a world, a world telly wand? Um, it's possible, but, hmm. It is possible, since uh, we already did come across Homebringer. But it, it, we'd have to come across... Uh, we do that to make a decision. Do we want to, look, want to look for all the ingredients to do a World Telly Wand? Or do we want to just travel and break all the rerolls? It's... Hmm. Really depends on how lucky we get. We did see Homebringer, though. Which, for the YouTube people, if you don't know, uh, World Tele Wand is a, a wand that lets you teleport from uh, a position. Oh my god. So there you go. There's a there's a pit of lava over here. Which means that, uh, well, actually it's the far left Holy Mountain. Which uh, should be still safe for me to use uh, my, my teleportation flask uh, to teleport between levels. Which I guess I could go check that now. Oh, yeah. That guy is dangerous. Maybe find Swapper. If I see Swapper, we'll start, we'll start considering it. We'll say maybe, maybe. Sometimes you just gotta react to what the game throws at you. And if it wants me to build a World Tele one, then I guess I'll do it. <laughs> No, no. Stay back, tentacle dude. Ooh, I stepped in some telly, but luckily I didn't get sent off into nowhere land. So if you ever see an empty flask like this, be alert. Um, this empty flask is not just going to be an empty flask. If I if I grab that thing, there's probably I don't know 100%, but there's probably a a lot of liquid behind it. Uh, it's this weird thing in Noita where if a if a flask springs a leak, 
what it's doing is it's kind of like draining the flask, but it's draining it behind the flask. It's like it's like hiding it. So you could have potentially like thousands of pixels of a liquid stuck behind a single uh, small flask. And I think I may have just shot it just then, so I won't get to show you. Oh no, we did. It's still there. So here, I'm going to shoot it. Let's see. No, nah, there wasn't a ton actually behind it. Uh, it must have drained slowly. But uh, there are there are examples of uh, players in... Uh, uh, there's probably some good clips that I could show right now. I should have had some saved. Where you'll see a player see an empty flask. They fly over. They grab the empty flask. And lava or whatever material just bursts out of it, insta-killing the player. I've seen it happen tons of times to people. It's happened to myself, of course. And it's just one of those weird... Uh, Noita interactions that you got to kind of get used to that it just it's just a thing that happens It's how the you know every pixel is simulated sometimes the simulation kind of breaks What's up Jesus good morning good morning Uh, what do we got over there? Swapper guy. Make sure we get rid of any enemies nearby, and then let's just lay into them. Here's one of those scenarios of why you would like to have the tablet, because you can just tablet this guy in the head. They don't have to deal with all the swapping and bullcrap. But you also don't want to leave this guy either, because uh, he can be very dangerous. Especially if he got his hands on this wand right here. Could have gotten very scary. I ignored a good wand. Oh, you're talking about that wand uh, or this one up there? It's not a bad wand. I mean, like, I may end up using it. It's, it's definitely not a bad wand. It's just... The reason I'm holding on to this one is it's a tin capacity. And I'm thinking, what if we get some kind of chainsaw set up? We'll see. If we if we end up not fighting anything crazy... I mean, I want to farm the double off of that. It, it, there's, too, there's too much we don't know yet in the run for me to, to commit to anything. I'm kind of just memorizing where these wands are at. And then once I see what all the resources, uh, what all resources are going to be in these fungal caves, then I'll piece together my build and decide which wands I'm going to grab here. Which real quickly, let me. So I should I should have did this earlier because since I have the tele flask, it seems silly to not do this. But Okay, see that is a that's a good wand. That spread is rough, but I think there was a wand that has a reduced spread, wasn't there, chat? I'm pretty certain there was a Ooh, look at that. Got some luminous drills. Walrus says yes. Oh, snap. So that's another thing is uh several times I've seen comments of people saying like, "How do you always get tinker with wands everywhere for these long runs?" And uh, the reality is, I mean, the thing that you should be more surprised with is that I got the projectile repulsion field in my first mountain. I got one of the best perks in the game in the very first mountain. Uh, but some people get really, they're like, oh my god, Tinker with Wands. Which Tinker with Wands is pretty damn convenient in, uh, in one of these long runs. But it isn't necessary at all. Uh, it's just, I'm always surprised at how, how many people just like... You know, they're like, oh my god, you got Tinker with Wands. Whenever you should be saying, oh my god, you got repulsion field. <laughs> That's the one that's like the, oh my goodness, kind of setup. Okay, let's see. So today's daily, I gotta say, pretty nice. Can't complain. Uh, we don't need all these up here then. And... It's a lot of luminous drills. Actually, you know what? We'll keep this as our backpack. How about that? This because oops, it's a, it's got a large capacity. We'll use it like it's our backpack. We're keeping a lot of doubles right now. There's a triple, some more spark bolts. We don't need that many luminous drills. Yeah, I think we're looking good. Oh, 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 I forgot to close the bets. Uh, all right, we're going to take a quick break here real quick to close bets and also open the shop real fast. Okay, so this is going to become our main wand right here. The pro So the, 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 the reason that this is going to be our main wand is because 235 mana charge speed on a non-shuffle is, is damn good. However, the 16 spread is yuck. 
So, what we're going to do... Actually, we don't even need that, do we? I'm thinking something like this. All right, and the bad thing is the, the spread, right? We have a terrible spread. We're gonna scoot all this over and we're gonna go grab that re uh, spread reduction that was in the previous level, attach it on here. It'll take care of our accuracy problems, which it isn't like the worst, but it's not, it's it's a little annoying. But we'll get that taken care of and then uh, it'll be a huge upgrade for our wand. It'll be much better than it was. I'm curious why they grab the crit on waters. You just, whenever I'm running around, if I ever grab stuff and I don't really comment too much on what I'm doing, like I, I just am grabbing materials, it's because I don't always have a plan. Um, you know, I am, I am sometimes just, just uh, grabbing spells, just seeing what comes, what we come across later. It, these are all ingredients, and I don't know the recipe for what I'm gonna build yet. It's just uh, I grab ingredients, and then if I end up having enough ingredients, that I'm like, oh, I can make a, you know. Uh, when I say a recipe, it's like recipes are made by the the community, right? Uh, you know, combinations that I like to use. So uh, if I if I end up seeing enough stuff, I'm like, oh, I love this combination. Then I piece it together. Which right now uh, I'm going with a simple spark timer, and then we just put two multicasts together. So it's a triple and a double, which is the equivalent of a four cast, because uh, this cast th this cast three, and then this adds uh, double cast adds one to it. So one we put four spells after it, and we can we can spam this pretty pretty comfortably. Uh, which I tend to put it in a way that it makes sense. So it goes triple, one, two, three, and then one, two. We just need to make it accurate. That's, uh, so the, uh, we did have a lava pit, but it was to the far left. So as long as we don't go pointing to the to the left side, uh, I don't think uh, it should even be possible for us to be able to reach that lava pit. Shouldn't be too concerning. And we have Tinker with Wand, so we're in good shape for our long run. Wasn't the reduced spread an always cast? Oh, was it an always cast reduced spread, chat? Rip. Which means that we won't be able to help out our accuracy. That sucks. Wait, BRB says no, it wasn't. It wasn't? Oh, okay. Maybe there was both. Maybe there was an always cast uh, spread reduction. And it, 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 they're thinking of this one, right? And then there was one that that has it separately, I think is what's going on. That's probably why there's some confusion. How to get rid of these telling mages? They are troublemakers. See them? Get rid of those mages when you get the chance, because it's just a matter of time till that guy grabs some kind of deadly wand and just blows everything up. So hold on, I'm gonna. I'm only gonna stay in the area that I've been in, just because that's where that uh, wand should be. Yes, there is Telly all over the place. Up there. Where is that uh, spread reduction chat? My memory is garbage. Oops. We want to uh, speed up. Why not? I don't think anything else there is really necessary. Chat's saying it was to the left of this. Is it this one? Genius chat. Genius. Spread reduction. Thank you chat. Good memory. Also, if you ever want to uh, put up a, a wand, because this one, for example, has uh, fireworks, and let's pretend that I didn't have edit wands everywhere, you would shove it in the ceiling like that. That makes it where that tel that mage that tel is telling around uh, is very unlikely to be able to grab it. But in our case, because we have edit, edit wands everywhere, you could also just throw it on the ground like that, and it disarms it so it's not a dangerous wand for or something to grab now. Uh, so now we have the accuracy down. And this build should be a pretty standard one. I don't think this is anything that, uh, even for the YouTube community, I mean, um, I know many people on the YouTube uh, channel don't watch my streams every day and see me running builds, but uh, this should be a pretty easy one to wrap your mind around. It's literally just all of this in one payload. And the reason I have double digging bolts on there is because uh, the digging bolts do reduce the, uh, the, the, the recharge time. So let's say we replace both these digging bolts with uh, spark bolts, like so, and we fire it. 
it's it's not terrible and you can still go pretty fast like i mean like you could still you could get by on this this wouldn't be like the worst wand ever but if you watch the pacing of this shot compared to this shot this one's faster that is the recharge reduction that we're getting from these digging bolts uh, having any more digging bolts than this, though, is not going to speed it up anymore because uh, two of them is a 0.34 recharge reduction, which means all recharge has been removed. So the only the only delay that's re remaining is that cast delay, that 0.07, which uh, currently we don't have a way to, to do a good job getting rid of that. We could use Luminous Drill, but it's going to be too draining on our mana. So uh, working with what we got. I don't know what the hell chat is pasting about. They're pasting like a bot in the chat. I don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, eh, no, I, I hate the toxic sludge to acid. I hate stuff like that. That's just like, no can cause issues because you don't want to be standing in some toxic sludge you fire this and all of a sudden you just you're standing in a pool of acid um is there a way to see the seed of the last run if it's finished uh yes it's a little tricky but uh if you go into your your noita folder you can look at your past seeds in fact i can go all the way back to the very first seed i ever played in noita uh over two years ago for, or you know whenever what yeah it's been over two years uh september uh 24th 2019 every single one of those has saved uh the seed and everything what was the chat going on about here there's something else i was going to respond to oh teal says why no heavy spread so remember the heavy spread is going to be pointless here because heavy spread we put it we put a heavy spread after the trigger if we want to um remove recharge time but in this case the digging bolts have already removed all the recharge Yes, we could use the heavy spread to get rid of the cast delay, but the only way to do that is if the heavy spread is on the outside of the trigger. So, if we put a heavy spread on the outside of the trigger, now we're going to have really fast but inaccurate shots. So, uh, you know, what's the, what the trade-off would be pretty terrible. Because you really can't aim where you're shooting. Like, you, you, you can't aim at anything. So we go with a slightly slower, but we want the accuracy. Remove the digging bolt and add heavy spread. Okay, so the thing is though, Teal, in this scenario, what are you trying to do? Because by removing the digging bolt and having, adding heavy spread, you are removing a thing that removes recharge to add a modifier that removes recharge. So you're taking away damage to then add in, you know, it, it, like I'm, I, the only reason I'm 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 want discussing this right now, so anybody out there who's trying to learn could use this to, to learn what you're saying. So what you what you're saying to do is you're saying to uh, add in the heavy spread here, and you could remove one of these here, right? So in this scenario, yes, it fires just as fast, but we've removed damage to end up with the exact same speed on the wand. Uh, so this is this is a bad move. Because um, remember, by putting a heavy spread on there, you're taking up one of the spots. So instead of this, I would rather just use uh, another digging bolt for damage. Because you got to remember, the digging bolt does do damage. Don't forget about that. Shield for TP? That's a good idea, actually. Solid idea. I like it. The NK old. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you are saying... the What you're saying doesn't quite add up. <laughs> You'd have, not only that, to consider what you're saying, we'd have to have at least a quad for that to even be something to think about. But even then, I, we're, we're, we got a good build going right here. More spark bolts equals more crits. 
this is true, but again, you are having to rem you're in your scenario, you're saying remove damage to add a spark bolt so you can do more damage. It it, it would not be worth it in the end. <laughs> Cuz you'd be adding you'd be adding a 5% crit chance. And you'd be removing damage to do it. Why it's like it's like saying you'd rather, instead of doing an extra 8 damage, you would rather your 3 damage have a 5% uh, increase in critting. This is a pretty crazy wand, actually, isn't it? Holy shit. I didn't even realize what I was looking at. This wand is extra crazy. Our issue with this wand is going to be cast delay, but we can do some, some tweaking to it. All right, let's prep this bad boy. We have spark bolts for days. So here we are going to use a luminous drill wrapping setup because the monopool can sustain this thing. It should be all right, and then we'll just transfer over what we had going on, right? Um, one, two, four, so. This will take care of all the cast delay issues. And this will take care of the remaining recharge. So now when we spam this, it spams. Uh, it looks like it runs out of mana really fast, but we're getting a ton of shots all in one burst. So nothing at this level will really tank through this. It'll all just die really fast. If we could find an add mana, we'd be in heaven, but we're, we're still looking pretty good right now. Can't complain. That wand is filthy. Yeah, it is. It is a good one. I like it a lot. Too bad we don't have a chainsaw yet. Luminous drill is a pretty uh, expensive thing to mana wrap because it costs ten mana, and it's casting it twice. So that luminous drill is costing us twenty mana uh, uh, a cast. That's that's pretty rough. Hmm. Yeah, and Lumi does add the ability to to give us a bit of digging, which is pretty cool. You right. Up in here, get rid of that slime on me. Uh, are we looking pretty good right now? We cleared this zone. No, we got a bit left. Oh, got hit by the tentacle guy. Uh, short tellies. Short tellies are superior to the long telly. So I want that. The reason it's superior is because uh, whenever you're shooting these tellies, you want to you want to move as fast as you can. And uh, short telly will allow us to move much quicker because long tellies, it's like long telly, you have to go, you have to shoot, wait for it to travel, then it teleports you. Short telly goes shot, shot, shot. So you can shoot rapidly and go go uh, further quicker. Right now, the long telly may be a little bit faster to get around, but it's much more dangerous. But in the, in the late game, you'll see that I'll build a wand that we're using those short tellies to just go brrr and just like fly across the screen really fast, which will be uh, better than the long telly. Like it'll just rapid fire like machine gun myself across the screen. What's up, Marcus? You forgot there was a stream today. How dare you? How dare you? I hope you're, I hope you're doing well. Hope everybody's doing well, and hope you're excited for. Uh, I'm recording this. It's now in Texas. It's about 2 a.m. Uh, so it's technically Friday now. But it's Thursday night to me, but it's technically Friday because it's after midnight. I hope everybody's excited for the weekend. Has uh, an awesome and relaxing weekend planned.
And the reason I'm being so thorough is because it just takes one wand to have like an add mana or something. And then uh, it'll speed up the whole run entirely. So I like to, to glance at each one that is offered to us. Alright. We've gotten through most of this zone. Well, there's some zone down there that I haven't explored. A refresh. The wand. Pain wand. Emphasis on the pain. Alright, we are heading out of here. Been pretty thorough. There's no reason to grab that. Didn't mean to. Uh, wait, did we not? What the hell is this? I think it's that unstable crystal wand from, yeah, earlier. That one mage was shooting it, I believe. He's losing his mind in the chat. Boop. Propane and propane accessories. Yeah, we'll make we'll make Hank proud. We'll make good old Hank proud. So we got the heal still up there. We haven't done a great job with finding hearts. That's uh I've either been doing a bad job recognizing formations, or this daily just doesn't offer a lot of them. I'm not I'm not sure. I may have I've been playing a little bit sloppy, so maybe I've missed a couple of uh, hidden zones. But we'll make up for it now, right? The broken wand right there. make some moves with that broken one. We'll see. Chance for a heart. No, no, never mind. Thought we had got a lucky formation. Did not. What's the stats on that? Eh. Eh. If you're curious why it's eh, I mean, two, two capacity already is just like How's it going, Susiter? There's no broken wands, only misunderstood ones. That's deep. <laughs> what the hell are you on about? Uh, stats on this, not too good because it's a shuffle. It's uh, a low capacity non shuffle. The telly one as well. Do, 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 do. Remember, if you're looking to find out what kind of wand it is before you even get there, I'm just looking for the uh, if there is a beep, 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 beep. If there is a gem inside of the wand, which a gem is just a clump of uh, like uh, white pixels or, or yellow pixels. See right there, there's a clump of pixels in the center of it, so I know it's a it's a non shuffle wand. Uh, and uh, oh shit, hold on. Beep. Some action going on here. I was trying to discuss using this sprite how you can kind of break it down. So it's a non-shuffle, low-ish capacity. I would I would assume, and um, yeah, I, I wouldn't expect it to be a great wand. Uh, however, you check it still because you don't know what spells will be on it, and triple spell and ping pong are pretty nice for us. Actually, if you think about it. We could make a ping pong loomy, couldn't we? Yeah, Johnny says ping pong loomy time, baby. <laughs> we could, we could. Um, yeah, we have we have a little bit of extras of these loomies. I went I went a little bit overboard when when collecting those. And if we were to do that, 
the reduction I don't think would be as big of a deal. Let's see. This, this, three, four. Hmm. How do we do this optimally? Do it this way, it'll have a stutter. But it doesn't run out of mana. And its damage will be pretty nice. Keep in mind that, um... Alright, I guess I'll kind of talk this through with anybody out there who may be trying to understand the, the theory crafting going on here. But, uh... The other one, that that's, didn't have anything, okay, no, nothing important. Alright, so first things first is, uh, I know I want to build uh, Ping Pong Lumi, because this thing has a uh, pretty solid mana regen. And so, Lumi, by itself, you know, it's pretty meh. Put the Ping Pong on there, makes it like a laser, not bad. Ext it extends the lifetime of the Luminous Drill. And it costs zero mana, so it's a good, it's a good move. From there, though, we want to apply this ping pong lumi to this luminous drill. Uh, it, we want to reduce more of the uh, the stats. Basically, we're trying to we want to cast this more often because the stutter is a little too long. But what we could do is put something like a double and maybe like a dig bolt because the dig, the double spell costs zero mana and the dig bolt costs zero mana. So this will cast uh, the ping pong luminous drill. Then the double will happen, which will cast the digging bolt, reducing the recharge even more. Then it will wrap and cast this again. So this is pretty good. Um, in fact, what we could do is uh, we could expand on that and do a double double and then two dig bolts. So this will be 0.34 reduction and then uh, this Loomis drill is 0.17 and then it wraps to it. Uh, it will wrap to it like that. And um, yeah, so that should be enough to, that's point, uh Six eight reduction, so there you go. That should be pretty optimal, I'd say. Yeah, getting the job done. The dig bolts are looking a little silly flying all over the place, but that'll be fine. The boss says, Feel free to play a little riskier for the YouTube audience. My streak and bet totally aren't riding on it. <laughs> Repulsion filled, carrying as it always does. There is some chaotic poly. It's a pretty good wand, though, overall. This one right here. It's uh. I mean, I don't have any specific plans for it, but it's just a, just an all-around cool wand. Shit, I knew it was gonna happen. I should have brought him in a little bit so he didn't, his gold didn't just fall right on top of uh, that flask. But we're missing a little bit of help. That is propane tanks that I'm flying right over. Two of them, in fact. Get rid of them while you can. Oh, hey, another puzzle in today's run. Second puzzle. So the wand that comes out of this is an always cast piercing wand. And uh, it's usually not... It's it's not a great wand for, for killing stuff most of the time. However, the fact that it's an always cast piercing is interesting. Because if you end up getting like a healing bolt or something, you can use this wand to... Uh, full heal yourself over and over and over because uh, healing bolt plus piercing is like a in the early game is a full heal with every single shot. So I would like to get my hands on it if I can. And you never know, maybe you can get healing bolts on the wand specifically. There's the always cast piercing and flamethrower. Yeah. So we'll throw these on the ground and then we're going to hold on to the wand though. We'll see if we come across a heal bolt. Would be nice. There is the magic temple, which we may end up going in there in a second. Oops. Chance for a heart here, and we got it. I think I could see it slightly, actually, from the edge. That formation, though, I recognized it. Those are components for Homebringer, by the way. We already had the Homebringer. We already came across Homebringer earlier. Uh, I think the trigger or something like that would have been... 
something, or not trigger, swapper would have been the one that we would have been more interested in. Hey, a quad. Hey, a quad. Let's uh, drop the quad over here. Hey, he shot me. That's rude. So those shots are kind of significant that he hit on, hit on me there because uh, propane, tank, propane tanks, when they explode, they do like 110, 111 damage or something. May even be a little bit more than that. Maybe like 115. It's somewhere in that general range. But uh, my health bar is now below the propane tank damage. The so one propane tank and I die. Makes me nervous. We don't need any more heavy spreads. We already have one. Uh, there's no hidden hearts here or anything, is there? There is no. Oh, the matter eater. That is true, Vex. That is true. There was that matter eater. Oh, that propane tank. Stay away from me. Get that away. Remember, propane tanks hit harder than a nuke, so uh, those are one of the things that I feel like a lot of players, a lot of new guys get got by. They don't... How did that... How did that telemage survive those luminous ping pong shots? I, like, shot him directly at him. Did not even care. Wasn't he right here? Where was he? Oh, he's right over here. Where are you? Where are you? Hmm. I hate leaving a, a telemage alive. The fact that there's even a telemage in here in the first place is weird. He must have tellied in from like fungal or something earlier. No reason for pollen, I don't think. I can think of. There's no hidden heart, it doesn't look like. Couldn't recognize the other formation because the Holy Mountain cut it off. If you're curious what I'm doing, I'm kind of checking along the uh, bottom of the mountain for any uh, lava filled Holy Mountains, which I haven't seen one yet. Oh, get this off me. I think whenever I was jumping around earlier, I may have seen a. Um, May have seen a shop or something. Just love it when the snipers have like a perfect angle. They're set like a million miles away, just raining in shots. So over here, we actually saw another interesting thing. This thing's got this. This seed has some stuff on it. This is a this is an eye puzzle, which normally I don't uh, like. If I have a good digging one, which I do right now, I just dig to the room. Um, instead of wasting telly. But since a lot of people haven't seen the eye puzzle before, or the eye, I don't know, portal, whatever you want to call this thing, uh, you pour in telly, and uh, after there's enough telly in it, okay, is there is that ice getting in the way? I think that ice is getting in the way, isn't it? All right, how are we going to do this? Um, remove this. Can I just shoot these dig bolts in there? Well, that's... Okay. Come on. Ice, get out of here. Uh, Alright, now let's try it. There we go. Stupid ice. Complicating things. Uh, Alright, this is the free wand room. Which uh, has crappy stuff and crappy stuff. Wow, what a terrible free wand room. Arrows for everyone. That's what we were looking for. Uh, Alright, so we move this ad mana right here. And uh, now we have an infinite casting luminous drill. This makes things pretty interesting because we can uh, up our damage by putting two, two luminous drills on a double. So it means it casts double luminous drills at the same time now per shot. So instead of shooting one luminous drill, it's shooting two, and then we wrap to it. So, so these this casts in one shot, then it hits the double, and there's nothing here. So it wraps and grabs this, which grabs this, which grabs this, which grabs this, which grabs this. So uh, we should be. Oops. Doesn't matter. I mean, the order of these doesn't matter. Like you can put, you could literally put these in any order. This will, uh, it'll do the same. But uh, our damage is significant here because uh, with this build, I tend to put it like this so I can better get a, get a better visualization of what's happening there. Actually, we could even add a third luminous drill, couldn't we? Uh, we could do three luminous drills and then wrap to that, and then yeah, 
This is like optimal damage. This is a really good alchemist killer right here. You guys know me. One of my, one of my favorite ways for killing the alchemist. Ping Pong Lumi. Gotta shoot him from directly above. But it does a really good job. That's a propane tank. And yes, we are getting a bit of lag now. There's a... Whew, a lot going on. Silver pouch. <laughs> Yo, right there, gutter mess. As raw as a dinosaur. Oh. Boom. My first win was with a ping pong luminous drill. Yeah, I believe you on that one, Limbos. This is one of those builds that, like, uh, whenever somebody in the chat told me to try it out, I was like, huh? They're like, put ping pong on a luminous drill. And I was just like, what? Because ping pong back then, in the early days, ping pong was looked at when it first was added as, like, just pretty much shit. Uh, wasn't used a ton. Not many people ran it. And then, uh, and then, then, you know, the community discovered the ping pong luminous drill. And that changed quick. Because then now everybody's like, oh, ping pong is awesome. Because ping pong costs zero mana. That's what really makes it badass. Because think about it, the wand works like this. And then by adding in a free mana modifier, uh, a free modifier that costs no mana, you end up with this. Like, what the hell? That boy thick. Okay, so I checked all the mountains. None of them had lava in them. Uh, at least none that I remember. So we should be able to jump into here. We will be going back up in a second. Missile, some arrows. There's a horizontal there. That's some spice. There's a freeze. Maybe, maybe. Uh, we're going to re-roll these, I think. Yeah, we're going to re-roll these. Whoop. And... I don't think there's any reason for that, right? Nah. <laughs> re-roll, yeah, chat's saying re-roll, re-roll, re-roll. Alright, we'll re-roll again. Uh, still nothing too exciting. We'll grab the unlimited spells just because it'll allow for more creativity and builds, but not necessary at all. Uh, the horizontal, you guys know I'm all about the horizontal. Oh, I left my piercing, I always cast piercing wand on it. I left it back there, didn't I? If I need it later, I'll go back and grab it. We will see. Uh, some telly, spray it on myself. There's one more thing I need to do here. Uh, if I put that light there, how does this look? Okay, we're fine. The so one more thing that I was looking to do. I want to... Hmm. It's pretty much a better version of this wand. Um, I'm lazy, but if some for some reason we need that, I'll I'll go back for it. It had one degree less spread too. I'm just I mean like we're, we I, I I'm lazy like the basically the only reason I should jump to another wand is if it's a significant upgrade. That one, you wouldn't really notice a DPS change. It's just it's just a better statted wand, but nothing that we can gain from in this moment. Nothing that I'm like, oh, I needed that. You know, I guess one degree less of spread. That's the only thing we would gain from immediately. So using the light, we're going to see if we can keep ourselves safe in this area. Hopefully I don't get myself in any trouble. Can be kind of a dangerous area, though. We have to watch for... Uh, Oh my god. <laughs> Something like that. Getting right next to an enemy seems like a bad call. That, what'd that have? Triple spell. Uh, I think we already have one of those put up, right? Yeah, triple spells right there. Gotta be careful. We're looking for a heart mage. And the reason we're looking for one of those is because it can speed up the, uh, the process of this run. We can be a lot more sloppy and we don't have to worry about explosions as much. However, those floating wands are scary as hell. 
You know what? I'm not even going to risk it right now. I'm going to go ahead and grab my heal now. I feel like it's... I'm just risking too much. Having 79 HP in there with with, bear, with those floating wands. RNG is is in the in the driver's seat, and I don't like it. Because all it takes is one of those floating wands that shoots from off screen to shoot a nuke, and then that's that, right? There we go. Grab this. Now we can go over there. Doop, doop, doop. So, Solar, what is he on about? Can you shift the color of Hungry Ghost? Not that I know of. I don't think there's anything that you can do to mess with the, the color of the Hungry Ghost. The shield is really the only thing that I can think of that we you can shift the colors of. Um, for, for perks, that is. That I know of. Just killed a pheromone, to, uh, not a pheromone, but uh, an abyss ghost, I think. The crappy thing is about shooting these shots, we can't just hold it down because if we see a heart mage, we're trying to not like instantly obliterate them. Looks like we won't be getting a heart mage here. Hmm. Oh well, it happens sometimes. That is a scary wand. Which I guess we could maybe use this to kill the bridge boss, couldn't we? too interested in that we have because we have homing yeah it's unfortunate no hard mage oh well we should survive still it happens As soon as I grab this, that's whenever you find the heart mage. You're like, oh, there he is. Alright, so I have a mist, I have acceleration, and I have a plasma beam orbit. And we have a timer. So that means we are set up to, uh, let's see. One, three, four. Put it there. We are we are ready to kill the bridge boss. Let's do that one first, and then we'll kill the alchemist, and we'll, we'll do all the stuff we need to do. We haven't found any black holes yet, so the alchemist won't be as big of a, a deal to, to kill right now, unless we find uh, unless one of them drops something, like uh, like the bridge boss drops a black hole one. All right, so spark timer. Could do spitter timer, but spark timer, uh, acceleration homing, uh, plasma beam orbit onto a mist. So the orbit uh, orbits the mist, the homing makes it run after enemies, and the spark timer delivers it uh, closer to said enemy. All right, so that's the game plan. And remember, plasma plasma stuff, uh, plasma beams are the uh, bridge boss's like one of his ultimate weaknesses because when he sees it. The boss is like, you, know, you think those plasma beams are good? And then casts like a billion of them. And then uh, proceeds to beat his own ass with his uh, his own plasma beams. Which is hilarious. Recently tried the spells to power and actually uh, killed the bridge boss myself. So that the game had counted towards my progress bar after all that time. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah uh, the, the spells to power, any of those that adds like a significant amount of damage to a single projectile, uh, those are, those are money. Let's head on over to our friend. 
And I am gathering the orbs right now. Like, if I was doing a regular run, like, helping out a newcomer, I would not suggest them grabbing, like, any more orbs. They grab, like, one more, I guess, they really wanted to. But, uh, I wouldn't suggest more because they've already got the benefits. They're already surviving the early game. So, the HP isn't going to be as big of a deal as the added health that the boss gets at this point. But, for our run, I want to have a decent amount of orbs to, uh, to test out the Hungry Ghost builds on. So we're pre-digging the path. Alright, and then uh, remember we have to touch this point right here. Uh, when you when you when you fly around to this area, you don't have to grab the orb at all. You just have to fly to this point right here. We hit trigger number one, and then trigger number two is when I touch this spot right here. Boss is gonna spawn in. I shoot that around the corner, it homes onto the boss. The boss is getting uh, messed up by his own plasma shots. Oh, it didn't, it didn't kill him. All right, well, got to get to a safe spot. He's probably going to die off screen now because I was a little... Oh, is he still... Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, I, I had to get... Sorry, I, I like to try to kill him in a way that you can see him kill him. But uh, once he once he got kind of aggressive there and uh, I didn't have a clean, like, safe spot dug, I had, to, I had to shoot it and get away from him. But the idea is simple. You literally just... Shoot the mist, mist runs after the boss, and then uh, it's the plasma beams are the key. Which instead of using a plasma uh, beam orbit on a mist, uh, one of the things that I really like to use instead would be like these uh, plasma beam cross like this. And you just shoot that because the plasma beam is much larger. And uh, the goal is that you just need to hit the boss. Uh, you want that, that to like kind of go and center itself on the boss. The boss will fire off a shit ton of its own plasma beams and kill himself. Pretty much it forces the boss to suicide. And, um, hmm. I think we got everything we need here. Oh, no, I wanted to get the, the black holes and stuff off of this. These horizontals have been just everywhere. Walrus says, be careful killing the uh, the bridge boss with plasma time spells. He spawns a shit ton, and if you get too close, the tidal wave of plasma will kill you. Uh, so just shoot and run away like Dunk. Yes, stay stay back. Stand back. It is scary. How do we want to do this? The reason I'm holding on to so many spark bolts, in case you're curious... Is that uh, I am looking to do a Hungry Ghost Spark Bolt build. The reason I do Spark Bolt specifically is because uh, I think the it's a it's a fun thing to add damage to the Spark Bolt because it usually only hits for for three damage. So whenever you're showing off like a build, if you're taking something that normally does three damage and making it do like hundreds of thousands of damage, it, it really sells how much you know how much umph the the build gives it you know so i do want to do uh spark bolts on this hungry ghost build today so that's why i'm, I'm kind of hoarding a lot of them but you don't have to use spark bolt it's just the spark bolts also add crit too so the side bonus for for why you'd want to stack them up like that speed up speed up black hole sure and then we're going to real quickly head on over to the pyramid boss as well. Such a messy inventory. I know, I know. I got to gotta do some house cleaning, okay? Don't judge me. Don't you judge me. Uh, luminous drills. We don't need that up there. Some of these down here. Bloodless? Eh, we usually don't need the Bloodless. Uh, I mean, we already have uh, lots of damage modifiers. We aren't even making fun, uh, making, uh, not fun, but making or taking advantage of uh, of the these damage modifiers, which are safe to use ones. So, Bloodless, uh, we, we really don't have a spot for it right now. I mean, you could if you're really convinced to use them on like the Digging Bolt, but uh, our current build, we don't really have a place. All right, spawn in our friend. Hello, Pyramid Boss. Hello, hello. Alright, give him a moment, he's going to spawn in a couple more, there he goes, and then he's about to open his mouth, so let me get to a good position so I can light him up. There we 
go. Ping pong Lumi, too strong, right? Uh, this is the copy three random spells. Oh man, like my least favorite of the ones, but that it's still good though. It's still good. It's still good. Thirteen capacity. Uh, yeah, this is an upgrade because capacity is mainly what uh, we're looking at right now. So. And it's got an always cast, uh, or a uh, crit on bloody. Yeah, always cast crit on bloody. Pretty nice. Am I casting this right? Why does it look kind of weird? Why does this look so weird? Oh, the, without the spread, I see. Spread was giving it a bit. Maybe if you like the spread, you could, uh, do something like that. A little too much spread, though, isn't it? Eh, let's just go with a very precision shot digging. Go. Uh, get my tele wand back. Good, looking good. It looks, uh, it's safe on Lumi and it looks glorious. Uh, what you mean? Uh, I think the, uh, we, you can get swapped into it from Swapper and damage yourself with a ping pong Lumi drill. I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% on that. But I thought like if you if you have a bloodlust, uh, so we so if we had it on this one, it would give us a shit ton of kickback, and then if you hit a swapper with it, I think we could light ourselves up pretty badly. But now we're going to uh, chat's favorite area, the gold room, and this is necessary to do in this run since we are going to be breaking the reroll machines. The circle of vigor trigger uh, swappers. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Even it just any form of it doesn't have to be damage. You can literally be healing, and it'll swap you uh, places with them. People have lost runs because of uh, circle of vigor healing a swapper, and it's swapping them. <laughs> What's up, Kodiak? What I missed there, Kodiak? Since the bridge boss copies spells, would he copy heal bolts if you shoot them at them? That was somebody asked that actually just the other day. I said, I don't think so, but I don't know. I've never seen it myself. But even if he did, it wouldn't be that useful to you. Because you got to remember, whenever he's copying stuff and like spamming them at you, he also will will add in his own spice of like uh, spells. Like he can summon in wands. He can shoot off polymorph shots. He can shoot off tele shots. So I, I really don't see a reliable way to somehow trick the the boss to shoot off heal projectiles anyway anyways in a safe way that would, would matter. No dunk tails. Dunk tails. Dunk tails is pr is totally not DMCA. You can definitely safely play the theme song while being Scrooge. <laughs> totally, Pograx, definitely. How's it going by the way, Pograx? I hope you've been enjoyed returning to the streamer life. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> and yeah, like Kevy said, I can't play it right now, but feel free to theme uh, to, to to hum the theme song DuckTales in your head right now as we jump around and collect gold. You gotta stay DMCA friendly for the YouTubes. Does the spark bolt have a hidden crit modifier built into it? Uh, it actually is not hidden. It actually tells you. Uh, if you hover over it, you'll see at the bottom, it says plus 5% crit chance. Uh, now, this is interesting because um, if you are casting four spark bolts all at the same time, so um, you do a quad and then you do um, four spark bolts, it's not that each one of them individually has a 5% chance to, to crit. It's that any time you add a spark bolt, it if it's cast at the same time as other spells... It adds that 5% chance to crit to all other spells in the payload. So a quad with four spark bolts means that every single spark bolt is sharing its crit modifiers with each other. So they all have a 20% chance to crit, which is 5% times 4. So 5 times 4 is 20. So each one 20%. So if you stack a ton of spark bolts together, you can uh, increase your, your crit odds to be like guaranteed critting, you know, at a certain point. 
What's the goal for the gold? So we're actually going to need this gold in this run because remember we are breaking the reroll uh, today. Uh, we're going to be breaking the reroll machines, and that can be a little expensive. I think it'll cost us around. I don't know. If I had to guess, it'll probably cost us like around 300,000 to 200,000 to 300,000 gold to get it broken. So this room will have 250k. We may need to snag a little bit more. Maybe not. I'm probably I'm probably overshooting. Probably safe enough that you could get by like 150k or something. It's just I tend to I tend to like to go with the overkill method so I don't have to backtrack and get more gold. And yes, crits do five times damage. Thank you for pointing that out, Walrus. So if you can if you can hit something with a crit and normally you'd be hitting them for the regular damage would be like 20 damage, then that means that if you crit on them, it'll do five times 20, which would be 100 damage. If it's, it's whatever your, your regular damage is, multiply it times five. And that it does include like the damage modifiers. So if you have um, if you have a hundred damage added from damage modifiers onto like a single spark bolt, so you have addition. So your spark bolt does um, three damage on its own, and then you have a hundred damage added from damage modifiers. That means that spark bolt does a hundred and three damage. So whenever you crit for times five. It does the 103 damage times 5. Uh, Alright, so we've collected enough gold here. We're looking good. The so critting is strong. And if you and yes, you can uh, you can use like crit on water twice. You can crit on crit. So um, if you have two crit on uh, waters, uh, that would be times 5, and then another one would be time another it'd be so it'd be times 10. They're additive, not multiplicative. So I'm just glancing in here. I just wanted to see if there was going to be like a, a anything of interest. Just a quick glance. See something like this could be interesting. The cast delay is massive on that though. And since we only have luminous drills right now, I'm like, eh. maybe we'll wait to explore this area since we don't have explosion immunity and we don't have any way to heal reliably right now. Uh, 16 capacity is an upgrade over our 13 capacity, but I'll hold off on that for a bit. Uh, Ambrosia. There's lots of Ambrosias in this run. A lot of Ambrosia. I was hoping we'd find like a, like a heal bolt just chilling on one of these or something. Wand Mart. This is the uh, underground or overgrown caverns. One of the best places in the whole game for shopping for wands. It can be a little spicy, a little dangerous, but uh, man, does it have great resources. Got some good ass wands and tons of flasks. Potential to grab lots of hearts. It's just a, it's a all around great area. Allergies getting a little annoying. Ah, for myself a bit. Um, what do metals like silver and copper do? So silver is actually needed for. Um, so there's a there's a a spot for removing the perks off of your character. It's like uh, people refer to it as the perk removal altar, and it's an altar that you pour in three materials: um, whiskey, blood, and silver. Each one has a little spot where you place it. And uh, whenever you do that, all the perks on your character just fall off onto the ground. And you can, you can, you know, they just sit in front of you. You can pick them up. So you can have 100 perks and then drop them all on the ground. And all 100 perks will just fall onto the ground. Uh, that's that's one of the main uses for, for silver and why people sometimes are seeking out pouches of silver. Because they plan to do that in their run. Now, is it really necessary in your, your most runs? No, like there's not really much of a reason. Uh, unless you accidentally grab the perk that you want to remove, or you're just looking to get the uh, the pillar for the the perk removal altar.
Which it does have a pillar right now, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. I think I think it was. Pretty certain I remember one. It does have a pillar. Okay, okay. I was making sure I wasn't making things up. I was like, I could have swore I had one. I couldn't picture the which pillar it was. So that's why I was like, wait, which one is it? Explosive projectile. That's interesting. Uh, right, so we'll snag it off of here. Get that out of here. Wait, what I just, oh man. All right, let's head out of here. We, I glanced through, um, Venomous Curse. Oh, we don't need Venomous Curse. Oh, you just passed that Magic Guard? Oh, thank you for the reminder. Wait, what, which one was it? It wasn't this one. Magic Guard, we will need that to feed the Hungry Ghosts, won't we? Uh, which one was the Magic Guard one, chat? Do do do. This one's not Magic Guard, that's Spiral Shots. Spiral Shots, I think you were mixing those two up. Unless, was there another one that I, uh... Didn't realize? They, they do look pretty similar. They do look very similar. But I'm not too concerned about getting the... The... Magic Guard yet, just because that'll be once we have the Hungry Ghost and we're bound to come across it in, you know, during our journey. Alright though, for real, we need to head out of here. Oh, yes! Staying around a little bit longer pays off. Uh, also, there's an Infestation. This is a pretty rare spell, you don't see it that often. And remember, Infestation with Explosive Projectile... My god. It is super potent. Uh, explosive, so normally uh, infestation, if you shot it at an enemy, it would hit for like 8 damage or something. And then if you attach an explosive projectile to the infestation, it'll hit for like 3,000 damage. Um, I can show that if you would like. Uh, I'll, in fact, I'll clean up some of uh, my stuff, but we also want the chainsaws. Are, it's the main reason I was saying, my god. Chainsaw is the real, the real win here. Which, by the way, I need to I need to swap over our black hole wand, anyways, don't I? Let's do this real quick. Hold on, three mana, one eighty three. So we can just do one speed up on it for now. But once we have the other stuff set up, we'll be able to swap it back on. So it's no, no biggie. So we shoot it. Yeah, it's still got the mana pool for it. It's looking good. Let's go kill us an alchemist. Is this a seated run or just an unbelievably blessed? It's today's daily run, yeah. So it's uh, it's uh, just the daily for today. We get, got some pretty great resources on it, doesn't it? Pretty great. I feel like every time I I, uh, I do a YouTube video, that's whenever I get some of the, you know, just classic regular builds that, uh, you know, ping pong, Lumi, pretty pretty standard stuff pretty strong the one black hole we did get lucky because the bridge boss dropped that so if, the, if we hadn't got that bridge boss kill like because the, the the wands that the bridge boss drops are not um they, they're seated but not in, uh, i don't think like in a normal way that you would expect meaning like if you kill the bridge boss you're you're not likely to get the same stuff unless maybe if you kill it at the same location and i don't even remember if the bridge boss works in that way you're just going to get different wands is what you 
need to know. Uh, okay, let's move back this way. I got lucky that the one that it dropped for us had black holes. And I would like to play this safe. So, to play it safe, we are going to... Grab our heal down here now. There goes that Ambrosia. I wish only wands would show your uh, potions slash utility slots. Wait, but you can see those. <laughs> but wait, you mean these? Oh, is it because you're curious what some flasks are? Because the reason it show the reason that we have that command so that it can show is because you know you don't you can't tell what's on my wands. That's why he has that and it shows the inventory. But it doesn't show this stuff because I guess he just assumes most people know. Uh, like the colors, but uh, yeah, that one I don't think would be that hard for him to add. I just never considered it. Uh, we could we could grab some of these spells. At the very least, we could uh, we could joint this and use it as a new backpack, right? Only adds one capacity. Mark says infestation plus homing killed my tin orb Colmy in uh, two volleys. Oh, I believe you. I believe you. Infestation is is crazy, man. That is true, Mirror. That is true. If you end up making mixes in the flask, you can't see that uh, visually always. So you, you just see one color. That's a good point. Which if uh, if uh, the uh, the wands mod uh, allowed chat to see the percentages of each one, that'd be kind of badass. We already at the boss. Oh wow, I flew over it. Oh. Went a little too far. Just slightly too far though. Okay, so remember, I've talked about it several times in many of my other runs, but maybe it's your first run to see uh, where I use Ping Pong Lumi. Uh, with this boss fight, you want to hit directly from above them. The hitbox is a little bit odd with the Ping Pong Luminous Drill. Uh, well, I mean, it's not the hitbox of the Ping Pong Luminous Drill, it's the hitbox of the, bo the boss. The boss's hitbox is in such a way that even when his shield is up, I'm able to hit him if I shoot uh, from above. So uh, we're going to abuse that and hopefully not get smacked by the boss. And if you're curious why I'm digging these like little cubbies and, and you know exits and stuff is because sometimes I have to scramble around to get a good position on the boss. It can be a bit of a pain. But I'm mainly watching out for electricity. He does shoot electrical stuff, and that's annoying. Oh, buddy. That one is electrical. Aw, oh, come on. Oh, that, that, that had a pretty good spot right there. Oh, hey. How dare you. We, had it. we hit the sweet spot for a second. There we go. There we go. Oh, come on. I had it for a moment, and then, then I missed it. Oh, I hear the electricity on that one. <laughs> Zapped him and ran. Zapped him and ran. Uh, okay. It's like that 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 sweet spot from slightly from above. If you shoot from the sides, uh, I don't think like any of your ping pong luminous drills will hit because from the side it just covered it protects his hitbox like completely. But when you get that from above, you can just smack him. Which, by the way, if you're curious how to do this replay thing, that's one thing that's commonly asked. I, I feel like I'll see it in YouTube comments or people in the stream. Uh, that is not a mod. That is, uh, it's actually in the options. You just go to replay recorder, turn it on. Uh, the, the more replay budget you give it, the longer the replay will be uh, in terms of like how far back it'll go. And you just press F11 whenever you like, and it'll show your last, you know, couple seconds. Uh, but anyways, the stuff that it dropped is, uh, is kind of shit. I feel like we got uh, pretty scammed on the uh, on the alchemist spells. Kind of scammed. 
Why did we switch our tele wand over to a wand with a better capacity? Smart person would have done this. Hmm. What's up, Latali? It's going pretty good. Nothing too crazy. We just killed the alchemist. Um, yeah, we're just we're schmoving. What are we gonna do with this? I don't think we need the reduced spread anymore. Find it unlikely. <laughs> Let's always says I see you had some streamer luck with the uh, with perks. Yeah, we've been doing pretty good. Well, the unlimited spells is a wash, but these two, uh, well, tinker with wands has just been nice for our laziness, but uh, repulsion field has been keeping us pretty damn safe, keeping us comfy. Get that out of there and. Drop that. Move that down here. All right, let's grab up some stuff. Do we want? Are we? Are we gonna use Sigma? I'll hold on to it. You never know. And uh, I'm actually gonna let go of one of my. I'll let go of one of the doubles. Actually, we can place the double here. Does it's free. Okay, uh, Omega. One of the most expensive ways to do this. We could go with Wand Refresh as well. Hmm. Well, now all those wands that I left back in the... Uh, in Wand Mart, aka the Overgrown Caverns, uh, I'm like, shit, I need to go back, I think, and grab one of those bad boys. Later, Peter. <laughs> I see you, Miksu. I see you. I'm going back over to the uh, the wand area real quick just to swap out my Tele wand and also like this wand right here. I was like, oh, this is perfect because I can use like Gamma or Alpha and then or Tau, and then we end up getting the fucking the worst stuff, man. Like, okay. I see how it is. I see how it's gonna be. Take me back real quickly. Uh, this time I'm actually gonna explore a bit to the right. Nope. That's the one we uh, peeked at earlier. Be careful, make sure I don't jump into something here. Um, sure. Lost, lost. Acceleration, black hole. Then we put down a uh, wand refresh. And we'll put down the other speed up. And then we put down the multicast so it casts uh, wand refresh. Good now. Yeah. We're good. So essentially, all we're doing is um, basically you want to cast the black hole. These don't have to be there, they're there for the speed. The black hole and the wand refresh need to be cast at the same time. Actually, it's an always cast too. I think that would be fine on its own, right? Hopefully, let's we'll see. Yeah, yeah, it's fine on its own. Whoop. I didn't even realize it was an always cast too. I wasn't paying attention. But it's ca it needs to cast the black hole and the wand refresh at the same time. This makes it so that the um, something with charges does not lose its charges because of the uh, the fact that the wand refresh is being cast at the same moment. It's like it, the wand refresh like interrupts the code where it's supposed to de-increment, you know, to, to remove some of the uh, the charges, but I'll put the multicast there just for the sake of that it does wrap and cast it actually twice. And uh, I think it actually multiplies on the, the speed ups as well, right? See how, see how it travels like this at this speed? And then if we wrap to it, woo, it really hauls. What's happening is it, uh, the wand refresh is kind of weird. It lets you like wrap to these speed ups and cast them like twice. So I think that's the equivalent of four speed ups. That's some advanced stuff. Don't worry too much about that. Just remember the part with the wand refresh. 
how you can uh, ooh damper how you can oh, I forgot to grab my telly you can cast uh, any spell infinite infinitely using wand refresh Greek letters also are the se the easier version to infinitely cast but uh, the game was being a little bit of a dick and that didn't give us uh, the other good Greek letters it gave us what we have oh wow this this is stats are terrible I just noticed that Okay, that's going to be our telly wand, then. How about that? There. And... Well, now the bloodlust I left behind is a little silly, because we did end up getting recoil damper, even though it's one of the rare spells. I didn't expect to get it. I was thinking, oh, I don't want to use it to... Uh, have to deal with that kickback and all that crap. Some double triggers. A double trigger. Put it up there. Oh, there's also a magic guard. I almost uh, didn't even notice it. Magic guard. So the tall saying we should use that to feed the hungry ghosts, which sounds good to me. Now then. All right, let's get back to the uh, the regular zone because. We are taking it pretty slowly. Let's speed it up. You could do a uh, chainsaw, uh, double. I notice also any modifier you put inside an add trigger doesn't use charges. Uh, I didn't know uh, that I had a uh, that I had piercing, uh, burrowing, homing pinpoints of light, uh, triggering a bunch of chainsaws. That was pretty neat. Uh, that's that's pretty spicy. It is pretty spicy. I love the pinpoint of light to add trigger. What's that gramophone thing? Gramophone thing. Yeah, what's he referring to? The music. Oh, the music box. Um, so there are four music boxes on the surface, and uh, I guess I should have pointed out. Whenever I killed the alchemist, he drops this key, and you, if you go to each music box and then drop the key next to it then kick the music box, it'll play a song. And um, after you've played four music, uh, at the four music boxes, the key becomes like a, a key that can unlock a chest that has uh, has some divide by spells in it. Oh my God. Woo! Holy shit. That was scary. I got lucky on that one. Good thing the black hole was draining that water very rapidly too. What the fuck? No heart. The boss says, come on, how do you survive? The black hole that I shot, I was traveling behind it a little too close, but the good thing about it is that it was um, draining the water. If the water was not being drained there, I would have gotten electrocuted pretty badly. But I got I got lucky that it didn't uh, just super pulse and take me out right from the start. Uh, let's go over here. That <laughs> streamer flirting with death, you know me. Let's go ahead and piss the gods off. At this point, we're in good shape. You'll notice that it starts to speed up uh, right about now because besides perks, besides making sure that we have stuff like electric immunity and explosion immunity, uh, strength-wise we're like beyond where we need to be. We we can easily survive some, some dangerous enemies just with this ping pong loomy. And even if we want to switch to something else, we have other good options. Uh, ooh, blood material. That's interesting. Because we have a crit on blood wand. 
I mean, it's an always cast though, which kind of sucks. Whatever. Uh, also, we could dig our way to this free spell room if we wanted, but I'm just gonna... We're in this. Still works though. It'll work on the Luminous Drills, but it won't work for uh, any other super late game stuff. That... Oh my gosh. Do we not have enough telly? Fuck off. I had used up too much of it. Alright, we gotta walk all the way over to this place. So basically, the, the hourglass was supposed to take us to this uh, room that we're heading to right now. I was trying to save myself the, the journey. But uh, I did not have enough teleport. Divide by four. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need any of this. Though I gotta say, we have slowly seen the ingredients for the uh, world tele wand just kind of naturally appearing in this run. Can you use? Uh, can you turn unstable telly into regular telly? Yes, you have to put. Uh, you have to pour slime into unstable telly, and it'll convert it over to regular telly. Uh, but whenever you're using that hourglass, you don't have to use regular telly. It can be either one. But if you were just asking because you're curious because regular telly is just better, then yeah. You can convert over to the good stuff. It is a bit of a pain converting it over because you have to pour it like on the ground. Then you have to scoop it back up. But it can be done. Oh my god. Did, did Repulsion Field just save me there? So if that guy hits that, hits me with that, what happens is my character actually gets stun locked. So what will happen is he'll hit me with that freeze. And then once he hits me with it once, he'll stand right next to me and shoot me with the freeze shots over and over and over until I die or he runs out of charges. Which is usually I die first. Um, what did he shoot? He shot the freezing gaze. Uh, see, there's sta oh yeah. So he had he oh, it was a pretty big delay. So maybe I would have had a chance to break out of it. But uh, the reason it's scary is because it comes with a freeze. So whenever enemies hit you with it, what'll happen is you turn a corner and an enemy will be holding it. So they shoot it at you and it freezes you. Well, they fire. They just keep. They just stand there and they just keep shooting it. So they'll just keep shooting it. You're you're stun locked in place and they're just standing there going tap 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 and you just stand there until you die. I've seen many players, uh, I've seen people streaming, you know, Noita, and that I've watched them die that way several times. It's a really annoying death, and it almost just happened to me. We are, we are like a cat with nine lives right now in this run. I've had some close calls. We are flirting with death. Another chainsaw, another explosive projectile. All right, that's Pog. Doop, doop, doop. Okay, so I'm gonna be snagging that up in a second, but uh, I did say earlier that I was gonna show this, and then I proceeded to like forget. My bad. But uh, the infestation trigger infestation we shoot it at the statue hits for what was that like 16 damage 14 17 damage so don't forget we're getting, we're getting a little damage from the uh spark bolt double trigger but also the, the rest of it's just infestation damage so let's just say let's just say 18 damage or some shit right scoot that over put one of our explosive projectiles and we're gonna fire it a thousand three hundred if you hit it real close you can do some some real significant boom now, we don't have to worry about the explosions so much, uh, but the fire is what I have to be concerned about because I can still uh, ignite myself. But the explosions are safe for the player, even though I don't have explosion immunity on infestation. Now, on something like Luminous Drill, this can hurt the player. Um, and in like uh, blood, blood material, watch this. So if I shoot this at the statue, seven damage, right? Because blood doesn't add any damage. Uh, it can add crit abilities if you have a crit on bloody, but in this case, it's not you know, its not doing shit. But explosive projectile on any material, watch it now. Boom. It says 650, but on an enemy, I think it should be hitting for, for 330. Uh, however, this is dangerous for the player. Watch, watch my health. 
Yeah, you see that? Because blood material can't be owned by the player. It's like environmental uh, like stuff, right? If you shoot it, it's literally pixels. So you're attaching an explosion to a pixel. And since it doesn't know that the player created it, it does, uh, it does do self damage. So you gotta be careful with what you attach that to. Uh, but in our case, we have like lots of options to, to abuse the explosive projectile right now. The infestation is one of them. But because we have access to two explosive projectiles, that's like, you know, one, one explosive projectile doesn't always interact in such a strong way. Blood, yes, strong way, hit, hits for 330 damage, but it can do self damage. Infestation, there is tons of these little specks and it does, uh, each, each spec is doing 330 and there's like, I don't know how many specs, like 10, 15 of them or something. So each one of them hitting for 330. So thousands and thousands, like 3000 plus damage, right? And only need one of them and it's safe for the player besides the burning. However, almost everything else, I mean, the luminous drill is uh, kind of dangerous too. That one, that one's dangerous and does 330. But everything else with one um, explosive projectile, it's not dangerous to the player, but also it doesn't really hit that strong. So it does, it does eight damage. That means it added five damage to our spark bolt. So for everything else, you're gonna wanna have double explosive projectiles. That's what'll cause it to do 330 damage. And it makes it safe for the player uh, on, on most projectiles, besides the burning, of course. So we have we have some strong wands available to us now that we have double explosive projectile, very strong wands. Uh, in that case, I don't think I'll need copy three random because I was going to use it on the explosive projectile. And let's just build back what we had going on here. Uh, which actually we're going in the jungle, aren't we? You have homing, yeah. They, I could attach homing to the explosive projectiles, make it zoom and explode. Um, all right, maybe we're going to swap away from the, uh, the setup I was originally thinking. Now we'll go double explosive projectile into, did I not save any of those good multicasts? Oh, there's one. Five casts, one, two, three, four, five, and there's a six spot because it's a double trigger. So remember, it's important to count out your payloads correctly. Like if you have a double, then uh, by putting two things here, this is actually be, uh, this would not be good. It's how fast it fires. The reason this is not good is because double, one, two, this part is a finished payload. However, we have a double trigger that, that needs two payloads. So you could just you could just do this, take away the double and have two things. So it's one, two. That's good. Uh, wait, no, what? Hold on, it's not good. Oh, it's because right now our 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 it is it is good. It's just the recharge time is is kind of ugly. So you'd have to have something like a heavy spread in there to to really go crazy with it. But um, what we are gonna do is we're gonna put a quad, no, not quad, where's the five cast? Where's the five cast, where's the five cast? Here it is. Five cast, one, two, three, four, five. So there's five spells. And then we need a sixth one because of the double trigger. And then we spam that, that's pretty good. And we shoot the statue, that was like 10,000 damage or something. Looking pretty nice. Got this thing back up, chainsaw here, double there. All right, this is our new damage wand for now. Let's go do some damage. Ooh, the dice. Nice this early, not bad. Oh, I forgot. Uh, oh, never mind. We have multicast, so we can just dig easily. Re recoil damper uh, to the rescue. Yeah, you're, that's a good call. That's a good call. Let's swap this out for a quad then in that scenario. And then go uh, remove that. So we go... This is uh, four. One, two, three, four. And the double trigger. So we give the extra spark bolt for the double trigger. And then we're going to put the damper onto our spark bolt. And then now... Yeah, good call, Chad. Good call. Now we have to worry about that kickback. Let's go murder some stuff. Oops. And burn myself while we're at it. Right? So 
There is a heart here. But hold off grabbing it for a second to see if we can find ourselves a heart mage. There's another heart. You know what? I'll grab this heart over here because we already have the dragon heart as well. So we wouldn't need three of them. That'd be a little bit extreme. And the reason it's safe to find a heart mage with this wand is because, remember, the heart mage gets healed by explosions. So I can just spam these explosions everywhere, and it actually does a really good job at finding heart mages. Because it's the only thing that will survive this. You'll, you'll just be shooting everything, everything will die, and there'll be like one thing standing, and it'll be that heart mage. Well, that, and there is that one robot guy that is uh, immune to the explosions. He'll still be standing, too. But the heart mage straight up gets healed by it, so... Quail says, due to you, I just got my first uh, Noita to win today after 13 hours. Appreciate you. Hey, we were talking just earlier about how fast people think you can get, like, your first win and all that. Look at this guy. Quail got his first dub after 13 hours. That dude was fucking speedrunning that. Congratulations there, Quail. You were hauling ass, man. That is a very fast first win. I hope you're enjoying your time in Noita. That's the whole goal when I make these videos. I make the the you know tutorial stuff. I, I do it because I, I try to I try to give out the information I would have liked to have when I when I first started playing. Because uh, when it was in early access days, nobody knew what the hell was going on, right? We barely knew how to build like uh, basic trigger wands, much less you know some of these advanced ones. So uh, the community though has came up with some really cool builds along the way. So I do my best to forward on that information that you guys can get to beating the heck out of Noita as early as possible. Less suffering, more winning, right? And I appreciate you stopping by, man. And Cowboy, Cowboy said, Pete says, holy crap, 13 hours took me at least triple that? Yeah, same. I had, I had over 100 deaths. I remember, you know, because I stream, I've streamed every win that I've gotten in Noita. Um, that's on this uh, on this account, right? Like that that my I have a thousand four hundred and like what is it like thirty five wins, and every single one of those was on stream. But that first one, <laughs> that first one was a grind. I remember it was just I had been dying for days, and I was like, oh my god, will I ever get a win? And uh, but I was having fun. It was just you know you want that win so badly. Oh, there's a heart mage. All right, we have our friend the heart mage. As you can see, see how he's, he survives the hits because of the explosions. Alright, where did we leave the hearts? Here we go. Woo! Uh, come on, keep moving. A little bit further. Uh, I think that's a pretty good spot. It sucks that there's fire everywhere. Maybe I should maybe I shouldn't have done that because of the fires, but. Wait out those fires. Okay, there's our friend. Uh, what are you? Are you starting shit with the worm over there? Get, get your ass around that. So, heart mage. We currently have 465 HP. We're gonna allow our friend here to hit us. It's gonna be kind of rough because we have repulsion filled and we don't have him in a good spot. He's being a little spastic right now. So we're gonna need to try to see if we can get him in a sweet spot. It'll take a bit. Oh, not the worm. Two hits. Three hits. We actually got him in a sweet spot. As long as that worm doesn't fuck with us, this is actually perfect. Okay, so now we gotta make the play. I'll keep the Ambrosia on me just to make sure. You never know. The unknown can ha happen at any moment. So we're letting the, the, the heart debuffs are expiring. And I think we did like one or two extras, so I don't know. Uh, okay, so there we go. 2,000 damage. Not bad, not bad. Or 2,000 health damage. <laughs> I'd like 2,000 damage, but this will have to work. Uh, where are we? And remember that if you don't find a heart mage, if you're doing one of these long runs, it's not 100% necessary. Oh, yeah, we got to grab the heal at the next mountain. Uh, it's not 100% necessary. 
it's just uh, it's just one of those things that if you're if you're playing to a long run, it's it's nice so that you can be kind of sloppy and, and and running ahead faster and not having to worry about your health. But I am uh, the fire damage does scale, so that's why I need to make sure and hurry and snag up a heal ASAP. Uh, there's another damper. Wow. There you go. We got our heal. Blow that guy up. Uh, I don't want to push the reroll too for much further. You know what? Let's let's drop these out of the mountain. Because uh, we'll, I'll explain why I'm doing that in a bit. Let me just... Oh, what? That's far enough. I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab that one. No, it doesn't matter. It's stuck around. Do-do-do-do-do. What if for every 100 HP you had, you got one more HP if polymorphed? That would be interesting, because in the early of the run, you'd want to polymorph yourself several times. <laughs> Many times. Yeah, this, this, there is phasing and there is the deer. This, it's crazy how many things ended up showing up for a, a world telly wand. Very interesting. But it is the daily, so, I mean, you could do the seed and you would get uh, it, it just straight up on its own. Like, the seed is right there. However, you wouldn't have the same, like, starting resources and stuff because you're not doing it on the daily. But outside of that, it's still a god seed. Fires are a little annoying now because the, the, the fact that it scales the damage makes it seem like it's really pumping. Doing some serious damage. We'll be able to take care of that soon enough. Oh, uh, there's that one heart that I left back there, but whatever. He dead. A little bit of lag. Imagine if that was that boss could actually kill me there. His body, like, fucking got thrown at me. Eh. Cody X says, I'm telling you, it's a sign for you to make it. We still haven't seen Swapper, though. Mm, kind of tempting with the area teleport. If you had 5 HP and uh, you had a... a f oh, I see what you're saying. While you're polymorphed, it adds... For every 100, it adds 1 HP. I would... I would... That would... That would be... Maybe too strong, actually. That would be nice. I thought you meant you get a perma 1 HP for every time you polymorph it adds perma 1 HP. I was like, well, that would encourage some on purpose polymorphing. Uh, but we're going to move ahead quickly. We let the price tag still there, which is what we wanted. Black Wraith dropping off 10k sweat says I was setting up for my 33 orb run yesterday. Was in fungal looking for the last spell in my world telly wand when I touched a drop of chaotic poly at the bottom of a pool of water and it turned me into a bee. Insta death nine hours in. Ouch. Had to leave a mark. That one does burn a bit. That's a bad day. Yeah, it is. That one, uh, that is definitely a sag. Steve's gonna spawn in. We say hi to Big Steve. He's a joke. And go ahead and grab this, I guess. We're going to drop this out of the mountain. Actually, we don't even need to drop this out. We're just gonna leave the perks there.
There's a lot of poly in this run that I've spilled. Hopefully I don't get myself in trouble with it at some point. Oh, I wouldn't be shocked if I did. <laughs> Deaf man, what the heck? He's broken into song. Good night, hippie. Gonna, uh, gonna be fun to watch the YouTube video later. Appreciate you, man. Get some rest. Enjoy your uh, Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. So the reason that we're not really stopping to smell the roses or anything... Wow, what the hell's going on down there? Somebody's got a wand down there and they're just going ape shit. Yo! Got hit by with some rock. Where's the guy that's holding the wand? Where is he? I don't understand. I guess the black it was just the dude shooting off black holes and it was uh eating the earth uh, earthquake stones and that was it. There was must have been several of them. Kill this crystal to get rid of this tick guy because that's getting annoying. Tick is damn annoying. Oh, some more polymorphine that I just splashed everywhere. Love to see it. Alright, into the final portal we go. And. Uh, you know what? We're going to leave that heal there. Just in case. And shit. That'd be kind of weird. I've got a plan. Until I just think it was just crystals. I thought I saw like two or three earthquakes go off. Wouldn't the wand be burnt if there was one? With how many explosions were happening? Yeah, it would probably be kind of tricky to see. Guys in the corner puking his guts out. What's up, Doug McQuacks? Way off, aren't we? There we go. Um, I forget. Is that enough of a drop for this one? I think we're supposed to drop it down a bit more. Looking for this last mountain. It's not really a big deal if we don't get it down perfectly. Should have grabbed that one freeze modifier earlier. Would have made it much safer. Hmm. We're just trying to have extras is all it is. I was wanting to leave myself some insurance, if you will. Eep. Well. <laughs> it's gone now. Um grab that. Well it would it would have stayed anyways, god damn it. Should be far enough now. That is exactly what I intended. Alright, so uh the boss. We're not gonna fight him yet. We wanna fight him once we've tanked him up and made him nice and beefy. Alright, screw my health apparently. where we're going we're heading back to the jungle so we can begin to ooh, that's a, that is acid right there so we can begin to travel through parallel worlds things that I'm afraid of right now frozen melee electricity polymorphine there are big fears
right. All right, so remember this room that I'm about to use over here? That is to the, this is where the dragon uh, spawned. This is to the right of the dragon. Uh, the only way that this room will have portals in it is if you've killed the Leviathan in one of your past runs. If you haven't killed the Leviathan in one of your past runs, just, just head to the surface the normal way. Just keep going up. Uh, but I'm going to use this to save myself some time so I don't have to keep uh, going through the world and all that crap. Instead, I take the top right portal, and then I just... Drop down over here, and we'll be at the far right wall. What's up, Panda Failed? I'm doing pretty good. Leviathan's a cool looking boss. Yeah, he is pretty interesting. He has some crazy mechanics, too. He's a wild one. Ambrosia on myself, and we teleport along. Oh. We are out of there. We are out of there. So there can be bosses in the overworld, so I gotta be kinda careful. You don't wanna get polymorphed. No poly, no poly, no poly. Is there a ways to get through the Cursed Rock if you don't have Ambrosia? Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'll show you something in a second. Uh, well, actually, wait till I go through the next Cursed Rock and I'll, and I'll try to show you something. But whenever you're touching the rock, that's whenever it's hurting you the most. It's like pumping you with damage. So if you have good enough digging, you can actually make it so that... Uh, actually, should we kill the Alchemist uh, again real quick? Get us a better... Some better Greek letters or some crap. But yeah, you can destroy enough cursed rock that uh, you can kind of fly through it in a way that's somewhat safe. I mean, it still damages you, but it doesn't hit for nearly as much damage. Uh, so we're going to fight the alchemist real fast. It, so this one that I'm now using is... I used a ping pong loomy before, right? But now we're using like an explosive damage wand. Let's say I shoot from above... Let's see if I can shoot these from above. So I'm shooting from above, and you see this? It's not really... Uh, it's not doing jack shit right now. Well, maybe I actually hit him on that one. Did I actually get him? I think I... I tapped him! Yeah, that actually worked pretty well. Um, but uh, if you hit him directly from above, I think similar to the ping pong, you can get a nice hit on. But usually, usually I can't get it to trigger quite right. Like, it, it, we pump so much damage that if you hit him at all, you can, you can obviously, you know, you can get a good hit in. But usually his shield is being such a pain in the ass that he's just absorbing all the shots. So usually I get below him and I shoot directly up, and the crotch shot is the most reliable. That one just, uh, apparently, it's it's the boss's weakness. Uh, but we end up, you know, you can just play it safe right, and well, shoot from downtown and it nails right it now. sometimes as well. Uh, cast a copy of the last spell on your wand. It's going to be the last spell on our wand there. And, um, yeah, I think we're set. Uh, speed up, speed up. Uh, hold on, let's use up that last black hole. And there you go. This multicast don't matter. The multicasts are just taking up space. Gamma is now what's causing our black hole to shoot so many times. Blip, blip, blip. Uh, Travness, thank you for the 30 month. Their mod restart, you fool. Oh, crap. I should have mentioned that. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, so you're supposed to mod restart before going into each parallel world. Um, you just, all you gotta, you, you don't have to do mod restart. You can do save and quit if you like. But the faster version is if you hit mods and then you just hit restart with enabled. Chat must have been spamming it, and I wasn't paying attention, but Trabness has, uh, aka Tronus has got our back, so. There we go, we did a quick restart there. I can relate, I'd be KO with the crotch on as well. My only weakness! Uh, oh yeah, here's the key I was mentioning earlier, the one that you can play the music boxes for. But, uh, we will not be needing that. All right, do 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 do. So 
So I gotta watch for the uh, the bosses in the overworld. There's the one of the music boxes right there. Ooh, ooh. See? Take it. See, you're supposed to play those for the key. You have to like, drop the key down next to them, play the music boxes for those, and uh, then the key works does some special things. So now we're in a parallel world. Uh, you'll see that's pretty much this. It looks the same as the start of the world we just in. See, entered the East Mines. Instead of the regular mines, it just says uh, entered the East Mines. So uh, I line up. This spot right here usually lines up uh, pretty nicely with the uh, the Holy Mountain. And the reason that's significant and, uh, you know, it's actually kind of important to know that is because you can't, uh, you can't use the portals in a parallel world. Because if you use the portals, uh, it'll take you back to the main world. So you have to know the location of the Holy Mountains, and uh, they, they line up in a very specific way. You get used to it if you if you start doing long runs. You'll, you'll you just take like one or two long runs, and you'll say like, oh, I understand why he, how he lines that up now. It's pretty simple. You always have exclamation mark map. Actually, I'll show it right now on the screen. Let's see. Uh, there we go, typed it in the chat. Let's see. So here's the map, and you can actually uh, look and see, like, see how the entrance right here, if you go down the, the, the entrance and you went straight down and you just dug through the ground because you can't use the portals, it'll just take you to the next level. However, right here lines up with uh, this little spot right here this, where the terrain kind of does this mix, this little changeover. Line up with that, which we were like about right here, and it lines up uh, perfectly with the, the mountain, which is where we we're looking to go to. And remember that, that that doesn't show the exact layout of our world. That's just a general map. It doesn't mean like you can use every turn and and know where every enemy is because it doesn't it doesn't work like that. Um, extra health or peace with the gods. We're gonna go with the extra health. We don't need the peace with the gods yet because uh, I mean it's just annoying but not hard. That's really uh, oh I almost I almost picked up the the thing I almost forgot yet. So, before we grab perks, remember, we are breaking the reroll machines. So here, here's the beginning of the breaking of the reroll machines. We have to drop these out of the mountain. Uh, it has to be, it doesn't have to be super far away, but uh, whenever you drop a reroll machine out of the mountain, it needs to go to at least past, like, around this point. So, here's where the perks are, past, like, this area. You, you'll kind of feel it over time. That way you can, uh, you can grab whatever perk you'd like. Oh, hey, the perk stayed. Grab this. Uh, that was the dice. The dice proc didn't let me grab another one. So these disappeared. Normally the price tag should disappear whenever uh, whenever the perks disappear. But because I dropped it out of the mountain, I pretty much disconnected the reroll mach machine from the perks. Uh, and so the, the reroll uh, price tag stayed. So using that method, we are going to break our reroll machines and we will get uh, about a thousand rerolls for free. However, it will take a bit setting up. But it is worth it. It does save you a lot of time in the long run. So we just keep digging down. And we're going to be following this method for uh, like the whole run. Or the whole uh, breaking of the reroll portion at least. Uh, let's get item radar out of the perk pool. I don't know if I want to deal with projectile repulsion sector. I guess we already have one repulsion anyways. Screw it. Grab it. Chainsaws. That's significant. Because now we can fire the uh, black holes uh, a bit faster. Wait, no. Oh, because it's a double cast, so we need to do two chainsaws. Let's see, it's a spell cast of two. So, two chainsaws. There we go. There we go. Woo, got, a, got a bit of digging. Uh, leave the heel there. Gotta wait a bit there on that shop there, Leon. Gonna, gonna be a little while. Yeah, true. If we find a linear arc, that should take care of the uh, inaccuracy problems. True, true. There's the, the beginning of the hungry ghost, but we are not going to grab that one. 
Not yet. Well, we could. Because we can, we can grab five of them before it really bugs out. Or not bugs out, but it stops spawning them in. But we're not going to risk it yet. We're going to grab uh, more love as a priority. There's four more loves, and the world will no longer be aggressive to us. And that is uh, top priority for a long run like this. Top priority. That is fucking polymorphine. Shit. I gotta keep it. Oh my goodness. Some flum. And some oil. I mean, and some blood. So all you need is oil, and it creates polymorphine as well. You love to see it. Game just throwing polymorphine at us in all ways. Uh, we want the melee immunity. That's huge. I gotta remember about that polymorphine. Gotta remember. Another horizontal, which we aren't even using the three horizontals that we do have. I collected all those horizontals and I proceeded to not use them. Yeah, I forgot I have to go around this crap. Do you drink polyflask when you have iron stomach to get them uh, out of the way? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, if I if I remember, but it's, it's, it's not a bad idea for sure. But I usually just end up avoiding them, but that that's smart though. Because you remember, you get, not only do you get them out of the way, but you actually get a temporary uh, poly immunity for a bit. timer explosion immunity and there is a fire immunity in that oil blood hmm. um, let's get the fire immunity out of the way you need that shit pretty drop that down keeps moving Yeah, flum, oil, and blood makes poly. Yeah, so so flum, and then there was a ton of, if you look, the flum uh, flask burst, and there was tons of blood around. So it was all mixing the the blood in the flum, and then if, it, if, it, if oil drops in it, then it will start to create uh, poly. That's whenever, actually it's unstable poly, right? Latali, I, I think that's, which is still, you know, just as scary. Don't want to deal with it. Don't jump into the portal. There's a heart there. We don't need it. This out of the mountain. Said, drop this out of the mountain. Um, exploding corpses. You know what? I'm gonna prioritize the shield for now. Um, all right, I guess. Oh, oh. Uh, and enemy radar. We grab everything. Price tag stays. Just glancing to see if there's anything of interest. Not really. That missed a heart, streamer. That heart's getting left behind. Okay, some freaking electricity. Need that electric immunity to take care of that. Same idea as the last jungle. So remember I said the portals, you don't take the portals? Well, you can take the Leviathan portals in a parallel world. They still they still work. 
So that's where we're heading to right now. Leviathan portals. Black holes. Noop, 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 noop. Go to the top right one. Um, you know what? While we're hmm. While we're here, let's go ahead and grab a bit of extra gold. Um I may grab the pyramid wand I mean the tower wands as well. Oh yeah, the eye room. I forgot to stop at the eye room. Not that there was anything specific, but I should I should have stopped at the eye room, you're right. That was a mistake. I messed up. I'll remember for the next area. Uh, orb. Uh, let's go ahead and grab it. Because, uh, like I said, I want this boss to be something like probably 20-ish orb or something like that. Um, I'm too lazy to go collecting all the orbs. But, uh, I just want to make sure he's beefy enough to really, you know, use our ghosts on him. Yeah, I could, I could visit on the way back. Hopefully I'll remember there, Tronus. So we put the Ambrosia on us, we're just avoiding the curse damage. Actually not that bad at damage at this point, so it's not really that big of a deal if we let it tick away at us a bit. But uh, yeah, we're dropping down real fast. Because down here, if you stay with the center point, which is where I was, like right where the orb spawned. Oh, Twitchy. You little bastard. I guess we can just stay lined up with this, right? This lines up with the tower. And the tower, the reason that's significant, oh, there's a heart mage right there, is we can get a, uh, a really good wand from it. Uh, I'm embrosing. Tower wand, the reason I want to get it is that's how I'm going to use my, uh, my... I'm going to fill a wand with spark bolts, and I'm going to use a hungry ghost with it to see how much damage we can do exactly. Alright, here we go. Waited out the curse damage. Remember, these are par those are parallel world orbs. They damage you with, like, uh curse damage which does scale with each new game plus you go to so that shit really can pump in the late game so let me show you something real quick earlier somebody was asking about how do you travel through curse rock without ambrosia well we have so much hp that uh if you use a heart mage trick you don't even need ambrosia uh but the, the key thing i want to show you is look what i'm traveling in here you see my health look at it's barely moving now watch if I press myself up against... Well, maybe we'll, we'll show that example in the next area. So I don't get myself killed. But point is, if you're not touching the Cursed Rock directly, it actually doesn't do that much damage. And then here we wanted to grab our 26 cast. And we're going to swap over our Tele Wand, I believe. Back. Double doesn't matter. I need more. Here, we'll just do this for now. Should be good enough. Kind of mess with our wand a bit, but whatever. find some admonas. Watch out for that portal. Again, the damage from that cursed rock not really too significant. And I don't I don't have any kind of uh, reduction or anything. It's just it's just that's the amount of damage difference between touching solid material versus just the aura. Which I'll show you a better look at that in a moment. It's just I wanted to make sure that uh, we were 
pretty much to the next world before I did it. Oh my god, get away from that. Fight the pyramid boss for Nala. Uh, pyramid boss is not in the parallel worlds. Okay. So. Go to mods. So we're going to do a restart for the stability of the engine. Okay. Now, I'm going to travel through here without... So, let me just make it through it just by levitating so you can get an idea. I mean, Telly is also really nice, too, to help you speed it up. But the Telly can be a little scary because if you miscast it, you'll, like, shoot yourself directly into a wall or something. Uh, but look at that difference in that damage done. So, I'm levitating. Look at that. And then smack my head in the wall. You see that? You see how much, how much faster it tanks? Keep that in mind when traveling in Cursed Rock. Try to keep yourself out of the touching the solid material. If you're teleporting really fast in that Cursed Rock, sometimes you'll teleport so fast you'll actually get your character stuck in the wall. And if you do that in Cursed Rock, you will get pumped for thousands of damage. So be very, very careful. Is there any gameplay reason to not spawn certain chunks in parallel worlds? Uh, I already did the mod restart. Just did it. <laughs> did you did you miss that only I? Yes. Must be half awake. Did it maybe thirty seconds ago. Um, but wait, I'm trying to think. What you not spawn certain chunks? Can you give me an example, Vindra? I'm not, I'm not fully understanding. <laughs> Deathman's like, didn't he just restart? I think I, so. So you guys give me a hard time because I always forget stuff, right? Like earlier in the run, I was like, man, if only I had light. And chat's like, look up in your inventory, it's right there. I was like, oh, I forgot. And they're just like, DNK old, calling me old. And then I do a mod restart. Two seconds later, people are like, what about the mod restart? Come on. We need a, ch a chat old. <laughs> Not dunk old. Chat's old. Like the lava lake. Oh, are you saying, like, is there a reason that the lava lake doesn't spawn in the, um... Like, over here. Boop, boop, boop. Like, is, are you saying, is there a reason that the lava lake doesn't spawn in? That it's, like, empty? Is that what you're asking? So... I'd have to ask Latali to know specifically the thought process on it, but that is significant that it it, it 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 doesn't spawn in that area, and that's significant because that's where an orb is supposed to be. Now that means uh, that one of the orbs is actually missing in this world, uh, in the in the um, you know regular without going to New Game Plus or anything. So if there's if there's an orb missing in each in the parallel worlds, that means your maximum is that you can get 31 orbs. You get 11 in the main world, 10 in the parallel east, and 10 in the parallel west. That's because there's one orb missing in each parallel world, and that's because of that lava chunk area that's missing that lava orb. Um, okay. But I don't know, like, the completely the thought process. Like, like why is it that way? It just is that way? So how do you get to 33? So when you go to New Game Plus, what New Game Plus is has a different set of rules for the orbs. Like uh, it has orb uh, spawning zones. So for example, in the regular map, you know where the orbs are, right? Like an orb is here, an orb is here, an orb is here. But in New Game Plus, it's like there is uh, the the surface orbs are like the same, right? But the ones underground are like, oh, it'll spawn in this general region. Well, once you go to New Game Plus, you can get the 11, 11, 11, which gets you to 33 orbs, since there's not precise locations. Uh, yeah, Saving Grace. Good call, Cody. Yeah, go with Saving Grace. Get our heal on. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yob Zondu says this. I mean, the dude's name is only high. Fair enough. <laughs> He's high. He wasn't paying attention. <laughs> um, I don't really want any of those perks. I guess we could take the the uh, extra item in the Holy Mountain. I'm looking for add manas if you're curious why I glance at these wands still. You're like, you don't need more damage. I know, but I would like more add manas. Checking for Polly while I'm traveling down. And there's regular fire immunity, which we already have fire immunity from oil blood, but... We'll still grab it because we want to remove it from the perk pool. Because whenever you grab a perk like fire immunity, uh, it doesn't show up again. Which means that next time, whenever it could possibly spawn in fire immunity, if I've already grabbed it, it will replace it with another perk. Uh, projectile leader, I like that. But protector, okay, okay. Let me grab a little bit of everything here. Bring your machine, still got its prize tag. And then, uh, thanks to Tronus reminding me early, I'll try to remember this time to... Uh, grab or check the iron room, I should say. Let's go check the iron room. Blip, blip, blip. Where's a regular trigger? There's a water material, that's significant. That's very significant because we have water material and crit on water. So that means whatever build we do, we can do five times damage. So uh, on this 26 cast, if we do 26 spark bolts and the hungry ghosts, like that bad boy should hit for, for some significant damage, right? Depending on how many hungry ghosts we grab. But by replacing two of the spark bolts with uh, one with the water and the, the other one with the crit on water, it'll make the rest of those spark bolts hit for five times whatever damage they were going to do, which is uh, which is pretty crazy. And uh, also, I think I'll eh, we're, we're probably gonna do away with the blood material, but we'll hold on to it for a bit longer. There's cement, don't need it. Nice perk grab there. Oh shit! Did I wait? Did I grab it with? Uh, with the reroll machine there or something? Did I tiny brain it? Nuke or riot? I reject your nuke. And this build the crits are not worth it. Really? The the, the two the two um spark bolts will add more than the uh the five times damage. The spell slots being another spark bolt or two uh means more damage. Really? I guess I got I didn't sit down and crunch the numbers. Well, there you go. For out that's the Hungry Ghost build. You gotta, you gotta think differently. So just because, uh, you know, you'd have to take up uh, two slots. So you would do two slots, water and crit on water. And that add makes the rest of our build do on this 26 cast would do five times damage. But he's saying that by losing those two slots, we're actually getting less, like, we get more than five times damage. Which, uh, that's because that's how Hungry Ghost works, man. Like, it's, it's exponential. So I guess it makes sense because... Like I said at the beginning, exponential, and just adding adding five times would not be as ex significant as something to the power of, right? Now you're thinking with the, with the Hungry Ghost. But yeah, it's my first time doing a Hungry Ghost build, so I'm excited to, to see uh, how far we can take that bad boy. Gold is forever. Oh, I grabbed gold is forever. I wasn't thinking. I was thinking it. Oh my God, is this the? Wait, no, we're good. Um, yeah, the reason you're not supposed to grab gold is forever is it does uh, give you the possibility to crash more because there's like more for it to remember. Um, but oh well, not. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Got to make sure I don't grab exploding gold as well. Otherwise, we're really gonna be lagging up a storm. Um. Extra life, and uh, I don't think there's anything else here that I need. We good. Electric community? Nah, that's electricity. Fuck that. Re 
refresh. Pop that out. Uh, greed, sure. So we're almost done with our second parallel world, and we need to do this for five parallel worlds. Um, you'll see in a bit, if you're a little confused, maybe you're watching the YouTube uh, channel and you're like, but why is he doing it? It will make sense in the end, and there's not really much of a, a reason for me to break it down too much, because you're just going to see it happen. It would basically be me, me trying to explain what's going to happen if you end up watching, so... Ghost there. Little low hungry ghost. Uh, I don't think there's anything here I should even grab in the first place, but I'll grab one experimenter. Because why not? <laughs> more gold, more lag. True, true. The greed. Um, I think I think greed um, applies the additional gold on pickup, not on nuggets. Correct, chat. I think it's like a multiplier on your your gold pickup. Trick greed, however, uh, causes more nuggets to drop. I think is how it goes. Uh, Flop says, yeah, correct. Double double gold per nugget. Okay, yeah. So I, I could have swore I didn't see... You don't see more nuggets dropping. It just gives you more value. Not a, not a bad wand. Great greed equals more nuggets. Greed equals nuggets are worth more. Grab a ton of greeds. It gets it gets snowballs out of control. Keep moving. Keep on moving. We gold snooze time? Not really. I think our oh. Do you think we should grab a little bit extra? I thought we would be pretty good. Here. Making me anxious, thinking that like I'm. I don't think we should need too much more, but we'll we'll, we'll grab a bit. Yesterday I froze my game trying to create a sun because I summoned too many eggs at once. Game was running on uh, Microsoft PowerPoint for five hours straight before catching up. Yeah, yeah, you got to be careful with those those egg summon ins because they already like even in small clumps of like ten will just lag so much, so if you shoot out like 50 of those bad boys, it's gonna be rough. The DuckTale theme's now playing in your head. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> Latali. <laughs> Warham says, damn YouTube video and no DuckTales. We're missing out. We're suffering. At least we can still Scrooge McDuck it up. Backstroke through the gold. Can you do the supernova just using the sun and the dark sun uh, gems at two different mountain altars or even the same? Uh, yes, you can do this. Yeah. Um... In fact, I think uh, I think that's kind of why they're there. I think they're maybe their purpose is for the supernova. But yeah, it creates a sun and a dark sun. Though there is the there is the supernovas that take place, or the I forget what they're called. Like one is where the sun eats the dark sun, and the other one is when the dark sun eats the sun. I don't know how that works if you drop the two gems down. Um, 
if it if it like what well, the the order is counted there. Because there's the one that like so oh wait as as above so below. And then the other one is for the other order, so I don't know exactly how it goes. But yes, if you turn in the gems to the uh, to the altar, you'll get them. The crystals make actual suns, and the dark suns those work for eating moon slash supernova just fine. Same entities, Latali says. So there you go. There you have it. But the, the, the altar method is very buggy, just so you know. That's why it's not really... You don't really hear people talk about that stuff too much, like the, the method of using the altar. So that's why I was like, uh... Because the, the mountain is, is hella buggy. You... I think you're not supposed to even load in the, the gems until you know you're going to go put it on the altar. Because if you, like, load them in and then unload them, it's really weird. Latali says, I still need to figure out a clean way to fix it. Didn't finish testing with those. Yeah, that, that one's an interesting one. Because you don't really hear people complain about it too much because it's so ultra late game, but it is annoying. But look at that sunset. It's beautiful. Hack Brett and Morgan, thank you for the follows. Alright, we got enough gold. We, we should be set. Well, honestly, this is overkill, but I'd rather I'd rather have more than enough than fall short. Alright, here we go. Latali's a walking Noita Wikipedia. This is true, and he's my go-to for all information. Even if he doesn't know something, he can like figure it out. Figure it out in like a minute. I'll be like, wait, Latali, how does this work? And he's like, one second. <laughs> Please hold. You know, like back in the day, they used to have like hotlines, like uh, where people would call in for gamer tips. That's Latali. Hey, I need help in Noita, and he's like, one moment, please. Oh shit, did we not do a mod restart? It's all nothing, chat. There we go. Wait, only high says I already did a restart? Wait, did I forget? Really? I can't even remember. Alright. So this is our third world that we're beginning to adventure into, chat, right? Third world. Uh, okay. So both chat and Dunk are all... <laughs> we're, we're competing for who can forget the most. Steep competition. What's up, Weedo? Cringe. What is Weedo going on about? This we will. Um. Uh, too interesting. Would like to grab Iron Stomach. Iron Stomach. Whoops. Remove Vampirism from the perk pool. Could be worth considering. Maybe I should. At least while I have the opportunity yet, because later on my health will scale even more, right? any of those. Oh, free, free spell room. Oh, shit. Whoops. Another crit on water. Well, because of what Latali said... Um, our water crit on water isn't really going to matter too much, right? 
and we're already good on this damage so we're gonna go ahead and do away with this but normally in a in a long run like this build can be really exciting the water and crit on waters because that'd be that'd be 10 times damage but uh we're doing a hungry ghost build and apparently in the hungry ghost build it's not a good one to kind of uh use with the the crit build i i know i need more spark bolts uh was oh was there a spark bolt in there i guess i should start uh spark bolt collection somewhere so i can know where they're all at we have three uh hold on that up I'll start uh, paying attention. Thank you for bringing that up. Because so, we're trying to get 26 spark bolts. And then from there, we may do some tweaks along the way to, to just mess around with damages and all that kind of stuff. But the goal is to just do simple 26 spark bolts, hungry ghost. How much damage can we do? It's like, it's like a simple version of the hungry ghost build because there are some crazy... Crazy stuff with like the wand refresh and then we we'll loop around and crap. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I know we don't get electrocuted to death. We are fine. Drop machine? Uh. Wait, wait. It, it, we didn't grab a perk, right? We didn't grab. Hopefully, we didn't grab. If we don't grab a perk, we don't have to drop the machine. The machine is only dropped because I need to keep the price tag on it. If I'm leaving the mountain without grabbing a perk, that means the price tag staying on it anyways. Should grab Breathless probably. So we are almost finished with our third parallel world. And like I said, we need to do five. There's some spark bolts right there. I'll grab them in a moment. Put them. Should be good. Uh, shuffle. Do there. This one right here. Grab these spark bolts. We are spark bolt farmers. Need to get more love as well. I think we've only gotten one of them. There is that electric community. Look at sweet time showing up. Grab some water. I need more love as well. <laughs> Hungry ghosts uh, can consume projectiles and give you a damage buff. If you stack ghosts, you get more buffs and more damage. Yes, that is that is our plan with the Hungry Ghost build. Because we are going to force feed our Hungry Ghosts projectiles and uh, boost our damage uh, insane amounts. Because the ghosts, uh, the hungry ghosts, you can have a. Normally, you would, most people think you can only have five of them at max, but using the method that we're using, we can have as many as we'd like. Same idea as how we use the, sh we did as many shields as we liked before, and uh, the damage that they add is exponential. So it is gonna pop off. Latali, is that the, is that the way to say that the hungry ghosts added the added damage from all of them? Is it gonna, is is Saying it's exponential, the right mathematical terminology for that. That's what I said earlier, but I wasn't sure if saying that they're they're doing exponential damage was correct. Yeah, pretty safe to say exponentially said. Okay. I definitely knew it wasn't some kind of like additive one. I, uh, I knew that it really like snowballed, but I wasn't sure that was, uh, if that was overselling it, you know what I mean? Because exponential, when you think about it, gets pretty wild. Alright, we are done with three worlds. We have two more parallel worlds worth of machines to 
the drop, and then we backtrack. Oops, down, down, down. That wand rocks. Talking about the wand that was filled with rocks? That wand rocks. Maybe time for a restart. Uh, oops, clicked off the screen right as you said that. Um, I do. I I try to remember to do the restarts right before I go to the next parallel world. We do this, then we do a restart. And remember, for anybody out there that's watching, the reason we do these restarts is the engine becomes very unstable. You want to do these restarts. I used to be stubborn back in the day and say it's not necessary. Trust me, it is. You have to <laughs> just do it. It's it makes a world of a difference. <laughs> but Wida says this game is unstable. The game was unstable and that made Wido unstable. Latali says it scales per spell in the cast and per buff, so you have, uh, and, and per buff you have, so it's extra <laughs> exponential. It's exponential with a little bit of oomph. That's good, this bad boy's gonna pop. Couldn't you just cast uh, more than 26 uh, spark bolts? Yeah, I mean, there are other ways to get out of it additive damage. Um, if you look, let me show you. I think I still have it open in the tab over here. Hope I don't end up getting hit by polymorphine or some crap. Um, I think in the guide, yeah, on the on the Noita wiki, there's even in the guide, um, you'll you'll look that they're they're doing like these techniques to try to cast the um, spark bolts like as many times as they possibly can. And uh, these are just different versions of Hungry Ghost wands that uh, they came up with. This one right here, uh, that one is is like just trying to get the base damage of the spark bolts as high as possible, I believe. Uh, but I, I think there's even a threshold that these are not worth it if you have enough Hungry Ghosts. But I have no idea how many Hungry Ghosts you'd have to have. This one right here, these builds, I think they were made with 10 Hungry Ghosts. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I can't go into spe specifics too much on it. I don't even know what the hell role this plays in this thing. Um, the, the portal summon thing. Yeah. There it is. Also, Dunk won't know and will be very confused. Wait, what happened? What did I do? Summon portal stops the project. Uh, summon portal stops projectiles cast after it from appearing. But why would you want to stop those from appearing in that one, that build there? I'd have to stare at it to understand what the purpose. I never used it like that before. You talking about my sweat deposit? You didn't read. I know Dunkbot is muted, but if we all agree and hear it in our hearts, I bet we can piss <laughs> piss it off and confuse the YouTube crowd uh, with the weird clock dude who shows up uh, for no apparent reason. <laughs> You're trying to unite the weebs? We stand together! We fight as one! I was re-watching some uh, Demon Slayer today to relax, to chill. I forgot how good the fucking fight scenes in that in that show are. Don't worry, no spoilers. But uh, yeah, Demon Slayer, some good shit. When are we supposed to get our next season of Demon Slayer? We get like five years from that or something. Hopefully not that long. But read me, old man. Guido said, "I love you." He said, "Old man, I have played Hollow Knight for the first time yesterday. Play it. I saw you bought it on the 24th. I didn't buy it. Somebody gifted it to me because the chat was trying to force me into playing Hollow Knight." <laughs> They were like, you must play it. And I was like, yeah, I'll check it out. I think GoPurry may have gifted it. I can't remember who it was. But yeah, they gift Chad gifted it. I know there's uh is it Silk Song is like the one that's uh the the sequel to um Hollow Knight, and everybody's getting hyped for that. So that's why I think that's why somebody brought up Silk Song and then they were like, Oh, have you seen the trailer? And I was like, I don't actually know Hollow Knight either. And then, then it got gifted to me and, and yeah. 
the weebs are slacking tonight. They're lazy. They'll make some weebs. Section says you will definitely enjoy Hollow Knight. Um, there was a video that Moist Critical did recently where he's putting a bounty on, um, like this, uh, he, he deemed one of the hardest, like, gaming challenges out there on the internet. And when he was, he was discussing other difficult gaming challenges, he brought up a boss in Hollow Knight. I'm pretty certain it was a boss in Hollow Knight, uh, that's apparently, like, only a couple people have ever beaten before or something. I can't remember exactly how he worded it. But I just remember him saying something about Hollow Knight, and since I don't know a lot about it, and you guys, you guys always bring it up, it just like it just popped into my head. Let's see what we're gonna grab here. Woo! Get out of here. Out. Um. I wanted the armor as well. Dang, that's a lot of chainsaws. Uh, do we need more chainsaws, though? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Uh, Boshy levels of hard. It was something about a modded boss, uh, in case I, if I recall, and I think only 45. Oh, so it's not a it's not a legitimate boss that's in the game regularly. Is that what you're saying? Uh, that's, that's a little bit different, then. Uh, Radiance, what's this about indoor? Mark says for sure not a vanilla boss. Okay, never mind. I mean in that case I feel like you know we could we could toss the 36 orb boss into that uh <laughs> into that group of very few people have ever done it, but that one isn't so much about the, the difficulty of the boss and more of the time it takes to get that fucking boss loaded in. Uh, oh yeah, free spell room. I really would like a, a circle of vigor from this free spell room, but... Game doesn't love me. Why don't you love me? Dr. Wiley says, imagine Chase plays Hollow Knight one day and just ditches Noita to be a Hollow Knight challenge run streamer. Would you guys be okay with this? Are you guys cool with that? Being a Hollow Knight streamer. By the way, double water? Fucking low? <laughs> Mega says, nope. He doesn't accept this. To drop any of these out of there as I'm not gonna grab any of them more spark bolts remember we are hoarding as many spark bolts as we can get yeah. trying to find a circle of vigor every run is like an abusive relationship <laughs> what Won't Circle of Vigor hurt you as Hungry Ghost? Yeah, but up to the point that I'm... I mean, I, obviously when I'm using the Hungry Ghost, I won't use Circle of Vigor. I just mean leading up to it. If we want to, like, you know, goof around in the uh, Cursed Rock. Well, right now, if we're goofing around in the Cursed Rock, the only way to heal up is to go to a Holy Mountain and grab a heal. Oh, man, I went way too far over. There's been so many dampers that showed up this run, it's kind of crazy. Uh, this, another repulsion. We have double repulsion fields, meaning that polymorphine shots should 
pretty... They have to be traveling pretty damn fast to get their, get their hands on me. But it's still possible. We only have two of them. We don't have any projectile slowers. There's a lot of acid. Uh, I will probably want that at some point, but... Yeah, we'll leave it there for now. And there we go. Four. We're down to our last area and then we can start to break the machines we're close so close go grab the wand and multitudes to store your spark bolts in i already have it uh it's it's this one Weep. leon's still waiting on that shop he's like it's shop time damn it I'm gonna wait a bit because I don't know how long today's run's gonna be, so I'm, I'm stalling. We'll wait for a, a pausing moment, a moment where I gotta stand up or something, and then we'll do a shop. Leon won that, those Johnny Bravo glasses. Ooh. Uh, jump up here. Could always grab another one for even more spark bolts. True. Warham's anticipating, so he says, don't forget to load in. He's telling me early. No Hungry Ghost yet? Not yet. We're still doing the breaking of the reroll machine. We've left a, a couple of Hungry Ghosts behind, though. Though, honestly, we probably should have grabbed them. May grab them on the way back, because we can grab a couple. Uh, okay, here's the reload time. All right, going into our final parallel world of breaking the reroll machines, then we just backtrack and we good to go. Is it safe to take glass cannon once you have all the immunities possible, including uh, projectiles uh, on top of stainless armor? Or would it uh, still be uh, better to skip glass cannon no matter what? So, Rafu, I actually didn't realize this, uh, but if you're planning to do a run where you go to uh, mini New Game Pluses, uh, where you're collecting lots of uh, cursed orbs and all that stuff. It's actually safer once you've grabbed all your stainless armors and all that shit and all the immunities It's actually safer to grab glass cannon because glass cannon glass cannon grants you a like cursed immunity so the uh, the hearts so normally whenever you grab the uh, The cursed orbs they do like this curse damage to you that scales with each new game plus to the point that whenever you have many new game pluses, like you're like new game plus 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 plus, like new game plus 20, those those cursed hearts like one shot your ass. If you don't Ambrosia, you're just gonna just get just murdered. And so uh, if you have glass cannon, it does no damage to you. So then you have all those uh, stainless armors. So that 50 health is actually the equivalent of like thousands of HP. And then the only thing that would be a threat to you, uh, the cursed hearts, no longer are a threat because of glass cannon. Navi says, so uh, today is going to be a Hungry Ghost Showcase Day? Yep, it's the first time I've ever run a Hungry Ghost build uh, where we are going to try to do maybe hundreds of thousands of damage uh, with just hungry, uh, just Spark Bolts and Hungry Ghosts. And then from there, we may make some tweaks to the build to see, you know, like move one spell here, how much more damage does it add, stuff like that. But, uh, that's, the, that's the plan. Anything from that? For that? I don't want anything from that. Wait, what about for that? Oh my God, that was polymorphine. Shit, I gotta remember that on the way up. Maybe. Uh, wait, you don't know how busted the Hungry Ghost is? It literally is the best scaling offensive perk in the game. Yeah, but I mean, like, I don't know how many, like, ghosts we're gonna end up grabbing. I wanna grab, like, 20 plus. And then from there, I don't want to, um, like... We may do some tweaks to it, but 
I want to try to leave like a, a just a 26. So we have a 26 cast wand, right? I want to just do spark bolt all the way across. 26 cast wand. And we have a lot of hungry ghosts. How much damage will that do? You know, and then from there we'll start doing little tweaks to see what's necessary to do like, you know, insane amounts of damage and stuff, but that's that's the game plan. <laughs> nah, we tweaking. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, here. So yeah, we're gonna get twenty plus uh, hungry ghosts at least today. Now from there, it's up to you. I, I don't know if there, we may even get some lag components to it. I don't know. I've never grabbed this many hungry ghosts, so I don't know. Like whenever we were grabbing the shields, it was starting to get laggy as fuck, and I did not know that was a thing. It was it was getting really laggy when I was going through Cursed Rock, and that shit was annoying. But I don't think with Hungry Ghosts or something like that unforeseen, but we'll find out. Still no Circle of Vigor. Navi says, yeah, but uh, 5 is the stack limit, not the pool limit. The pool limit is 2. So, no, you can... Uh, you can go way past 5. Uh, the, there's Hungry Ghost builds of... 10, 10 hungry ghosts on the wiki alone. Keep. The same way you can fill the screen with shields, uh, you can do past five is what... Uh, uh, Latali says, but wait, if you if you grab two uh, Latali, will the ghost stop spawning in? Is that what Nobby's saying? So if we if we were to grab two of the hungry ghosts, will we no longer see? So so even though the max stack is five, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll worry about the five part. How if we grab two hungry ghosts, will we stop seeing hungry ghosts? That's what I need to know. I've never tried to to stack them like this before. No, you can do four and they will still spawn. Okay, that's what I thought. Which is what which is why it says max stack of five, right? <laughs> Warham says if Latali says it, it's got to be legit. Yeah, that's how. I mean, and not only that, but I Latali was the first person I ever heard talk about this build, and this was over a year ago. So this isn't like something. This isn't like new stuff. This is an old school build. Um, it's just back whenever Latali first brought up the Hungry Ghost build, it wasn't too. This is back whenever Noito was still getting patches. It wasn't too long after it that. Uh, you know, people started doing these other, like, uh, like other damage builds, and, and I, I just never got around to using this, this as a legitimate strategy. Like the damage recursion build, it's so simple, right? So it's hard to justify doing the hungry ghost build when you can build a, uh, a damage recursion wand that takes like a fraction of the time. But today is like, it's not about have some kind of efficient build. This is just an like a, a, an alternative high damage build. Uh, pool limit as uh, as in like the perks it can draw um, The whole pool will have two ghosts in it uh, not more. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you'll you'll get a good look at what the pool uh, is in a second and we'll get to find out how many ghosts are in it It's whatever you're rotating through all your rerolls I uh, you, you'll you'll have a pool of uh, perks and I'm guessing it means you can get the hungry ghost showing up twice in that in that pool before it resets back to the beginning If I'm understanding that correctly Hungry ghost right there Hello my friend Your perk pool is a list of perks about 113 long. It can have two ghosts in it. Any more uh, will be skipped when the pool is created. And then you can loop through the pool and take five. Okay, that that's that's what I thought. But I thought, you know, when he was talking about this, I was like, am I misunderstanding here? 
Uh, and you know what? We'll grab our first hungry ghost of the run. How about that? We have one, but we won't, we won't risk at grabbing too many of them. Uh, like, I mean, I'll have maybe one or two, but I don't want to accidentally get to five and not be able to spawn in anymore. Can't risk that. Hey, look at that. There's the puzzle. The vault puzzle. All right. And so it begins, chat. This is our fifth parallel world. We have dropped down all the reroll machines. We even dropped down, I think, two or two extras or something like that in our main world in case I fuck this up. Um, yeah. This vanilla or modded? This is vanilla. No mods, just regular Noita. This is just regular old Noita if you want to get a look at it. Whoop, there you go. No mods on. Uh, all right, so let us begin. I feel like I don't go past this one here. But I could go and it's still fine. And we have an extra. Let's roll it one more time just to just to make sure. Uh, there you go. That's I, I think I think you can stop at the two hundred thousand one. If I remember correctly. I always forget with those reroll machines. But uh, so there you go. There's the price tag. Remember how we locked it at 1,600? Uh, the perks don't matter that they're there. We locked this at 1,600. Let's re-roll it. Now it goes to 819,000. And uh, we are about to... Wait, where was that one polymorphine? That was the last world, right? I think so. Reroll machine. Where are you? Reroll. 1.6 mil. Hey, we got a shield. Uh, I don't think I want to deal with the projectile slower right now. I don't want to put up with it. Oh my goodness. Polymorphine. How about no? Three point two mil. Well, actually, we want to grab that. Move from the perk pool. I guess we could grab Never Skip Leg Day too, right? Uh, we didn't drop this one out of the mountain, I guess. And we'll snag Basing. Oh, maybe I should have grabbed one more Hungry Ghost. Uh, we'll get. We'll actually get another opportunity because I know I left several Hungry Ghosts behind. Hey, another more love. Another more love. It's backtracking time. Woo! Leg day. Uh, is there is there an infinite scaling on the uh, leg day? I've I've never grabbed more than two. I don't think. Not because they weren't showing up, but because I just never cared to grab more than two. What does no more editing do? It's it's pretty shit. It uh, gives you like a 5% chance to drop blood money when you're killing enemies regularly. And then uh, it makes it where you can't edit your wands unless uh, you get uh, edit wands everywhere. And then you can edit only in the Holy Mountains. It's, it's garbage. Goldfish says it's far past my bedtime. I'm getting so tired. Well, I appreciate you staying up late, watching as much as you have. Appreciate you being here. Uh, let's do a quick restart for stability reasons. Squid says that's so ass. Yeah, edit. Uh, no more editing is arguably one of the uh, worst perks in the game, if not the worst. It's really bad. I mean. It doesn't actively hurt you, so I guess it can't be the worst, because some of them actively hurt you. That one, well, that one does hurt you, but I mean, I, I guess one, if you've already built really good wands, you could grab it and not be super concerned. Do, 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 do. 
Never skip leg day stacks up to 128 or further uh, if, if you load more in. 128, okay. That is a lot. That is some strong legs. Damn mountain, there it is. So, did I grab this yet? No, I did not. The reason sometimes you'll see an orb, but I can't grab it, it's because we're in the west parallel world. I mean, we're in the east parallel worlds right now, right? And when you head to the east parallel worlds, when you grab, like, for example, this orb right here, I grabbed at the, the mountain orb, yeah? If I go to another east parallel world, there will be an orb sitting there for above the mountain, but you can't grab it because you've already grabbed one of the East Parallel Worlds uh, mountain orbs. So it makes all of them just make it where, you know, they're, they're, they're no longer able to be picked up. Um, but I can go to the West Parallel World and I can pick up one of those over there. So that's, uh, I was just making sure that we get a good amount of, of orbs going here. In fact, on my way down, I'll try to stop by the vault and, uh, Snag that one orb that's there. All right, so normally I I only do it on the way up, but this time I'm gonna try to be efficient with it. Hopefully I don't uh, mess things up. For health. Feel free to poke me, chat, if I do something out of order here. I'm trying to move a little more efficiently today. Uh, the reroll machine is up to, uh, what is that? Is that 5.2 million? Two, three, wait, wait, no, not even close. That's, is that 52 million? <laughs> that was 5.2. <laughs> it was off by a little bit. Just a bit. Jesus. Electric rocks. Alright, hey, another there. You'll notice, by the way, that enemies don't seem to be attacking me anymore. That is because we should be up to... No, no, we're not up to four more loves. So some enemies will still come after us, just these are not uh, being aggressive towards us. It is getting expensive. Oops, not this way. We have reached uh, resident sleeper levels of more love. Not yet. We can't go full resident sleeper mode yet. Some enemies will still be a little frisky with us. 75% chance for enemies to be passive for the most part, Latali says. 75%? Some good odds. this drop the reroll machine is here mm -hmm. so real quickly when I get to the bottom what I want to do is I'm gonna run over and grab this uh, this orb Trying to make sure our orb number is thick. Why skipping invis perk? I guess I'll grab it. It just kind of annoys me when it flashes in and out because I'm always like, oh shit, something happened to me. Get off. Oh wait, explosions heal this guy, don't they? Lol. I just wanted to murder him for fun. 
Um, if you're ever curious on enemies' weaknesses and stuff, they are listed on the Noito Wiki. And, uh, and some enemies, like that guy actually gets healed by certain projectiles. Uh, and explosions were healing them as well. If I slip the chainsaws on there, because chainsaws do slice damage. And then I and then I just murder them with the chainsaws and the explosions removed. And yeah, there's not too many enemies like that in this game. Most of them, you know, it's pretty easy to find out they're, you know, they're just they're just weak to damage, like right basic damage. But that enemy is like no, only certain damage types. Um, yeah, keep the rerolls going. That's. And this is the bottom, so we head back up. This will be two parallel worlds completely finished now. And then we can take the dragon to Is it the it's the mid the middle left chat? Middle left will take us to the lake, yeah. Left, yes, QZ said. This is the middle left one, right? Yeah. Woo. All right, we're at the lake. Visiting the lake. Go downwards. Quick restart for stability reasons. Sturfinx is 11 orb. Uh, we'll probably end up going up to like around 20 orbs or so. I want the boss to be decently thick so that we can uh, actually shoot a pretty cool like Hungry Ghost build at him and not have him just fall over instantly. Out of all of your runs, runs, have you ever had an orb in a chest? Uh, sorry about that, Asko. I didn't mean to ignore you. I was just running behind. I'm multitasking over here. Um, so, I've never had an orb drop out of a chest just randomly. Like, I've never just been like, oh, shit. Uh, I've always told chat that if an orb ever drops out of a chest, I don't care what run we're doing. We're going to drop everything and do a 34 orb run right then and there because it would be like winning the lottery. You know, they, it's there's there's uh, there's I don't think there's ever been and, and probably ever will be a legitimate uh, uh, no mods, no outsides, outs, outside resources. 34 orb run unless somebody comes up with a method but right now so i i have done a 36 orb non-modded run but uh we do use a website uh you can type in the seed on the website and it will let you know the coordinates that you need to summon in this um this uh, greater chest to try to get the orb out of it and uh, that's the only methods i've ever gotten a uh, an orb out of a, a chest Wait, what? God, I'm blind. Please help. Oh, never mind. It fell through the ground. Hey, what's up, Vinny? How's it going? Wait, did you get a new pet, Vinny? Did you get a new cat? Or was you saying something like, I got a new son? As you're like, your title. And I was like, what? Did Vinny get a new pet? But I saw it on mobile. I was on, the, I was on the go. I was in my car. I was actually sitting in the parking lot waiting for the girlfriend. She ran to Walmart. Safe Noita gif? I trust nothing, Woop. Winning the lottery. So you'd uh, you'd be just as happy uh, doing a 34 orb run in throwing versus uh, $500 million. You really have succumbed to your masochism. So <laughs> I'm just saying statistically. I'm not saying that, you know, 
in hype levels, alright? We need to head over to this uh, orb that's over here real quick. Play on words, new sun, where sun means uh, sound in French. Oh, I was like, I was like, did he get a new pet? But because I was in the car on mobile, my, my mobile data fucking sucks. I can't like watch live streams that's in certain spots because like the connection is so weak. Like we'll sit there for like 15 minutes loading like a, loading a YouTube uh, video. moment let the curse damage go what's up joffy hello hello i think somebody on reddit found the uh the 32nd seat oh the one that dropped the uh the sampo out of it what's up by the way bonfire how's it going man that will be another crazy one because if you if you somehow Opened it up, got the Sampo, and locked in the win really fast on a random seed. You would have like an untouchable world record if you did it fast enough. You know what I mean? Like in a reasonable amount of time. His wand has a name. Yeah, this one came from the uh, the tower. Uh, certain like there are a couple special wands. The tower wands have uh, have names. This is the wand of multitudes. And uh, it's, it casts all 26, there's 26 slots. All 26 slots get cast at the same time. Polymorphine. Did I pass? What the fuck? How'd that happen? There we go. There we are. I'm gonna roll that. Don't want any of those. One of these had some dangerous polymorphine in it. I don't trust it. Have that. Forcing those rerolls, rerolls as high as possible. having a party around my reroll machine. Like, back the fuck up! Uh, I don't think I need any of those. What's the parameters of the daily run? Uh, is it to, uh, is it a break the reroll run? Uh, we're doing a 20 plus Hungry Ghost run, so... We, uh, it's, it's got, it's got breaking the reroll in it. Which is what we're doing right now. But uh, this is our third parallel world chat. I'm already forgetting. I literally just said the number and then immediately forgot it. Uh, Calamity, it'll probably be about. 20 minutes or so. Right, before, before I stand up for a moment to make sure I don't get any blood clots or anything. 
Let's just stand up, twerk off stream for a second. Do another restart. Remember, like I said, it's annoying, but what's more annoying is that crashes in Noita aren't just like setbacks. They are potential soft locks. If a, if a crash happens, there's a chance that it will despawn your boss zone, which means that you have no boss or uh, the Sampo that is in the key that is in front of them that allows you to get the win. So you are just, uh, you're just locked out. Is there a special item? No, no, no event item today, Larander. We're just doing a Hungry Ghost run because uh, this is a it's a pretty cool build that's been around for for over a year, and I've just never run it. It's it's gonna be my first time doing it, so I'm I'm excited to to see it in action. That plus, I think it'd be kind of awesome having a, an ar an army of Hungry Ghosts following me around. Why not twerk on stream? That's for the OnlyFans. Come on. Now. Gotta gotta save the content. My favorite late game wand? Depends on how late game we're talking, because late game can mean it, there's a huge scale for late game. But um, I really enjoy electric arc builds a lot. Uh, visually, I think they're one of the best best things for selling Noita. Like, it, it just makes Noita look so magical whenever somebody builds an electric arc one that actually functions oh, really super well. I wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. It's all gone wrong. Gifting a sub out to slam or dunk. My evil twin. Thanks for the love. It's all gone wrong. I appreciate you, man. Each Hungry Ghost buff is 7.5 flat damage, 1.25 damage multiplier, and it stacks per spell and per buff. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna get spicy. But yeah, Latali, I'll uh, I'll probably stop, and as I'm doing the build, I'll uh, pull up that page that gives all those stats so that people can kind of fully understand the interaction that's going on. That's... That is polymorphine area, I think, isn't it? No, never mind. Hey. It's weird how, like, whenever you drop the reroll machine, you can still reroll it, and it has it'll change the perks. But like, if you grab the perks, it doesn't remove the price tag. I don't know what the hell's going on there. This is how it works. This is how it be. Ah, oh, fuck. I went too far to the side. Snap, we're moving to our final final world and the machines will be broken. I made a hungry ghost calculator in uh in Desmos, Desmos. By the way, you can tweak different stats and see the the damage there. I can send a link for you to check it out if you want. Uh, sure. Yeah. Go ahead, Nobby. What's up? Curious how it works. Uh, 
Johnny Heat. So basically, every time I grab the dice, there is a uh, picture like this. The dice is a 50% chance of the perks staying, right? So it's a coin flip. If you pick up a perk, it'll flip a coin, and if it lands heads, the perks stay. Well, if you have two dice, then uh, you flip a coin. If it lands heads, they stay. If it lands tails, you get to flip another coin to see if you can get it to land heads, basically. So it's like uh, every every dice that you grab is just another coin flip, another opportunity for you to get the perks to stay. Johnny Heatsa said, so yeah, I should work out to 87.5% uh, currently if I'm not wrong. Um, how many do we have actually? Uh, three. Yeah, sounds right, because it goes from 50% to 75% to, what was it, 80, you said 83, uh, or 80, I mean 87.5. Uh, sounds right to me. It says half, and then you add it on, half, add it on, half, add it on. Did I miss the restart? Fuck it. I, I, I can't remember if I did a restart on that one. I feel like the restarts are they're happening so frequently now because we're moving so quick. What can I say? We're lightning fast. Very close to the the break. Oh my god, polymorphine, of course. Yeah, I think the next one breaks it. If I remember correctly, that number looks like it. Machine is now officially broken, so we get 997 rerolls for free. Which I usually just say a thousand because it's pretty much a thousand rerolls for free. And then, uh, oh yeah, so this one, there's that old free roll machine, but it doesn't matter anymore. And we're gonna jump into the portal, which will take us back to the main world now. Let me do a quick restart just for stability reasons. <laughs> Deaf man, you're losing it, man. You're going crazy. Have you lost your mind? What would happen if you uh, re-rolled one more after breaking it? I'm pretty sure it just rolled back to the one. Like, it, it just keeps it broken, you know. Oh yeah, I remember doing this earlier. I was like, wait, why does this have it there? So, when you re-roll it, it'll have these. Grab the stainless, we'll grab that. So, oh, I need to grab this orb while we're here. Before I forget. Because we're back in the main world right now. right there wow an ad trigger you see that today's daily was nuts because this is in the regular world I just didn't I didn't see it I 
Later, Kodiak. Appreciate you hanging out, man. All right. So now we're heading to the West Parallel Worlds to abuse the broken machines. That's what we've been setting up for this whole run. Finally getting to put it to use. stop for a moment just to stand up uh it stretched my legs uh just for just for a couple minutes back to the action all right we're in the west Even with the toxic gold inning with toxic immunity, it's the same. Uh, yeah, if you've, if you've done all the stainless stacking and all that kind of stuff, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. We'll do a restart. That we did a restart in the last world, so I figured I did. That's why I didn't do it again on the edge of it. I was like, eh, I did one recently. It better not crash. The end of everything is pretty much the only way uh, when you turn the world to gold or touch of spells if you don't have uh, too many stainless. Don't forget you can also spawn in the bridge boss which has polymorphine to... which he shoots polymorphine shots. You can use that to try to uh, get yourself polymorphed. I'm curious where I'm going. I wanted to get the uh, orb that was down here real quick. It burns. You haven't killed them? Yeah, I think you should be able to... I mean, couldn't you always go to a parallel world and find one of the over overworld ones as well? That may work too. I feel like there's got to be some kind of method, you know? That squid always asks the same thing. I, I think he still appears in the overworld after you turn the world to gold, but I don't I don't know that for sure. I've never gone I've never gotten myself in that situation that I was I was traveling to a parallel world for Squidward. I don't think. Maybe one or two times ever, but I play so much Noita it's hard to remember. It's not a common occurrence, let's put it that way. Not common enough for my my old man brain apparently to remember it. You, you spam the end of everything until a poly shot hit you. Yeah. Yeah, that one... I, I believe that one, because that spams a ton of poly shots. Hmm, we're at 14 orbs. Not bad. Bad. Later, Jackie. You can also build an infinite damage wand with uh, friendly fire, although I'm not sure uh, what the stainless uh, threshold for uh, that one. No oh, shit. Yeah. So I'm not sure what's the stainless threshold. Um, that's a pretty good idea, actually. I yeah, put some kind of piercing on it. Uh, good work. What was the recipe to create Ambrosia? It's a uh, diamond and uh, chat diamond and what creates Ambrosia? 
Honey? Oh, honey. And yeah, no lava says honey. Uh, diamond and honey. There you go. And poop? <laughs> that is not poop. Wait, what was that right there? Oh. Alright, our first holy mountain. And now begins our... Uh, actually, wait, we're gonna get ourselves set up for the... The Hungry Ghosts. We need to grab at least one more dice. And... One more, more love. So this is the perk pool that we're looking through here. So we do have a hungry ghost on there. Um, we know of at least one. They say only two can appear in the pool, meaning like in the rotation before it resets. There's a more love. And there was a hungry ghost next to the more love, so that was the second hungry ghost, wasn't it? We're not going to worry about health and all that. There, there's a dice. I do need to keep my eye open, uh, my eyes open for spark bolts. Because we are missing... Let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wow, we're missing 10 spark bolts. Though we may end up using a wand refresh at one point, which would be 25 spark bolts, but still. Try to collect them while we're adventuring along here. Do we have extra uh, extra perk at all? Like, do we have a single extra life? Oh, yeah, we, ha we do have, we have two extra lives. Go. Cool. Um, hungry ghost there. Actually, you know what? I should probably... I if I should grab some of these hungry ghosts. Hmm. We need to have, like, at least one one more, maybe two more before... I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. It's no biggie. Damn it, I hate this fucking world layout. It's got that damn pool of polymorphine every time. There's a hungry ghost already on this one. Oh yeah, I forgot to check for spark bolts. <laughs> of course the gods look the other way. Can you blame them? They're like, do you see that guy? He's one-shotting everybody out here. Them. There you go. There's a hungry ghost. Hungry ghost for days. Oh, I haven't grabbed any repelling capes. That's what I haven't done. Whoops. I just realized that. Is that repelling? Grab this. We're actually gonna roll. Right. Well, there you go. There's, there's a hungry ghost. Spark bolts, man. Did we, was there more spark bolts? Did I just pass them? Did I pass some spark bolts?
I did. did I? Oh, what the, look at that. Look at that. Always cast Circle of Vigor, but I wouldn't say we need it anymore. I don't know, because you didn't check that I bypassed some wands there. Gotta do a better job. Paying attention. We need those spark bolts. So in this world, we should be able to get an easy, like... What was that? Like, four ghosts that we already have queued up? Something like that? So I hope it's making sense. Somebody asked earlier, I think it was Holland. Is that, is that you, Holland? That asked, why did I break the reroll machines? Are you starting to see how I'm uh, I'm abusing the rerolls to get the to manipulate the perks onto the the ground that I want? And normally you can only get up to like five of those ghosts, but instead I'm leaving them on the ground and and I'm moving on to the next area. To set this up without doing break like without breaking the reroll machine would take so many holy mountains. You'd have to travel fucking far. Because imagine it. Basically, when you when you walk into an area, it loads in the perks. If you did not already have a preloaded in Hungry Ghost, you'd be like, well, this mountain is useless. But instead, because I broke the reroll machine, I can force every mountain to have a Hungry Ghost waiting for me. And then I can just backtrack and pick them all up. Oh, restart. Fuck. Yeah. No crashes, please. No crashes. And yeah, the perk pool, the 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 perk uh, the the perk pool is a list, like Latali's saying, and it will just cycle through the list. That is how you can like uh, you can kind of memorize perk locations. That way you can roll quickly to get to to what you're looking for. We already grabbed this one. Yeah, we already grabbed that one. Wait, did I grab? I grabbed the mountain one, didn't I? I hope. Yep, yep. I know what I didn't grab the magic temple one. Alright, let's get a hungry boat. Hungry ghost on the board. Where are you, hungry ghost? I know you're out there. Don't be surprised if I roll past them every once in a while. Makes me a bit get used to their locations. Uh, there's a regular spark bolts. We need you. Plus one. <laughs> Plus one. Watch out for that portal. We'll grab the repelling cape. I don't why do I still have explosion immunity in that damn perk pool? There we go. Hungry us showed up just in time. I didn't waste too many rerolls. Not that I, we're we're very it's very unlikely that we'd run out of rerolls in this run, like We'd have to use them very wastefully. Like, I, I mean, at some point I may start just being kind of crazy with it and re-rolling, like, left and right. But I want to make sure I at least have, like, uh, a setup so that I can get to the 20 ghosts that I was doing for the challenge today. Oh, because we have repelling, it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass to get this on me, isn't it? Why are you waiting to pick them up? Because if I pick up, the moment I pick up that fifth ghost, we will no longer get the hungry ghost spawning in. You just won't get any more hungry ghosts. So uh, we're trying to make sure uh, to get at least 20 plus hungry ghosts queued up on the ground before we go picking them up. 
This is how you break the uh, the limit on uh, hungry ghosts that you can have. There is not no no, no cosmetic for today. Just uh, j it was just like a, a a run that I've put off for a long time because uh you know Latali, Latali, are you the one that originally came up with this build? Because I can remember when you brought it up like forever ago. Uh, it, it's literally been over a year ago because I remember when you talked about it, I was like, that's a really creative build, spamming Hungry Ghosts. And uh, and I always thought, like, I'm going to do a Hungry Ghost build one of these days. But then, like I said, there's just been so many other builds that do high damage that people came out with that I never ran this Hungry Ghost build. So it's uh, I finally got around to revisiting it. In the tryout, Latali's. I, I don't, like I said, I don't know if he's the original one, but he's the first one that brought it up to me. I thought that's a really cool idea. Hungry goes for days. Stacking hungry ghosts. I mean, as soon as uh, it, was, it was reworked, people found out. Uh, it's insane. I wasn't the first. Okay, well, I just remember you bringing it up because I had no idea it could be uh, taken to to such high damage until you had come along. I do want to grab that. Okay. Get out of here. Got us a hungry ghost. I'm not even checking the spell room anymore because. Not really interested in anything. Oh my goodness. Stuff going on there. There's spark bolt. I don't see one. Goes for days. And we have two of them in our perk pool. Two hungry ghosts, so it usually doesn't take me too long to to roll to one. Uh, will a whitelist of sound safe uh, for DMCA? Uh, wait, will a whitelist of sound safe for DMCA be on 2.0 feature list? Weebs are being oppressed unjustly. <laughs> don't, don't, don't you try to justify the brain damage that you guys have caused? Uh, it's not, it's not in my plans to. Just because, I don't know. Like, I feel like. Then I have to deal with the whole system of people like debating which sounds are, are DMCA friendly and not. Well, obviously, like sound effects, like a weave noise. I mean, I guess could you be DMCA for that? I mean, I guess you. I, I, in theory, you could. I don't think. I don't think any sane company would. Imagine DMCAing, uh, you know, some content because you're like, hey, that is my. I don't know what the hell that. What is that noise referred to as? It, I don't know. I don't know what you would refer to that. That's my uwu. <laughs> Sample clip. Well, I know. I know they've been hit with. People have been hit with the automated DMCA over rain sounds, which is like, what? That is my rain. Nintendo would. All right, Nintendo would like fucking DMCA like a child's uh, funeral. <laughs> like Nintendo's, I don't know what. 
it's weird. They are very aggressive with their fucking DMCA shit. Holy shit. Was that a polymorph shot? Was that a polymorph shot? Holy shit, it was. Shield coming in clutch. <laughs> polymorph shot just fucking deflected off of it. Oink. Do a quick mod restart. Isn't any sample legally fair game if it's under 10 seconds in length? Uh, I think you still can get DMCA'd for that. I, I don't, I mean, like, that's something that I've heard all the time, but I think at the end of the day, if it's anything that's not, that you didn't create, uh, I think, I think they can come after you for it. I think like there are there's like uh, automated like like bot systems that they usually set like a threshold of like 10 seconds or whatever just to keep from um, just DMC so as, especially when it comes to like streamers and all that because you gotta think they do like all these react videos and stuff like that um, where they they're trying to they're trying to just catch people who are who are stealing large chunks of content like a whole song or something rather than just somebody who's flipping through like a, a video or whatever and happens to hear it for a second but with that said i think i think at the end of the day you can still be dmca regardless i don't i don't think there's anything that protects you just because you're like hey i only played it for seven seconds i think they're gonna be like did you did you write that song you're like this is bullshit the itunes sample back in the day was longer than that why am I getting scammed? That heart just keeps going. Sweetmeat says uh, DMCA does not equal legal standards. It's made up so it doesn't uh, get to the legalities point in the first place. But yeah, maybe it's the... At the end of the day, if you didn't make it, be afraid. That's that's my motto. There's another spark bolt. All right, I ended up not using like these horizontals at all, even though they would have been, you know, some nice damage. Just never made use of them. All right, we're good there. That's there. Up and down. There's a hungry ghost already waiting there on that one. Made that easy. Oh shit. I think there's a hungry ghost right after this one, isn't there? No, never mind. It doesn't roll to the same one. Hungry ghost? It was after that trick blood money. Number four. I'm starting to get the list kind of memorized. Not really memorized, but I know a couple of them. Oops, went too far over.
Hungry Ghost is after this one because there's a trick blood money. Uh... Oh, my six. There you go. Another hungry ghost. But I think we're gonna do one more world uh, of Hungry Ghosts, and then we're just gonna uh, go ham, yeah? Wait, did we already grab the... I can't remember if we grabbed the orb over here on the for the West Parallel Worlds. I'll check, let's see. I think I did, but just to be 100%. I did not. Uh, for when you finally take a second and reach chat, you forgot to check for spark bolts in the last four mountains. Five now. Wait, what? Really? I thought I glanced. Did I really skip all of those? All right, I'll, I'll try to remember. So, hi, we, yeah, because we still need to find, like... Nine spark bolts, I think. Well, don't worry, we have to backtrack through there anyway, so I'll, I'll try to get it on the way back. Not even a glance. I was I was hauling too much ass, man. I was moving too quick. You could possibly store those spark bolts on your tele wand if you're uh, running low on space. Uh, you don't tele uh, teleport towards explosives uh, too much. Well, that plus, I mean, I have a wand refresh that we could make use of as well. We got some space. Got a little bit going. We must find more spark bolts. suck to get polymorphed after all this. Don't do it, game. Don't do it. The murder. The spark bolts. Does poly even matter now with uh, uh, orgy mode enabled? <laughs> orgy mode? Um, yes, because... Uh, you know, if I'm, if the world's on fire, if debris's falling, there's still things that can kill you. But yeah, it is a lot less dangerous because if I get polymorphed, the enemies won't attack me. I just have to watch for the environment or like, you know, usually if I'm shooting black holes or something, it's pulling in like other like explosives near me. So if I polymorph and then an explosion happens at the same time, it'll just kill me. All right, so this will be our last uh, parallel world of spawning in Hungry Ghosts. Then we're going to go back and we're just going to snag them all up. We should have more than enough to go past 20. We're going to be good. Look at that damage. Mind me, just sprinting across the desert. Oh yeah, the fish fall damage. So yeah, uh, the the fish. There's a specific fish that actually, if you polymorph into it, has fall damage. So if you get crazy unlucky and you get chaotic polyed when you're like up in the air, then you'll just fall to the ground and splat. Uh, that would be very unfortunate. 
both of the fish have fall damage? Wait, there was one of them that we saw that uh, it did not have fall damage, and then we found out, oh, only one of the fish did. Wasn't this a conversation we had on stream? I thought you were here for it. Two small, the two small fish have fall damage and the eel doesn't have it. Hmm. Shit, I can't even remember. All I know is, all I know is that uh, we are fish. We are fish. That's the clip of uh, Cherry whenever it happened to her and that's the first time I'd ever seen a fish have fall damage. I was like, what the fuck? I didn't even know this was possible. I think if we do two of these, there'll be 12. You know what? Maybe we have to do one more world just to be certain. I'm afraid we'll end up at like 18 or something. Yeah, there it is. Here's the clip. This one's pretty good. good. Hope you're fine too. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Oh god. We have fish. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I love that one. Fish. Oh god. We have fish. <laughs> we are we are fish. We are fish dead. Now that's Noita. Pretty well. Oh god. We have fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's a classic right there. Yeah, <laughs> you got fished. You got fished. Flip. We are fish. The air feels heavy. Not even a glance. Fuck. My brain, man. It's melting. It's melting. All right, we're gonna. We will. We, we'll, we will make this the last world because my brain is seizing up on me. We can make it work. We're gonna be fine, chat. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, the price tag's right there. I was like, where's the price tag? <laughs> glanced, Pog. I glanced! I remembered this time. Triggers. Another add mana, but we shouldn't need that. Second ghost. Oh shit, I passed a ghost. <laughs> Whoops.
third ghost. Fourth ghost. Oh, are you shitting me? All right. Let me let me think real quick. Be number five. to think I'm like am I sure that we'll have past 20 with this one <sighs> not a word chat not a goddamn word I warped into a portal oh my goodness Took us all the way back to the main world. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not even doing restarts as I'm trying to travel back to where I just was. Okay. Game, you better not crash. Enable Behe for 20 seconds, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hell no. I'm sure he hears it. Force says, great YouTube video of what not to do there. Thank you, Force. Thank you. Yeah, so I accidentally went into a portal, which made it where I went back to the main world, so I have to travel all the way back. Ooh. I gotta convince the YouTube uh, plebs to come to stream without hearing uh, much how much fun the chat has. I think it will discourage them, Brad. <laughs> how many worlds? Uh, I think we were in parallel world number four or something over there. What does Stacking Ghost do? It's going to give us some crazy damage. We're going to go crazy with the Hungry Ghosts. Uh, there it is. Not your damage already crazy so there's there's levels to this shit our damage right now obviously is really good like we hit stuff we do like 10 20 30 thousand damage no problem hungry ghosts will take our damage uh into the millions and billions uh, depending on how you stack it and what, what how you run it exactly so yes we have good damage it can make it insane damage How do the Hungry Ghosts increase damage? Don't they eat projectiles? Whenever they eat projectiles, they give off a damage buff. And uh, the damage buff is amplified uh, with every projectile you have in the wand being cast at the same time. So the goal is to have a, uh, a large clump of them. 
Okay. Like a large uh, clump of spark bolts that we cast all at the same time. And after we feed up the hungry ghosts like crazy. Look at the hungry ghosts following you like <laughs> wide people happy. They are pretty adorable. Barney says our damage currently is at 3. We're going for level 300. And this, and this is to go even further beyond. Johnny Heat says it's like, oh wow, Goku's strong in the Cell Saga versus holy shitballs, Goku's strong in Super. There we go. We got we got the the DBZ uh, power, power creep going on in Noito. Yes, we're taking the power creep to another level. All right. So, oh, we have not uh, did a reset. Get me out of there. All right. I think this will be a fresh parallel world. So I'll go through this one, queue up the Hungry Ghosts, and then we will we will start picking up all the Hungry Ghosts. <laughs> Imagine if Goku started doing 100 push-ups per day, etc. <laughs> Fox, are you, are you talking about the One Punch Man workout? Imagine if Goku worked out like One Punch Man. Dude, that lag when I came back in, I don't know what that was all about. It's like some super lag. One punch Goku. One punch! I wonder how well Suffer is doing on his uh, no hit all bosses 33 orb run. Uh, he stopped, we stopped by the other day. We talked about it for a bit. So he just said uh, it's go, things are going good. I mean, he's done a he's done a 33 orb no hit and an all boss no hit. So he's just got to get them done in the same run. So he, he definitely will get it done. It's just a matter of you know time. The lag was 10 times uh, parallel worlds worth of perma gold loading in. Yeah, that was a mistake. Andy says fuse Goku and Satama uh, to destroy the universe. <laughs> Chat, Goku versus uh, Satama, aka the dude from One Punch Man. Who wins? Saitama, chat is saying Saitama, Saitama. It's gotta be Saitama. <laughs> Goku, tw 22 says Goku, it's the hair. <laughs> hair is OP. Go over the mountain? Fuck. I remember when Dunk's hair was OP. <laughs> it was back in prime COVID days. COVID was going ham. If I'm looking away from the chat for a second, you guys just trying to get these hungry ghosts spawned in as quickly as possible because we still got to backtrack to 
create the Hungry Ghost Army. Still no spark bolts. Wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't there have been a Hungry Ghost there? Fuck, I got bypassed one. There he is. Whoops. You rolled past it? Oh shit. It, it, it must have landed on the same one as the uh, the blood money one. That's usually what I'm looking for. They landed on the same one. Bark bolts. There was another ad mana. Oh my gosh, I did the same thing. It landed on that again, and I rolled right past it. Twice! Uh, what's up, boss? How many Hungry Ghosts are you aiming for? Just like 20 plus. 20 plus Hungry Ghosts. Oh my gosh. I went too far over, didn't I? There's already a hungry ghost on this one. Worked out. Right now we have four hungry ghosts on us, so we're just trying to get this uh, to the bottom of this, and now we begin to collect them all. Alright, Hungry Ghost number 5. So, we shouldn't be seeing any more Hungry Ghosts in our rolls. Because we have hit the, uh, the max. It looks to be true. So... Let's go pick up the hungry ghosts. Go pick up the kids. The shield, sure. No, not nothing else I really want there. Did not glance. Wait, was there another? I thought I glanced at the last group. Did I mess one up? Maybe I started to not glance and you typed that. Yeah, we glanced at these for sure. Ghost. Wow, did you see that? That did not proc. What the fuck? That means we just lost five coin flips essentially. In a row. Sick. What? A 1 in 32 chance twice? Okay. Ghost friends, there he is. Hungry ghost. Does extra perks still stack at this point? I believe so, but uh, you don't want to stack too many of them because you can't see the perks very well. Like you, they're all stacked on top of each other. It becomes very difficult to grab what you want to grab. Our fam's growing, though. Look at them. How many Hungry Ghosts are we at right now? 
We're at 10. Not bad. Uh, so we are we are specifically hunting out the hungry ghost. The other one is the mournful uh, spirit, which gives di uh, dying creatures leave behind a spirit that deals damage in a small area. I'm not a big fan of it. And the angry ghost, an angry spirit comes to your aid, copying nearby spells and projectiles. That one's kind of wild. Uh, that one is uh, speedrunners do some crazy shit with those sometimes. You can manipulate what projectiles the angry ghost will shoot. And you can use it to like uh, manipulate to shoot like black holes. And then you can just like insta dig to the final boss if you're like speed running. We make the gods afraid this run. I think it may happen actually. So, are they lagging more because of the angry ghost? Because that was some serious lag going on there. Did you see that? Gas blood, maybe? Maybe. Restart? Oh, shit. Thank you, Morgan. You're right. I do need to do a restart. Especially after that lag spike we just had. Do another quick restart. Uh, if anybody, by the way, has a clip to the time that we made the rainbow shields, if you could link that in the chat, I'd appreciate you. Because I wanted to pull it up on stream during this. Because uh, so what we what we've done, as you can see, we've broke the barrier for like the maximum amount of ghosts, uh, hungry ghosts that you can have, which is supposed to be five, by using the whole leave the perk behind technique. And uh, we've done that also with the shields before. And the shields, can, you can actually manipulate the color of the shields. Uh, and uh, we did that one of our past runs. We made rainbow shields. Yeah, Wot says the rainbow shields were dope. Yeah, they came out pretty good. Best way to get magical liquid in a bottle? Uh, the lanterns in the holy mountains uh, give like a drop of magical liquid. That 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 turned out to be a really good method that the chat suggested. Uh, but also, uh, if you have damage field or something to to damage the ghosts, you can just knock a ton of damage out of, or a ton of magic liquid out of a ghost using that. Which, they bleed magic liquid, so. New guys in the corner puking his guts out. Thanks for the follow there, Blue. I guess we can grab them now, right? There's no reason to only grab them on the way down. Uh, I think we've grabbed enough more love. I think we need to keep spamming that. Another dice, we can't get screwed again. What did uh what do you need to shift it into to make it a rainbow flum? Uh so there's a rainbow uh trail in Noita, don't forget about that. So the rainbow trail is above the stick man on the uh on the lake. So we took that liquid and we shifted it into our perk pool, and then we shifted that into our shield. Exactly like Dusty said, you have to set it up first. You gotta get the, the rainbow liquid into the into the pool of uh, shifting materials, and then from there make the shift happen. Does magic liquid have a use? Not really. Uh, it just the color of magic liquid. Like, do you see the color of my shields? The color of my shields or it, your shields in Noita are dictated by the color of magic liquid. So if you do a fungal shift and shift the color of the shields or shift the color of the magic liquid, it will by default shift the color of the shields into whatever the magic liquid changed into. Uh, so like if magic liquid shifted into blood, blood is red, so all your shields would turn red. I don't think it's really an intentional thing. It's something that the, the players kind of just figured out because the devs, I guess, whenever they were applying the color, they were like, they chose a material and they just chose magic liquid. And then people were just like, hey, we can manipulate that color and it changes the shield color. Some random shit. Cheese shield. You can do it. Shield with bright yellow shield.
There's really much else to look for here. stop taking repulsions I mean once we had two of them I guess got lazy oh my god laps this damn mountain <laughs> bricks just hit me in the head those gone. I think I remember that. Hmm. How many are we at right now? Let's check. Currently at 15. Looking for spark bolts? Did I just power pass some tower? I, forget, I keep forgetting. Camera, which mountains I've checked? One there. He says, "I don't know, but you haven't checked." I gotta find those damn spark bolts. to the right. Oh damn, no heal wand this run? Yeah, we never we never made a heal wand. Never came across the circle of vigor. Skip the dragon. I think I had already had I not killed that dragon. I thought I already killed him. Drunken, uh, we're just we're just stacking lots of hungry ghosts and just seeing how much damage we can create with just spark bolts. Uh, doing it with a single spark bolt would be rough. You would have to have a ton of hungry ghosts. Uh, but if you are doing multiple spark bolts at the same time, then uh, that's when that's when it gets interesting. The key is a mix of like multiple, like a like a good amount of hungry ghosts and a good amount of spark bolts you get some real damage. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta look up that shield clip in a bit. I'll go look for that, the rainbow shield, so I can show the, uh, the YouTube peeps. I th I'm trying to remember how long it's been since we did that. It's been, uh, it was the beginning of June, right? Pride month. this and don't worry about that I got another win today after a while stacked uh, multiple plasma crosses on a spark trigger uh, real dangerous but had good damage nice very nice epic right, spark bolts oh there are some spark bolts right there a good amount of them in fact Let's count how many we have right here. Actually, we can do this. So we know that's 19 right there, right? 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We're just missing three spark bolts and then we'll have all the maximum amount, you know? 
Uh, hey, Loop, Loop dug through the clips and found it. Loop, you the best. You the best. There you go, guys. The rainbow run. It took us. Yeah, there it is. I won't, I won't make you listen to it. But, uh, yeah, there was our, there was our rainbow shields if you hadn't seen it. Um, yes, that is the, the color of the, the rainbow liquid. We shifted it into the, the magic shield. Remember, like I was just talking about. So that's why it looks all crazy like that. Which was, uh, it was a pretty wild run, though. Shit was crazy. That was like 44 shields, I think. I can't even remember how many shields we ended up doing. Something like that. Uh, Hungry Ghost. Hold on. At least five, yes. Soft Lump is right. We had at least five shields in that clip. I can promise you that. We're at 18 Hungry Ghosts. I promised at least 20 Hungry Ghosts today, so I'm feeling confident that we should be able to pass that amount. Yo! Do the same run, but with close call next time. Close call. Hmm. I don't even know how that damage would scale, actually. Thank you for the support, by the way. Yo. Appreciate the love. I think one of these had polymorphine in it. These zones. They're making me nervous. Look at them. <laughs> These are my kids. I think that that should have pushed us to to twenty, right? Or twenty one. Now I'll, I'll keep going until we've we've grabbed up all the hungry ghosts, though. So there shouldn't be too many left, but we'll keep snagging them. Lots of dead kids. <laughs> that was that was dark. <laughs> All right, top right. Some hungry ghosts. Do all of them need to consume a projectile to give a buff, uh, or uh, only one of them uh, to? Eat a projectile to trigger all the buffs. So here, I'll show you right now. Uh, we're going to need to spam it up, I believe, on a, on a wand where we can cast it crazy fast. But if we replace... Uh, small Tele Bolt with Magic Guard, then we cast it. So every... Let me take this away real fast. That. So... Actually casting it pretty fast. Hold on. Because the stats are so good on that thing. It looks like up to up to four will react to a single one. Hmm. I, I thought it was gonna have to be one per, but it looks like they, they do them in small clumps, but it looks like a clump of like four. Bring the chainsaw back. I forgot the chainsaw and then the induction. Dude, I gotta go find a statue. We gotta, we gotta, I wanna do some tests with what we got. Basically what's happening though is we're casting the magic guard and these ghosts are eating it instantly. They're like, mine, 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 mine. They gobble it up, and then uh, it gives us a ton of damage. Let's use a statue real quick, and we should be able to do some testing. 
with how much damage we're looking at right now. I actually, I actually don't know. The radius is also uh, off on the perk uh, on the wiki. I'll fix it. Look at this little tall guy. Never stops at helping out the Noita community. Oh my gosh, it is laggy though when you get over here. Please stop the lag. I'm not exactly sure what's making that cursed rock lag so badly, but rough. Reset? Oh fuck, we didn't do a reset, did we? Uh, we'll reset on the way down. Did it also take slime blood and fungal colony? Yes. Oh, thank you, QZ, for ans answering Epic's question. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, Epic, I'm a little bit brain dead right now. We've been in this run for... It hasn't been too crazy long, but it's coming up on six hours. And, uh... I don't know, after it starts to pass a certain point, I get a little bit quieter. It's like whenever you have runs that you kind of break into several chunks, it makes it easier. Like if you're doing... Um, you know, if I play regular run for a bit, then I do some Twitch integration, then I do this and that. Like, it's easier to keep, like, high energy and stuff, but whenever I'm just grinding away, that's when I get kind of quiet, I feel like. Uh, okay, so this will shoot one spark bolt at a time. Well, not really quite one, but it's, it's shooting them in individual shots. So if we really wanted to test it, we'd have to put it on that wand. Uh, do we have any spark bolts here? Um, do that real quick. Swap that with that. All right. So first we're going to try with a single spark bolt. So it hits for three damage, right? Three damage. We are going to spam the magic guard so that the ghosts, hungry ghosts, eat it. Then we're gonna shoot out the statue. <laughs> what the fuck was that? That was a single spark bolt. Oh shit. What was that number? How many digits are there? Six digits? 638,000 damage? Oh my goodness, because what's crazy about that... So the reason that's significant is... Um, picture a damage plus, right? If you have a spark bolt and you put a damage plus next to it... The damage plus adds the damage to that spark bolt, right? Well, if you have a damage plus a double in two spark bolt, the damage plus will add to both of those spark bolts. Well, what's going to happen is it's not going to have this buff and pass it to like two spark bolts. It's like each spark bolt will have its own version of the damage amplification next to it and they will cross pollinate with each other. Does that make sense? So every time, um, oh, oh, the break it. That was one spark bolt. You give it a moment. Give it a moment, my friend. Um, we should end up with some pretty insane damage because it's like this. If you put a double down, we don't really have. Okay, so this is adds eight damage, right? And we put two spark bolts. This eight damage gets added to both spark bolts. However. What's happening here is it's not one damage buff that's being passed to to both. It's like every spark bolt will have its own damage buff next to it, which then which then they share with each other. You know what I'm saying? So uh Yeah, so two like like Latali said, two so two spark bolts is not it's not like, oh, now we shoot two spark bolts and double the damage. It would be no two spark bolts would be like quadruple the damage because 
They would each get their own damage buff, yes. And then they would share that damage buff with each other as well. So the best, like I said, the best example I could give is like, imagine a, a damage plus next to every spark bolt that you add. That damage plus doesn't only add to its own spark bolt. It adds it to every other, every other spark bolt in the payload. So it's going to, they're going to fucking cross pollinate like crazy. That bad boy is going to pump. And Blue says it's called exponential. Yeah, it's going to be some serious damage. But we'll, uh, well, I guess, hold on, let's, let's do, let's do the double spark bolt real fast on the other statue, and then we'll, um, finish grabbing our hungry ghosts. Alright, so this is gonna be a double with two spark bolts. <laughs> the gods are afraid. I don't blame them, I'd be scared too. If you're curious, that message pops up whenever you are hitting for over, is it over a million? Is that the, is that the threshold for that one? The hell? Over a million, yes, okay. Uh, is that, is that 4.1? We got about 4 million damage, Renthira said. Okay, so that's two spark bolts, you guys. Right? So you saw the difference. You saw that the single one hit for 600,000, right? This one hit for uh, 4 million. So that that amplification is pretty crazy, right? That's only with two. We're going to go for 26 spark bolts being cast at the same time. It's going to be juicy. The crappy thing is, these statues, we, they die so fast, so it's just like, you know, if you if I hit them for that much damage, they're just, <laughs> they ain't coming back. So, let's put it all back on there. So, we need to get three more spark bolts, by the way. Gotta remember that. It's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be glorious. And we'll, and we'll have a couple more hungry ghosts, too, so... That's just another thing that'll cause the, the damage to amplify even even stronger. No pointer, thanks for the follow. How many ghosts you got? Also, the hungry ghost uh, second eating comes uh, at around 102, uh, or one to two seconds of the first eating buff uh, time left, so I think you need to shoot uh, slightly earlier. Well, wait. I, I think I, I think I'm just spamming it to the max, right? I think I'm just holding it down. So you're seeing some expire, but it's it's creating new ones that you can't see off the screen. I just I just spam it for a bit so that it's just a ton of them. Can you one shot the statues? Oh yeah, they're all they. There's no way they can even hold up to a, a single. Well, the other one died to a single spark bolt, so. This check for oops. Gotta bring my other wand back. We are looking for three spark bolts to round out our wand. Imagine putting like piercing on a this kind of build. <laughs> like, alright, I'm doing Insane hungry ghost damage. Now I want to pierce. Statue has 30,000 HP. Yeah, so the statue died really easily. Oh man. Collapse this mountain again. Hungry ghost. Spark bolts in there that we want. Boomerang plus piercing now. Pseudo just tell me to kill myself. You should talk to me. Another hungry ghost.
And we're doing this off the the back of just spark bolts. I mean, you could switch over to other projectiles like triplicate bolts and, and, and do way more damage as well. But I like to keep it, I'm trying to keep it simple for the sake of, you know, it makes it easier to wrap your mind around how just how much damage the Hungry Ghosts are adding whenever you're using just 26 spark bolts. Because everybody knows what the spark bolt does, you know. Flipped it for later. Thank you, Laura Andrew. Try it on infestation and dodge all the shots for fun. Every shot just bouncing around with like millions of damage. I guess we did it just infestation. It would only have like, you know, 600,000. We could tank it. I just realized I should have grabbed that piercing so that we could do self damage later. I guess we just jump into the sun. Oh well. No. This is why you mod restart. I got. I got impatient. How many hungry ghosts do we have right now? We have 23. Let me head down real fast. I mean, sh we should have all the ones below here. Oh my god, I'd be so pissed if the boss despawned. Okay, no, it's all the ones below here is grabbed. Wait! How is below here taken? I used the jungle on my way out, didn't I? What the fuck? Grab piercing? I guess we can grab piercing. There, yeah. Guess I'll hold on to infestation. Oh. I don't know how I feel about this chat. I'm a little petrified right now. Let's just pray the boss didn't like for some reason despawn. Otherwise, this will be very, very sad. This is why you have to do so many frequent, frequent, frequent resets. My brain is going out, man. Um, I'm sure there's some people that are watching, if they watch on the YouTube, they're probably thinking like, man, why does he do so many resets? It's a little excessive, but it shows. You let your guard down for one moment. And we have a crash, and we don't know if it's a crash that's really going to hurt us too badly yet. I mean, we still have a, an army of ghosts going here, but it, it, it could be bad. Dusty says, it'll be fine. Yeah, it most likely will be fine. Especially since we were nowhere near that area, area so hopefully it didn't corrupt it. But uh, yeah, it does happen where the area will just simply corrupt, and your boss despawns, and Nala gives you the middle finger. So I'm restart now, though. Yeah, like Latali said, if if the boss despawns, we'll have to do like a deleting the the world folder to get it to clear all like the world data so we can get it to respawn. But that's whenever you're having to do some like jank stuff, right? Let's hope it doesn't come to that, Latali.
Hmm. If you're curious what I'm reading for, for you two peeps, if you're curious what I'm reading, the chat's over there busting out some math on the Hungry Ghost, so I was kind of, I was reading along. The Navi says, with 23 Hungry Ghosts, with 23 Hungry Ghost buffs on 26 projectiles, with no damage modifiers, it will deal 3, oh here, 3.35906 blah 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 two, uh, times 10 to the 59th power per spark bolt. That's uh, times 26, uh, wait, that times 26 is the total damage. Oh, that per spark bolt, then you do that times, what the hell? So 3.35 blah 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 times 10 to the 59th power times 26? The hell? Okay, I, I think I, I think I remember. We left some hungry ghosts in this in this one, right? Yeah. It's a hungry ghost here. It'd be kind of nice if we get. It'd be kind of nice if we get twenty six hungry ghosts and twenty six spark bolts. Nope, that one's not too bad, chat. We can get back to that one pretty quickly. Uh, actually, wait, we can just go down. Can check for spark bolts? Nope. If you're curious about why some of the backgrounds are jacked up, that's what happens when you crash. Your backgrounds are, like, fucked. This army of ghosts looks hilarious. Come, oh, my children. Okay, we are just in this world right over here. I, I want to finger finish out the. I want to finish out the hungry ghosts like that we left behind. Copy three random spells for Spark Bolt. <laughs> we shouldn't need that. Did I still hold on to Oh, I left that earlier on the ground, didn't I? The finger? No, I thought I said... <laughs> I said figure, but <laughs> I got, got a finger. <laughs> I don't even know if I said fi I was trying to say finish. My brain is finished. <laughs> Back to where we were. Almost there. Don't take the portal this time. Dunk's head is gone. It really is. And it hasn't even been that long of a stream. I don't know why. One of those days. Some days are just brain dead days. But it's been a fun run. I'm hoping that I'm I'm just hoping that we get to get a true ending to these this ghost family we got going here, you know. They deserve a true ending. to the right, I guess. Spark bolts, spark bolts. There's a circle of vigor.
actually using that circle of vigor, we could beat the shit of our beat the shit out of ourselves, couldn't we? Because we could just buff ourselves, then circle of vigor, and it would be like, oh, we're dead. All right, that was the last hungry ghost. How many did we um, end up with? Come on, 26. That would be kind of sick. 28. Oh shit, it was um, okay. My brain. 28 is pretty sick too, though. Even more. I was hoping at least 26. I was gonna say 26 spark bolts, 26 hungry ghosts. 28. So we have 28 hungry ghosts. And we need to get 26 spark bolts. We have 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So let's go grab three spark bolts real fast here, chat. Shouldn't be hard. Just head on over to the uh the wand mart and I'm sure they'll have some spark bolts in there for us okay I'm just gonna do that statue there for now I was wanting to test out some damage but I want to make sure we have all 26 spark bolts before we do. Get on over there. Mod restart? Yeah, we probably do need to. This math chat, a brain. Okay, three spark bolts, chat. That's what you got to try to help me find. Let's do this. Why am I running out of mana so quickly? I guess I wasn't spamming it that much before. Getting polyed in here would be a fitting end. No fucking way. It would not be a fitting end. It'd be a depressing end. Chainsaws. started looking for spark bolts a little earlier than I did, right? Who knew it'd be the one thing that I was missing here at the end? Three spark bolts! Kind of dangerous shooting that black hole like that. 
Found spitter bolts, but no, I want spark bolts, not spitter bolts. Oh! <sighs> Messed up, man. Just flew right by it again real quickly to check that wand. Just jumping in acid. We don't cur. Don't be like this. I loved you. Oh, that's nope, nope, nope. We're not even going in that water. Are we going to have to travel to the east parallel worlds again? Just to go grab the spark bolts, because I'm sure there were some in those mountains as I bypassed them, because I wasn't paying attention for spark bolts back then. Live a little, go for a swim. Hell no. everything but the spell we're looking for. Right. Now I want it to be all spark bolts. That's why I'm specifically looking for spark bolts. I was looking for spark bolts. I mean, I I tried to remember the whole time, but every once in a while I would just get into the mode of like just focusing on whatever I was doing at the time. I mean, three's not bad. We're just we're we're a hair away from having what we need. Back to the east. Just head to the mountains real quick. Loading in the hacks, typical chase. <laughs> We've done like a billion, a billion reloads today. So I guess these hacks must take, they're like slow to crank up or something. Around your 10th restart, they kick in. Nobby says, okay, here's how Hungry Ghost buff actually works. First, it takes the base cast state damage, aka your damage modifiers that come before the projectiles, if you have any. Let's call it B. Then it takes B plus 75, in parentheses, so B plus 75 in parentheses, times 1.25 per iteration. The next iteration being the previous result, the, oh, in parentheses, the previous result plus 7.5 times 1.25 of the buff you get in iterations per buff. So if you have one spark bolt and 28 buffs, it's going to do that whole add plus add 7.5 and multiply it all by 1.25 28 times and you get uh, another in iteration per projectile. You just wrinkled my brain. Reading that sentence it, it hurt me, okay? Brain's not capable of understanding these things. Ugh. 
Hey game, I know you have some freaking spark bolts. Don't lie to me! What's on this one? Nope. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I remember this area. Adventure for spark bolts. Go check the Luki lair. I mean, if we're going to check anywhere, it would be the uh, overgrown caverns because it's the highest concentration of spells. I mean, of wands. There is, like, much higher concentration than Luki Lair. Not much, but it is higher. <laughs> you missed a heart. Read Latali, he slim simplified the math a little. Uh, many ghosts eat projectiles. Spark bolts do big damage. Ah, ah, write that down, chat. Write that down. That's, that's, hmm. Now that you put it that way, Latali, it's, it's making sense. <laughs> I get it now. I've ever searched for a spark bolt. Can't tell where I've been, everything's getting fucked up. Things are just exploding everywhere randomly. There's polymorphine over there. Cool. A heal bolt? That's, I think that's the first heal bolt we've seen this whole run. I don't remember seeing one at least. Mountain shops are a better bet. Yeah, you may be right on that one. Since it is just spark bolts that we're looking for. There's a spark bolt timer.
Are you seriously making me go to a second parallel world in search of spark bolts? That is fucked up, game. That is polymorph there, game. <laughs> Get the chaotic polymorphine away from me. Oh, uh, the tall is saying that the tier is too high. We're at a too high of a tier to find too many spark bolts in this zone. Well, we've seen spitter bolts and everything else. There sh aren't they in the same tier? We're getting scammed. Quick restart. I just finished uh, my first Halo 2 stream, and it was uh, quite clean uh, that I'm shit at streaming. <laughs> Wait. Oh, you did, doing the, the moist critical lasso attempts? Any luck? Where was 100k missed? I'll have to get back to it in a minute. I can't find it. There was ever a time that there it is. Grisu with a hundred thousand says here, take my sweat. I hope it helps in finding some spark bolts. Grisu, I almost missed it. Thank you, chat. I was looking all over. He dude came out of lurking in the shadows to drop off a hundred K. I almost missed it. This last hour has brought was brought to you by the hunt for spark bolts. Now maybe I'll do a chat saying just look in the first area. Problem is, there aren't that many wands in that first zone. Probably the normal fungal caverns near the uh, coal pits. We can do that, we can try it. I'll give it a try. Let's see, there's a wand right here. The shittiest early game wand you can find. Hey. Got that. Spark trigger. Actually a really good early game wand to find a spark trigger like that. Kind of OP. Wait. I thought I saw something else for a moment. Spitters. Spit spitter timer. Alright, we're gonna head over to the fungal area to our left here to see if we have any luck. Oh, stop! Damn, Tilly. I think I've seen triple K bolts like a million times at this point. Screw that zone. Spitters. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted 26 spark bolts. Is that too much to ask? Why did I have to get to 23? Three 
spark bolts. Exactly. All right. So now we should have exactly. Let's see, this one is 19, 20, 23, 26. All right. We have all of the spark bolts that we could need. Jump into the portal. Yes, we have a hungry ghost army going right now, kitty litter. Took me about six hours to build up this army though, so it didn't come quickly. It took a long time. Oh, come on. All the statues are falling through the ground now, so... I'm not going to be able to test my damage on any of this stuff. Unless there is a, something in this final area. I ha There were statues earlier, I glanced and saw them, so I was like, oh, I can test my damage on these in a bit. Because of the way, yeah, the world's loading in. It's letting them fall through the ground each time now. There, oh, wait, there's a statue there. Will that da take damage? Yes, it took damage, okay. I do not want to go to New Game Plus. I have to recollect all the orbs again. Fuck that. Twenty-six spark bolts being cast at the same time. Hits for seventy-eight damage. Using uh using the magic guard, we should be able to spam ourselves a crazy amount of buffs. And then we cast our twenty-six spark bolts with twenty-eight uh hungry ghosts worth of buffs. And we hit for that's you? The fuck? You don't see a number, it overflows? Wait, really? It's too large? Shoot an enemy, okay. Good, good idea, Latali. Good idea. Oh my god, there's polymorphine. Please. Keep the fucking polymorphine away from me. Alright, this guy. The perfect target. Couldn't see it. Hold on. <laughs> I think I used the wrong wand. Wait! You can't even see it on a- Oh, okay, hold on. I keep this guy away. It doesn't show it on anybody? The damage number is too high? <laughs> Gravy says, holy shit, you one-shot that mob. The UI overflows at 10 to the power of 19. So we're doing a larger number than that. Well, all right, let's uh, go shoot the final boss with this then. Do it 33. I, I, I would, except for I don't want to go collect all the orbs. No time consuming. It's like, ugh, walking all over the place. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, hey. Mr. A says 10 quintillion. So we're doing more than 10 quintillion damage? Uh, 
Uh, those polymorphine shots need to back the fuck up. <laughs> the magic guard is just smacking them. Maybe it's the chainsaw, actually, I think I'm smacking them. Here we go. Let's shoot the boss. Damn it! It still doesn't pop up even at that amount. I mean, even even with him, the number just overflows even on, on, on all targets. I was hoping that maybe for him it would do some kind of, like, I don't know, something to kind of break out, up the number. But, yeah, it truly just doesn't show the number. What if I did a small buff? <laughs> Bro says YouTube video, hello? <laughs> Let me try out a small buff. Just one small buff for the group. Even even with this, it's it's too much of a buff. How much are we adding? That was just with. How much was that? One, two, three. One, two, three. Is that eight million damage? And we only had we only had two buffs compared to like <laughs> we compared to like the fifty plus buffs whenever we spam this. That's the one downfall right now, is we're not able to like truly put this thing to the test, because this is one shot. Every every boss, right? There's, I mean, there's 36 orb. It, it would do more than the 36 orb boss's health. It would do more than anything. Was it 80? Oh, a chat was saying 80 million. Was I missing a zero on that one? It wasn't 8 million. It was 80 million. The Leviathan. The Leviathan. Without, I think the Leviathan's resistance makes it where he doesn't just register the hit at all. Will it work, Latali? Yeah, Levi Leviathan would take zero. It's because his resistance would be, you know, if you're 100% resistant to that damage, then it just makes it zero. 28 buffs on 26 spark bolts uh, is 3.4 times 10 to the se the power of 73. And, the, and this is even, this is more than 28 buffs. Because it's, if you look at it, I mean, we're spamming in such a way. I think the, the the each ghost can buff multiple times, right? Like you see, you see how many of these there are. Hmm. You could projectile weakness him and see what one fourth of that damage looks like. I still don't think it'll show. <laughs> or just like less bolts. <laughs> Honestly, I think I think it doesn't I think even with a ton of these stripped off of it, I think we're still pumping some serious damage. Where are those black holes at? Still doesn't show the damage value. I'm guessing we'd have to strip off a ton. Uh, get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, 
out of here, then out of here. Alright. Find another enemy to shoot. Dang, it still doesn't even show at this amount. This is like probably like 150th our damage or something that we were doing before. Probably less than that actually. Okay, there we go. We got we got a value to show up, boys. We got we got a value to show. It was a large it was a large value. There was a lot of digits. <laughs> Holy shit. It sucks because it doesn't let us freeze too well on that frame right there. It's that number. <laughs> the damage amount was yes. Johnny says 180 fucktillion. Seems accurate. Uh. I can't really dig around right now because my wands are, are not set up for digging. <laughs> there you go. See, the damage is reasonable now. Seven? Did it just say seven? Okay, that one was definitely larger than seven. So if I add a single, so that's that's four spark bolts. If I add a, a fifth spark bolt, does do I just start losing the damage values again? Nope, I saw it. There was a damage value on that one. Woo! All right, let's add in another one. Six spark bolts. Oh. There we go. Okay, now it, now it is starting to overflow for some of them. But more! Where are the buffs coming from? So, I'm casting Magic Guard rapidly, as fast as I can. I'm just spamming the Magic Guard, which is supposed to be a spell that, that sh that's like a shell that goes around my character. But... Uh, it's it's a projectile, right? It's a projectile that goes around your character. It's a temporary shell, the magic guard. And um, the hungry ghosts eat projectiles. So the moment I'm spawning in the magic guard, the hungry ghosts are eating them. And we have 28 hungry ghosts. So every time the hungry ghosts eat it, uh, they, we get a damage boost. So I spam it as fast as I can. They all just fucking gobble up the, the magic guards. And then when I have the damage boost going, I just fire at somebody. And then boom. Why don't they eat your spark bolts? So the magic guard is like a really close to your character. It's like around yourself. And the hunger ghosts, I believe, have a range kind of around you that they that they eat. So the spark bolt, I think, is out is outside of that, maybe that it, it doesn't just insta kill off the projectile. Because the magic guard hugs you. And it swirls around you too. Because if you look at it, you can kind of see the magic guard for a second. I guess because it's flying around me, it gives the opportunity for the ghost to eat it. Does this do more damage than a recursion wand? That's a good question. That would be a question for Latali. So this this damage number is too high now with this amount. I mean, this one literally the damage value isn't showing up whenever I have it at its max because the damage is too large. 
That's gotta mean something. God damn. So the hungry ghosts have like you have to you have to spam them all at the same time because when I get them out of sync, that's whenever the damage comes out very low. They're all coming up. Alright, so we spam. Oof. Deposit Madge. What'd you deposit? Where's this sweat? I don't see any deposits. Read deposit. Give me a second, I'll scroll through the actual deposits. That way I can make sure I didn't miss anything too crazy. Sorry, I'm just really enjoying it. It's not, it's not every day I build a wand that's like pumping billions of damage a shot, you know? This ain't your average homing mist one. Yes, exactly, Jameson. Like, this is with five spark bolts. Keep in mind that it grows exponentially with each spark bolt that I add to it. So, this one is just crazy. Like, the number is so large that I, that even with a basic ass buff, it's like we're not even spamming it. Like look at all these, these, so it's growing exponentially with each spark bolt. Now I just barely cast it. Look, I'm only gonna give myself a little bit of a buff. Look at that. It's barely, just, just the smallest buff ever. And then you just, boop, see the damage didn't even show on that one. We gave ourselves too many buffs. Just, ugh, there you go, two. Look at that. Okay, apparently I can't hit anything though. Oh, it's too many. That too, damage is too large. So that number is so large it would one shot the 36 orb boss, yeah? So just you could literally just cast this and then be like, oh, 36 orb boss, fucking one tap. The 26 cast can kill a sextillion 64 orb boss in one shot easily, is what Latali says. To put the damage into perspective. The hungry ghosts are no joke. They're not to be fucked with. That's that's what I'm learning. See, four buffs. <laughs> that means we're only using, like... In that scenario, does that mean we're only using four hungry ghosts? So like if I if I if I do like a, a quick buff like this, that's two hungry ghosts. How does that work? God damn. <laughs> hungry ghost hungry ghost nerf incoming. Nerf the ghosts! How do you get the buff? It's from my ghost, the hungry ghost. Um, it's which is which is if you didn't know, it's this perk right here, hungry ghost. So um, I stacked a shit ton of them, twenty eight of them, and we had it took us a long time to get them stacked because we had to do it in a pretty, not very direct method. Let's put it that way. And now we're just one tapping everything. One shot. One shot. Screw it. We're going to go through the tower. We worked hard for this strength. We want to put it to use.
Eh, I think we get the idea of it, right? Can you lock in the bets first? Wow, you don't have faith? Is that what you're saying right now? Come on, go through the ground. Let's move things back to the way they should be. Black hole, gamma. <laughs> is this the strongest perk in Noita? Is that the, oh, is that the next wish title? You guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched. In Veg, thank you for the 11 monther man. I appreciate you. Says you know all these hungry ghosts remind me of another game. When you can stack perks to absurd levels, it's called Nova Drift. You might have heard of it before. It's pretty good. If you guys don't know, he's memeing because he they chat's been trying to get me to, to play Nova Drift for a hot minute. For a while. You see that though, chat? That's what Noita has to say about say about this. King. It says I'm the king. Respect it, alright? I don't make the rules, I just follow what Noita says. Okay. Uh come my hungry ghost army. We have people to kill. Oh, how I was traveling too slow. I still got hit. What the fuck? Uh, what causes King to spawn? Uh, Chad, I forget. We we just went over this like two weeks ago. Uh, which one's the King uh, trophy? 12, 12 orbs. Thank you, Latali. Sven says Nova Drift is very nice. Real nice. Almost 69 HP. <laughs> Missing the dream. What mechanic on Hungry Ghost gives the buff? Uh, whenever a hungry ghost eats a projectile, it, uh, it gives a buff to all of your shots. Uh, it's it's an important thing to know because sometimes people will grab just uh, just like one hungry ghost, and they have something that heals them, right? So they go to heal themselves, and hungry ghost adds damage to that thing that should normally be healing them, and you can you can get yourself in some big trouble with that, especially if you stack many hungry ghosts like this. Like if I was to cast a, a circle of vigor. Like, if I was to to spam some kind of shot that buff my ghosts, and then I and then I cast a Circle of Vigor, I would one-shot myself. Shit's dangerous, yo. Which, in our case, we were just spamming the, uh... We were just spamming the Magic Guard right here. To buff up our ghosts. We're actually eating them very slowly right now. Oh, no, okay. It, oh, it's because they're further back. I didn't even notice that. So whenever you, they're further away like that, they eat the magic guards so slow. Look at this. They're very slow to get to them. But if you let the ghost get real close to you, like right on top of your character, and then you cast them, they just grab the stacks so fast. That's their range, I guess. I will accuse you. I'll, I'll, don't worry. I guess use big guard. Yeah, big guard may actually be better for the range of those those hungry ghosts. But uh, let's jump into the dark sun. Whee! We live here now. This is our home. Yeah. There we go, chat. I know, I know it wasn't the most insane run, but it was a run that I've been wanting to do for a long time because, uh, like I, I've mentioned several times, I mean, I've, I've heard about the Hungry Ghost build, never tried it myself. We ended up grabbing 28 Hungry Ghosts right then, and I gotta say, I'm impressed. The Hungry Ghost build is thick. Goddamn thick. It's, yeah, that's the, I don't think I've ever built a wand that I could just spam at regular enemies, like shot, 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 and 
and it just was not showing up any of the damage values because the damage number was so strong. That was... That was insane. Like, the damage recursion wand lags like a mother. When you cast a thing, it's like, ugh. Like, it, like your game kind of freaks out a bit. But with the with the the Hungry Ghost damage we had there, it actually ran pretty smooth. Like, it would just go tap, tap, tap. It's just, it was so doing so much damage. Your, your damage buff was so strong, it just murdered everything. Yeah, yeah, like, Demon says no lag when doing it. That's... That's a pretty big bonus, right? Like most most high damage wands, you got to put up with the slow, the low frames. But that one was legit. Known cheater says, "Tell YouTube I said hello." Known cheater says, "Hi YouTube." Uh, for anybody that actually stayed for the whole video, I appreciate you guys over. Uh, well, in the live stream as well, but the, you know these guys are they're here on the daily. All right, they these guys they don't they they bleed sweat. But uh, for the YouTube community, I appreciate you guys uh, stopping by and checking this video out. I know it wasn't the most entertaining, but uh, again, it was a journey I wanted to go on. And I figured, you know what, since I was going to you know, take this journey today, I wanted to record it for the, the YouTube channel. Uh, we're now at 1,436 wins. The run total time wasn't even quite six hours in game, but uh, in real life, it was about, uh, it was a little over six hours. Is that right? Yeah, it was it was over six hours. Probably closer to six and a half hours. Uh, but yeah. Let me tell you tell YouTube my deposit. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Let me see if it's something worth noting for the YouTube community. UZ has something to say. It's gonna be offensive. Definitely offensive. Wait, William did a hundred K deposit today? What the heck? When was that? When was that? Nerf did a 50k. I remember seeing that. Ranch land with a 10k. I saw that. QZ, what the heck? did QZ, did you do a 1k and expect me to see it? This guy. Hey, Dunker Slam. How did, uh, how did you get your mama's weight to register in Noita? All right, that's it. That's it. YouTube, we got to go because QZ is breaking our brain. This guy, it's he made me scroll for that. I literally looked for that. Thank you guys for hanging out. Appreciate all the love and support. And uh, I'll be posting more YouTube con content hopefully soon. Uh, I've been taking forever to, to post a new video, I know. But uh, this one right here is like a six hour long video. So hopefully it makes up for some, uh, some lost time. So uh, deuces.